Lenny the Goat, how are you this evening? What? <laughs> yes, tis I. Hi, hello, how are you? It me, fam. Your friend. Hi, Gray. How are you? Al... Al... Alfactory? Alfactory? Alfactory. I don't know how to say your name. Uh, we, we call it the McQueed Vent Calendar, but yes, Advent Calendar. Claude, hello! I think I just finished up a really fun collab stream. That sounds cool. What kind of uh, what kind of game? What game did you guys play? Alfactory. Thank you for spelling it out. I appreciate it. Clouds are doing all right. We're uh, getting a slow start here, but uh, you yeah, know, you know how it is here. Ter terraria. Why does that sound familiar? The world is your canvas. Oh, okay, okay. I haven't seen the game, but I've seen the logo. <laughs> the, lo the logo is very familiar, and I actually think this was something that we talked about during uh, the last subathon, uh, in terms of different games to check out and try. How's Miss Queep's volume? We were good there? What is up, Lenny? Plaid's of Factory, hello. Great to see you folks. Gray Spectre, hello. Yes, Miss Queeb is here. She's being very quiet now. Uh, yeah, because you weren't saying anything and chat wasn't saying anything, so I guess we were just vibing, so I'm just letting everybody vibe. You All right. I got you bumped up to 140%, so we'll see how that goes. Well, now, thank you very much. absolutely no idea how to say your name because I want to say philosophies but it's not philosophies because there's a J unless the J is silent hello everybody hello Miss Queeb he hello Mr. Queeb uh, thank you very much for joining us on our first day of uh, what did we call it the McQueeb Vent calendar <laughs> right Right, yeah. So we'll be doing a few runs of Isaac and um, Unknown Game. That's the whole thing, see? We, we're going to open a door and behind each door there's a there's a game and we're going to play it. Okay, I already, so I already know what's what today's, today's game? Story. What's well, today's game? We can't give it away yet. Oh, come on. It, it's just a couple of us here. No, we'll, we'll, we'll do it later. Um, there's only two day, two games that I know. The one for today, and the one on the 25th. The one on the 25th you may have heard of before. Uh, for so does that mean that the games that you'll be playing that they are indie games, or are they like like quiet release, like not a lot of hype games? Like what what is the determining factor? There's there's all sorts in there. It's, it's mainly indie games. I mean, that's what we do here on the channel, but, uh, yeah. Yeah, there's a whole, there's a whole stack in there. Okay, sounds great. All right. 
I'm going to switch over scenes. Um, Ms. Queef, you know this game quite well. I believe you've seen it before. Yeah, you made me play it. You were pretty good. I mean... I was a good ghost. You were dead most of the time, that's a fact. I, I was an amazing ghost. Um, Ms. Queef, do you think I will win this run? No. What, will you ask? Like, do you want me to be nice? Oh, yeah, yeah, babe, you're totally gonna win. It's gonna be great. Like that? Nope, nope, you, you're fine. Okay. <laughs> we'll, we'll lock it in. <laughs> okay. Well, no. I, I wouldn't think anybody would win the first time out. I mean, you've... You slept for over 12 hours, right? You're kind of like you're you're getting back into it, so I wouldn't I would never bet on someone absolutely taking the first game. I think I'm gonna win. Okay, well that's great. I'm so glad you have confidence in yourself. <laughs> Clash! Thank you, thank you so much. What's that with the five gifted already? Already. Oh geez, yeah. we haven't even spoke about how it's gonna work. In fact. Uh, a lot of that stuff is not, um, it's, it's still pencil on paper. It's not even, uh, officiated yet. Uh, which is completely my fault, by the way. Well, Clads is like, fuck y'all taking your time. I'm gonna just go ahead and give them five and just do it. And we appreciate that. Oh! Jesus Christ. <laughs> Ordinary! Ordinary. Thank you Thank so you, dude. much. Hot train! A lucky penny. Look at that. So Miss Queep didn't think I was going to win this one. I, uh, yeah. I believe I am. So I have to now... Well, I mean, it's it's for the fifth in a streak. Fifth isn't cursed. Only the eleventh run is cursed. Um, uh, the eleventh and the seventy fifty eighth run are both cursed. Are you are you speaking English right now? Mm, no. If if you know, you know. Okay, because like I have no idea. Uh, this is not only. Uh, this is this is a, a freaking blessed run, honestly. Ordinary, happy December to you. Um, I don't know if you celebrate Birthmas. I celebrate Birthmas, so if you do, happy Birthmas. Beat mom's heart on heart for the first time. That is awesome. Again, I don't know those words, but that that sounds great. We, I'm very proud of you. When we played last, Miss Queen, you didn't. We didn't get that far. Well, I wouldn't think we got very far at all. I was I was playing on ghost mode. I'm not sure if you've heard of that. <laughs> uh, ghost mode doesn't exist where where I play. Well, I think you're missing out because it was a lot of fun. <laughs> this is an unreal run, like wild, really, 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 really strong. Um, so, a little bit about this event. Uh, we do have some giveaways. Nothing's written down yet. We're, we're still working on that. I'll have it all up by tomorrow. But, um, there's going to be, uh, Steam, Steam giveaways and a couple of, like, actual prize things, physical things. All of that information will be available tomorrow. I have a question. Shoot. Will there be fruitcake? Um, I, I can't personally stand fruitcake. I, I think it's disgusting. 
No? No, you know this. Well, I don't eat the fruit. I eat the cake. You pick the fruit out of the fruitcake? Uh-huh. That's baked in? Uh -huh. the, the cake that's uh -huh. primarily made of fruit? No, well, not, not entirely. It's really good. No, that, that flavor I can get behind. It's just the, mm -hmm. like, I don't know if it's candied or pickled or what, but it, it does taste, it, the, the fruit itself tastes very weird. It's like, it's like that maraschino cherry flavor. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, no, not my thing. So yeah, that was, sorry, go on. <laughs> I was going to say that was one of the things that I just could not find whenever I went on my excursion yesterday and today for that matter it's like all of the 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 like the the fundamental christmas type sh shit that they don't have it like they have the the little panato blah 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 cakes isn't that they, fruitcake no or is that a different type of fruitcake it, it's different type like fruitcake that's that's more of like a bread thing but like fruitcake's the kind that's in the little compressed bars and it's like very moist. But yeah, like I only saw fruitcake at one place, um, which is one more than I could say for Santa hats, which is just weird. No Santa hats this year. No Santa hats this year. You were you were gonna get a Santa hat. Alas. Um. Yeah, so Ms. Queep will be joining us most nights um, for a little bit, and mm -hmm. then um, there there will be a, a special event for Ms. Queep ish We won't make a big thing of it, but it is Birthmas after all. It is Birthmas. Container ship full of fruitcake. Listen to me. That's probably right, actually. We, well, yeah. We live, like, like, I could probably hit, like, in our area, I could hit Long Beach, like, in, in an hour, right? Less than an hour. I could, I could, I could swim out. I could swim out and, and get them for you guys. Like, I don't, I don't have a problem with that. I could totally do it. For kids I would wearing do that Santa for hats. Deep. Hello, Deep. How are you? You should do a Christmas special where you play one co-op run on that game. I'll set it up. I'll, I'll do it. I don't mind, but here's the thing. I... I suck. Like, like I... You guys remember. I was cursing the whole time and shrieking, and, and I was in ghost mode the whole time. Like, I was just... Y'all are on a different level, as opposed to me, who I I play World of Warcraft by myself, so I could go as, as easy as I need to, and just like take my time and and just enjoy it. And you guys are just like rush, 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 go, 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 go. That's a bit better. Just but have see, fun. I, I don't know if it is fun for me. It took you a while to warm up to it. It's... It's definitely like... Is is there... And I'm, I say this with all seriousness. Is there a Coco Melon version of Binding of Isaac? Because I think that there's a market for it. I, if I there, don't understand the question. If if there was a, a kid version of Binding of Isaac where it was like dumped down and it was very slow, then I could kill that. Like I I would clean up. I would I would kill that shit. But as it is right now, it's literally just ah, ah, what what huh huh, and that's like it. Like it that's it. Um. I mean, it'd have to be a different game, I think. Binding of Isaac doesn't... I mean, it has normal mode, but that's not much but easier. What I'm, 
You're not getting it. I'm saying that we should petition for a Cocomelon version of Binding of Isaac. A child version of Binding of Isaac. I think there's a market for it. Get, get those six-year-olds in on it. You, you know what the game's about, right? <laughs> I do. I do. Munster, hi. How are you? T... T... Min I'm not wearing my glasses. T-Mans. T-Mans. But that's not his full name. It is. T T Man's Ableful. We've T -Man's I've actually Ableful. I've actually had that discussion with T Man's and he prefers T Man's. T Man's Ableful. Well T Man's hi, how are you? Absolutely a PG version, yeah. Ha have you like have you even paid attention to to Cade's shows lately? <laughs> No, not having a lot they're, of time. They're written for adults anyway. Like, what? There's one. It's called like Bluey, and Bluey. It, it, I think it's a dog, and it's it's written for the adults. So it's a cartoon that's written for adults, and so that's like adult themes. But it's a cartoon, and it, it, there's like music and stuff for kids. Even. Um, Fucking uh, talking Tom that we have on every day for your kids to watch. Your your heathen oh, Tom bastard the, Tom children. Tom the cat. Hmm. Tom the cat. Yes, Tom the cat. Mm. Um, that that is an adult show. Like it's, it, it, and when I say that, I'm not talking like South Park or Family Guy type humor. I'm talking about like it, it's like adult themed. It's no, there's not swearing or anything, but it's clearly written for adults. Like, what four-year-old, or even what eight-year-old do you know of that knows what a tech startup entrepreneur is? And it's talked about constantly. Who, who, like, which, what kid knows what a CEO is? It's like a major running theme throughout the whole series. Kay Kevy and Matt Ariel, Aww, bummer. Well, K. Kevy, hi, how, hello, how are you? Elemental, hello. Hey, Silver, what's up, dude? Um, but yeah, like these kids shows, they're written for adults to be watching them. They finally realized that there's generally an adult in the room watching along with. All I'm saying. Binding Isaac for kids. That's all I'm saying. Deep, deep knows what's going on. Deep gets it. It's the weirdest and, uh, thing. I just found an item room with no items in it. Never seen that before. Uh, that's... Is it a bug? I'll, I'll show you the room. I walked in, there was nothing in there. Like, there was stuff, but not an item. I, I didn't think that was a thing. Weird. Silver, dude, thank you so much for the raid, man. Thank you for bringing your community over to mine. Very kind. Must be a bug. Ooh, I don't know. I laugh cries, how are you? SpongeBob is the OG parent. From what I've seen? Yeah, absolutely. I've never seen that, though. Spongebob? Mm hmm? No, neither have I. I think it came out... Like, as I was kind of, like, aging... Out of this... The, of their audience? Uh... Yes, I know, Wikipedia, you want me to donate, it's that time of year, blah, 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 I get it. Isn't it always that time of year with Wikipedia? Yes. 99, yeah, I wasn't, I wasn't watching kid shows in 99. Like, I was, I had been working full-time jobs for four years. So, I didn't have time. I'm good, voice in my head. What's up, Connor? Good to see you, man. So the voice you can hear is that of Ms. Queeb. With the chicken strips? Yes, it's me. Hi. The no item item room is intended and very rare to happen. There you go, not a bug. 
Connor, hi, how are you? Who's who's tonight's uh drink sponsor? You you didn't tell us. Oh, the same drink sponsor we have every night, Pinky. Uh, it, Red Bull. Red Red Bull. Hmm. Oh my goodness, your mom sounds very youthful. Thanks. Thanks, I appreciate it. I'm a cool mom. I love to let my son play video games. It's, you know what? It's for the kids. It's for the kids. Will it be a while before I can name a rat? Don't you have one in already? Does that mean, do I have a list? Yeah, T Man's was two months ago. T Man's? You're. He's next you're... up. Oh, yes, yours is next up. We, uh. Oh. Am I wait? I'm waiting on Faye. I think Faye is has put herself in brumation. And then Huxley just ate a couple days ago. I didn't film anything for it because I'm... So, Queeb and I, we actually had... I think it was yesterday or the day before. I have no concept of time. Uh, I don't have a tripod. So whenever I film, I have to either perch the phone in a position on the top of the tank so you can view it, or kind of set it on the side, and it's like, it's a whole thing. And then I have to actually make sure that the snake gets in the shot, which has been, it's been a beast. And uh, Queeb busted out his, well, I, I don't know what it's called. Um, Stabilizer, the... the What's it called? Gyro... Thing. With the handle. I just realized that has a, um... Uh, the right mounting screw on the bottom for a tripod, so I might... Might be able to rig something up. We'll f I'll figure it out. Uh, so, we busted that out, and I'm going to... Um, the next wrap that I do, which should be yours... I, unless I've already done yours. I need, I need to go check. Gimbal, yes. Thank, Thank you, Random. You. Um, so he showed me how to use it, and the next route will be the first time that I am actually using such a fancy device. Very fancy. Very technical. Uh, deep treasure room with no item can really spawn. Is that the one with two items? What's this 125 stream from Spatch? Spatchcock. Spatch. Today is December 1. There are 24 more days in the event. Yeah, this is day one. So, um, yes. More information on that. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Later. Mm -hmm. don't, don't even worry about it now. Made me out of spot. Um, so Miss Queep was the only person who voted on this run. There, there were no predictions, and she said that I would lose. Yes. I'm, I'm trying my damnedest not to do that. Why? So my... The number at the bottom of the screen, so it goes up. I, I don't know. I haven't I haven't been watching, so I don't know what that number is. That's the current streak. Oh, so so wins in a row. You know what? I'm I'm just gonna let it sit. 
Thank you. Thank you for the information. I appreciate it. Thank you so much. Anyway, quietly confident. Nothing quiet about that, but okay. A rare, a rare, a rarest, a rarest Valerian fate. A rarest Valerian fate. That is a ma how do you guys use a generator? Should I have used a generator for my name? I'm gonna figure that out. Glad to see the streak started above zero today. Hope you and Miss Queeb are doing well. We are doing fantastic. Thank you. Oh, actually, let's do Reddit username generator. Why would you pick a Reddit username specifically? Um, because other generators, other username generators, they want you to input like, oh, hey, write down a couple of things you're interested in. If you go to the Reddit username generator, it's all just random. So it's like um, oval noodle, awake cholera, uh, cholera, elderly scissors, ambitious accounting, ugliest hello, frigid staircase, limited nucleus, worthless electricity, word, I, I identify with that one. Uh, damaging influx underscore 979 so it just like it's literally just random kind heartedly gleaming avarice you seem very relaxed playing this ride makes me want to play one myself but everyone's having you know what it's like it's a laid back day loaf didn't attack too much so like everything's good. Everybody's chill. It's a reference to a book actually. Auraris. Okay. Cool. I wanted I like knowing how to pronounce names. I feel weird. Like like T Man's. I'm still I'm still like stumbling over that one. But it's just, you know, it's my thing. Um I have I have trouble with names all the time. This is yeah, pretty common. I just linked the um the username generator that I use. Uh, if you hit randomize at the top, it'll give you a whole bunch of uh, new ones. It was actually written by a Redditor. Um, he reverse engineered one that was already around. Try Super Auto Pets. It's, the game has a function to randomize your team name. Oh! Okay, hold on. I've seen that, actually, the, the name generator for Super Auto Pets. Uh, I, I, I have no idea what Super Auto Pets is. <gasps> There's a little shrimp! I, I don't know for a fact, but I think some of the artwork is like emotes. I think. Like it feels, it feels that way. Borrowed, borrowed artwork. Ted Nucleus, I would totally go see a band called Elderly Scissors. Okay, so these are very weird usernames. I teach in pronouncing, actually I'm just going to have a it. Oh, thanks! I think it's, um... I think it's a symptom of my ADHD. It, I have a few symptoms that border on OCD. And, uh... Like, I, I need to know how to pronounce names. Like, I, I need to know. And I don't know if it's because, like, you know, I need to know. Or if it's because if I say it the wrong way, I would potentially get ridiculed. Although not really. But my brain thinks I would get ridiculed. And that's why I need to know how to pronounce it. I'm still, you know, working through all of it. Part of that might be just you respecting people and how they, you know, want to be perceived. Okay, so far, the best username I have found. PM me your donkeys. Yes. Yes. PM me your donkeys. Yeah, this is a this is a very relaxed run, by the way. I'm not 
I don't feel worried at all. So, Ms. Quib, you, you probably haven't even caught one of my Isaac streams lately, but I've been trying to win as many games in a row as possible. And we got all the way up to 57. I remember that. Um, and then now I'm trying to trying to get back there. That's the that's the thing. Oh, because you failed. Correct. I understand. I understand. Sometimes we fail. I mean, not all of us fail, but sometimes we fail. You probably don't want that name. <laughs> no, but think of all the trolling you could do with it. Oh, think of it. Oh, there's also PM me your unhappiness and PM me your tan investments. Generators kind of says PM me your well. Oh, oh, I like that one. PM me your well groomed schoolboys. <laughs> I love it. It's perfect. It's so fancy. T man's whenever, um, whenever someone does that and that little quibble shows up, to me, it, my brain has to translate it as the, um, as what it is. Like, it's not you typing in the dissatisfied smiley. So my brain just thinks that, you know, hey, Tin Man, you redeemed a 30 second ad. No pre-rolls for 10 minutes. And then just like a disgusted with life kind of face. Some people feel that way about Twitch ads. I don't care. Get paid, bitch. Carefully think about your PM box, too. <laughs> I found a... Where is it? So there's an Instagram account. Um, I'm, it, it, I'm not married. I like, I, like I'm married. I'm not like dating, right? We know this, right? So I'm not on dating sites. I don't, I don't get anyone DMing me stuff. Thank God, because oh my God, like my 20s and 30s, I wanted to like kill myself. It was awful. And someone has set up an Instagram account called Beam Me Up Soft Boy, and people just submit their their cringe-worthy DMs and it it gives me life because on one hand it, it's hilarious and it's good fun on the other hand I never have to deal with that ever again <laughs> like I'm, I'm a little smug about it too I look I said this recently, but like it would, it would suck that like everyone's going through a hard time right now. And that's before you take into consideration that we're quite lucky to have found each other. And everyone, you know, out there is looking is going through the, the dating process. It doesn't sound fun. It's very weird what's going on with the dating scene right now. With, uh, <clears throat> excuse me, with like ghosting and, you know, people shooting their shots and, and, you know, just playing the numbers game and. Do you think dating through apps has made that worse? I don't think it's made it worse. I think it has made it more prevalent. Um, because I was on dating sites for, I wasn't on dating sites for a very long time, but even on dating sites, it, it was this, it was this shit. It was this same shit. It was just, I had to log into a website to get it. Right. And I've never used 
Tinder or Hinge or I think there's like Bumble and like I've, I've thankfully never been on any of those. I I I would never date again. Like that that's just I would never date again. I started my career in online media. I can certainly say ad blockers put a real damper on side women. That's 95% of all visitors all die fast. I feel like I'm one of the few people who doesn't have one since I know. Um. Yeah, that's valid. Like, I'm. I'm, I'm, I'm editing as I'm thinking, as I'm talking. But, like, mentally editing, not physically editing. I'm not on computers much these days, um, because I am a, I am a full-time dog mom. Which means I'm on my phone, I don't, I'm not sitting in front of a computer. But I've, I've started to get really pissed off whenever I, uh, Whenever I, I finally, like today, I haven't been on my computer in a few days. I had Facebook already pulled up in a tab and I refreshed it and someone linked to a story. I clicked it and it's like, oh, you, you got an ad blocker, girl. We can't show you this site, girl. Cause you got an ad blocker. You need to put us on your whitelist, girl. And I was, I'm like, no, I'm not doing it. I immediately just closed out the tab. And I understand that these sites need to make money. I totally get it. But I'm not the one. It's not me. Dating through apps make it so easy to just say next because if there's even a hint of dissatisfaction. See that? What was dating on like a site like? Oh, you would get like the little like people would would be, what were they, like, winks or nudges or whatever, like, ooh, you know, hey, haha. -ha. Yeah, I think there's a couple of, I don't, I don't know, a couple of different, they call them different things on different sites, right? I think so, yeah. On, on the sites that I use, I think they called them, like, winks, and then you, um, please ignore the dog uh, licking her paws behind me, because we needed to hear that, apparently, on the, this, the first night of McQueeb Vent calendar. Um, but yeah, like, let's say that you and I, were we both have profiles on the site, and you come to my profile, and you, you send a wink, and I think winks are free. At, at the time, my data is, like, literally 15 years old, maybe even longer. But, like, winking would be free, which I would assume would just be the same thing as, like, a left or a right swipe. And then, to actually speak, you would have to pay. Some of the sites charge, charge men membership fees, right, in order to respond? Yeah. That's smart when you think about it. Mm -hmm. Il Fantasma Della Nevi. Excuse my accent, I'm Texan. Hi, I follow you often and really appreciate your content. I have never congratulated you on your partner and now I take the opportunity. Unfortunately, I don't speak English and I just watch your live shows. Appreciate you, Il Fantasma. Thank you so much. Um, welcome, by the way. It's good to have you here. Um, I'm I'm proud of my partner. I got I got a good one. Thank you. Is that bad? Oh, it's just not getting my time. Except for experience. I think the latest trend that I've seen on uh, on TikTok, obviously on TikTok, obviously, obviously, um, has been uh, people busting their partners by logging into their partner's account. And changing the name to instead of Brad, it's Jennifer's boyfriend. 
and then editing the description to say something like, hey, this is Jennifer's boyfriend. He wasn't supposed to be on dating apps and apparently he doesn't really understand the concept of respect or, or actually listening or caring about his partner. Um, That's toxic as fuck. <laughs> I know, right? And it's like this huge trend and everyone's like, oh my god, it's so funny, la 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 la. It's like, no, it's just... I, I say that to people, like, I, I promote TikTok all the time, or I, I don't... What's the what's the word? I don't promote it, but I... Encourage it? Jesus, Zoe. Defend it. I guess, more to the point, because people have a people have their own opinions about it, which is fine. Mm -hmm. Um... And then a trend like that starts, and it's like, oof. There's, there's some bad with the good, but I think that's true of any platform. Definitely. You saw that they got rid of the creator fund for some people, right? I got invited to that today, the new one. But you only need a thousand... ...friends or followers. Mm -hmm. Um... I, I didn't join it, though. I, I don't think I need that. I don't... I'm not on TikTok to make money. I don't even think... I heard bad things, too. If you join the creator fund, apparently... They... Supposedly, and there's probably, you know, there might not be much truth to this, but um, your content gets pushed down rather than promoted. So, so back in the day, whenever it first started, in order to get in the creator fund, you had to have like a crap ton of- 10,000. Yeah, you had to like followers and, and views and it was like, and even then it wasn't a guarantee, like you'd have to be invited and people could make bank. So to join the creator fund, it doesn't make financial sense or even social media sense for someone with just like a thousand or, or you know, even, I would say even under 10,000 followers to get on board mm -hmm. because what you're doing is you're it's one pie it's not like an unlimited oh you know she her video had like four million views on it and she gets you know for forty thousand dollars like what it's not it's not about what you make it's it's literally tied into what percentage of those total views oh so they have like a daily creator budget kind of thing it, it's kind of like that so it's like whatever the <laughs> pot is um and like how much money tiktok has made and whatnot it's dividing out in chunks so yeah there are some people who will make like they've talked about making someone had a video they did like 12 million views and they got like 70 something thousand dollars Ooh. but it was, they said it was almost overnight, like every other video since then, and that had been a couple of months back, they get less than a thousand views at the very most. Right. So it's, it's literally, it's, it's about like, it's about the plot. It's like, what is going on in there? So the only way that it would be worth it is if you have those high numbers and then you're still going to see a hit. There is, um, there's a few creators I follow who they joined and then they they ended up leaving the creator fund because yeah there is suppression because no they don't want everyone's video to have like a million views unless they can actually afford to pay out for that creator fund they can't do that so then they're not gonna like they're not gonna boost you a lot of people no. talk about the twitch affiliate program and partnership um, partnership today versus partnership you know five six years ago um because of the exclusivity contract that you mm -hmm. sign so as a partner i can't create live content on any other platform um that's very weird i hate to say it it's smart on twitch's side but it's also it feels anti-competitive and pointless to a degree It's like, what are you, what are you worried about? You know, let people create 
stuff on every platform if they want. No one's gonna maybe well, most likely no one's gonna jump platforms. I think I think Twitch is slowly changing for the better though. Like there's new and new tools every day where like moderation tools and you know tools in place to protect people, minority groups, etc. It's slow, but it's um slowly happening with, with them finally. Contracts are all negotiable. So, <laughs> if if you are a, a Ludwig uh, Ogren, um, sure. If you're a McQueeb sitting at 75 viewers, right? And you contact Twitch and say, well, actually, you know what? I would like uh, the ability to stream on other platforms and maybe let's change the cut from 50-50 to whatever, something else. Uh, Twitch will say no. I think I don't even think they would respond to your email. They would, but it would be a it would be a boilerplate email too. The world. Like no TikTok live or even a McQueeb live show? Correct. Yep. Yep. The the partner contract is very different than the um the affiliate contract in that one point. I don't, I don't want to like burst your bubble or anything, but I think I might win this one. I mean, fine. Whatever. I guess I will allow it. So several times we've actually gotten back up to 10 wins, and then on the 11th it's get the shittiest runs sometimes. Lung Bubbles. Hi, thank you for raiding. Oh my god, thank you, Lung Bubbles. That's very nice. Welcome. Uh, Lung Bubbles, meet Ms. Queep. Partner in crime. <laughs> Hello. Hi, Mess. Hi, Zippy. Mets, are you my Mets? Or are you a different Mets? What is Zoe doing? Zoe wanted to say hi. She's hacking are, up a lung. Are you okay? Yeah, do you want do you want a microphone? We'll get dad to give you a setup. Do you want a setup? Do you want a stream? Where do her points? No, 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 there's no no Miss Quib didn't put any points in. This was a This was a handshake agreement. It was I, I had Loaf do the do the handshake. Which he can do as long as there's food involved. Well he's he's very food motivated. <laughs> what are you talking about? <laughs> Mets is my Mets. Mets, how are you, my dear? I hope you're okay. You didn't tell me about points. I could have like donated po like like given points, like bet points. Did you lie? Channel points, yep. You lied? There's, well, I never, there was no lie. Well, I could have made A lie through money. omission, maybe, I guess. I could have maybe made some money. This is, this is absurd. Ah, crap.
Can't be getting hit too many times though. That spells trouble. I don't know what my fires are. Wait, are we finally betting point? <laughs> what happens at 10 million did we decide? Yeah. You do watch the stream, right? No. No. <laughs> uh, well, I used to, but again, I'm... I'm a dog mom. So 10 million points is what's under the hat, McQueep. It's only 10 million? <laughs> I think somebody calculated, what was it, eight years? If they're in the channel every, every day? Some, it's something, it's ridiculous. No, 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 no. See? I'm setting up my own stream, right? So I'm like going through and like learning about the behind the scenes and, and what I can set up. And there's community points. We could take up a community pool. I have 547,000 points right now. That's my point. I would, I would give all of them. I know. That's why I didn't set up a community pool for that. It, it's, a, it's a meme, Miss Queep. No. No. You just, you don't get it. That's fine. If that's the case, then then make it like a hundred. Come on. Make it what? Make it a hundred million. What, what, what difference is ten million and a hundred million? If it takes X number of years of me streaming full time it, to do that. It's not going to see. Ordinary has a hundred thousand. That's six hundred forty-seven thousand points right there. Add in Jamey's half a million. Jamey would do it. He would. Mm -hmm. Come on! Where's your sense of adventure? Where's your sense of marketing? <laughs> well, it's not a really great marketing scheme if it's now been, what, two and a half years? Talking about, like, oh, what's under the hat? What's under the hat? What's under the hat? Here's this. What's under the hat? La la la. And then we never see it. It's going to get to the point where, like, in 10 years, you're going to finally do the hat reveal and you're going to be like, ta-da! And we're going to be like, we That's don't it? care. <laughs> we don't care, Queeve. We cared about this back in 2020. You could have given us hope, but no. In eight years, McQueeve just might take it off. <laughs> he probably would. I think you can only. No, don't say that, 8 bit. Is that real? God damn it. Only 9 million to go. 2,000 per person each stream? That'd take longer than 8 years, maybe. The point is, everybody used to complain that I didn't have enough to spend channel points on. And I'm like, I don't know, I don't know what to put there. And, uh, that's what I came up with, <laughs> one of the rewards. Sound alerts. Yeah. Yeah, not on this channel, I'm afraid. I'm gonna get some ideas. Like, I've already been compiling some for my channel, so I'm gonna figure something out. Something really cool. Wait, what dance emoji? What dance emoji, uh, Jolmara? Or is it Yolmara? Queeb dance. Oh my god, look at him! <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> oh, he's cute. Hold on, I'm gonna pull him up in a, uh, a tab. <gasps> oh, I can make him bigger! Look at him dance! Oh, he's great! Oh, I love him. He's perfect. At least give a special deal or something. I need the dopamine. <laughs> 50th 
50 of us put down 10,000. That's 100,000 stream. Five streams a week. <laughs> they're trying to brainstorm. <laughs> look at him. Look they're, at him. They're gonna. You, you give them an inch, Miss Queep, <laughs> they're gonna fucking work it out and scam the system, I tell you. <laughs> Malganus, that's you? Shit, I had no idea. <laughs> All this time. <laughs> you told me a bit ago, that doesn't surprise me at all. Zoe. What do you want me to tell chat? I farted. What do you want me to tell chat, baby? What's up? I know, I have to make your food. I'm gonna do that here in a little bit. Yeah, that's Dad. He's playing. Tell Dad to set up your uh, your computer. It was, so you can stream. it was Zoe that was watching Cobalt Streak play this once, right? Yes, I gave you the video. Yeah. She's still, she's still like very much into it, but... It, it's much less about it being Isaac and much more about her being able to clearly see what's going on. Right. Like, she... We tried other games and she didn't, like, um... Why don't I know video game names? Uncharted, she wasn't... I think there was too much visual clutter it, it, she couldn't really focus. Uh, she was really into the the dinosaurs on um what what's it called hold on i'm making sure that it's not a uh a movie horizon zero dawn oh yeah yeah so like she was like into watching the dinosaurs um and then, uh, there was another game she was, like, really into. But yeah. We don't have that set up anymore, but if we did, she would literally be just sitting right there, watching. This run is in the bag. Stop! No, 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 no. No, this run is not in the bag. It is. Not that I'm recommending it, but you could rig a prediction to give channel points to one person once! <laughs> what is that? That dude could double it because he pulls like 2.30 sometimes and <laughs> can be lower. Well, this one might not be in the bag anymore. This one room is wrecking me. Who said hold? Kinda bad. Um, it would have to be us going in and setting up like the community channel Hang point. No, like, they're, they're talking about one person goes all in with a large number. Um in one direction, one that's predictable, um, and that this room is fucked. Uh, yeah, we, we're about to die. <laughs> Hilarious. Um, and then everybody else votes the other way, and then, and then they get the points. That was pretty bad. trying to stabilize here. Jesus. What a hell of a room. Oh, boy. I don't know if boiled baby's going to save the day. What an unfortunate floor. Um... All right, one more. Come on, one more room.
Nice. Oh, maybe Boiled Baby is the key here. Shit. This room was coming sooner or later. Oh god. Hey, yeah, we got a coin back though. It's always something. Got looking for a secret room here. Every 20 tier shoots a coin tier that turns enemies into gold there hits cost one coin hits drop hit hit enemies drop a coin I mean it's not gonna help is it oh it makes a cool little cash register noise I like that What's up, monkey lawn gnome? How you doing, man? Health down for damage up. And one not want to full clear this floor. Count with the half heart or the rotten heart. That should count as an extra hit, I think. Hold on. You have kids, monkey? In my head, you are like 15 years old. that you were 15. I thought you were some like little punk kid in in your bedroom at home. I I don't know why. Like <laughs> like like punk is in musical taste or dress dress sense or 
like you know, like like a little, like a little punk ass kid, like a little, like a little kid. It's very, Whoa, very people? Twitch is a very weird thing though. Like, it's 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 one person or or multiple people. Um. That is that is introduced to a whole bunch of different people and it, like i said i said this right very recently it's a very one-sided relationship whoa old people are allowed old people are allowed here and they run here so just saying elemental i'm 36 and you don't see me with kids how old am i in your head you are a 26 year old male, brown hair, Harry Potter glasses. Maybe you look like Harry Potter, I don't know. Um, very thin. Oh. Like, you need to eat. Miss Queeb, hold up. Why am I yes. doing this? Don't order anything yet? Did we set up a discount code? Uh, no, not yet. But hold on. I just opened the merch. I ordered these hats. Why, why am I do this? Oh, sorry. You Hello. ordered something previously. We ordered. Got it. Yeah, the hats are really cool. Really nice. Hopefully okay. they're in stock. Miss Queep said they've been having um, shipping container problems. Actually, speaking of, I saw a TikTok the other day. Go for it. Somebody um, who works at the docks, and he was up high in one of the machines that picks up and unloads. And they've got automated like robots and shit that that pick up the containers and it happens super smoothly it's very satisfying to watch there is a um a woman who has uh, a profile and she uh but where the fuck is the thing she was talking about how much money she makes and how much she loves it and how uh, she's a manager and like she was she was promoting I think the company is Mer Mersk I think that's the shipping company oh that's the shipping company, company. yep yep um, and yeah like she she did like a walkthrough it was pretty cool oh predictions um So, so how how do these predictions oh, work? Oh shit! Me? Hang on. Sorry. Um, I pressed the wrong fucking button. This is what I didn't want to happen. Is there a way out of this? Hmm? If I start a new run, shit. I think I just have to kill it, start the streak over. Someone mentioned a mod last time you brought it up. Hang on one sec. Oh, you're participating as a moderator. The streamer created this prediction. If you participate, you won't be able to choose the outcome. I don't know what that means, so I'm just not going to do it. So, as a mod, I think you can say whether or not I won. It's like, let's say there was a mod in here and I was too busy playing or whatever. They could activate the reward. That makes yeah, that, sense. That's, that's too technical for me. Back it up. But we'll just we'll just leave it as cool. Um, hold on, let me scroll back up. I don't think I can. i got to reset the stream anyway. Can you change yeah. the file number? This isn't Eden, so it would it affect an Eden streak? Well, the numbers will be different, so for that reason, we're gonna restart. So keep keep those points coming though. Will McQueeb win the next run? That's still a valid question. Why am I do this? Uh, did you get the... Wh which hat did you get? Was it a trucker hat or was it like one of the dad hats? Oh, 
Well, now I'm curious how old people think I am on here. Lenny, I think you are 47. You are British. You have gone completely white thanks to your heathen children. Um, you, you have a blue collar job. It's a simple life, but you, you don't have a, you don't have any debt and you just like you, you go to work and you do your job and you come home and that's it. Like you, you're free and clear. You're in a union, so you make a crap ton of money. Um, you're cheating on your wife with someone who lives on your street. Did I get any of that right? A sci-fly hat would be amazing. Ah, uh, I don't think we would be able to do that because of copyright. Um, no, we can't. What really? It's not. It's 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 artwork created by somebody else. Even though it's in the game. It's derivative. Anyone named Lenny has to be at least 45. Oh, what happened? It'd what have happened? to be it'd have to be the sci-fi that um <laughs> is is on the channel though, and not the one in the game, if that makes sense. Yeah. Yeah, sorry, had to reset the streak. I fucked up and selected Isaac. So there's that answer until I can figure that out. That's <laughs> just gonna be the solution. I don't like it, but... Mental note, Element. don't press the wrong fucking button. Nah, you're fine. Elemental Silver, now I'm curious as to how you imagine me. You are 36. Red hair. I don't know what gender you are. You have an older adult child. You worship them, they worship you. It's a very good relationship. You have a cat that misbehaves. You have an addiction to cheeses. And old Sex in the City reruns. Um, you're probably... What do you do for work? Um, you work in a metaphysical shop. What's a meta tarot. metaphysical shop? Like, uh, like a tarot card, crystal kind of shop. I don't know why they call it met like metaphysical, but that's been the, the word that's stuck with it. But you work in one of those shops, maybe you own it, but you also read tarot cards on the weekends. And you're very happy, you have a good life. Why am I do this? I ordered the golden beard baseball cap and t-shirt. I don't even have those yet. I'm very jealous. Maybe I'll get those. We designed the gold one for Hayden, didn't we? He... I think so. He did request it, yeah. Yeah, no, I, I really like the hat. I wear mine all the time when I go out. Owl factory. On the very rare occasion I leave the house. Yes. Factory, what oh, this me? is a good item. By the way, if I give you guys, like, if I do a prediction, like, tell me if I get anything right. I'm literally just, I'm going off of your name and the way that you, you make me feel. <laughs> like, I don't, I'm not, like, doing any, like, I might, I know a bit about RNG, so that's a little cheating, so I'm not gonna guess, like, physical stuff or stuff about his job, but... Like, let me know. I'm, I'm just curious. Al Factory. Younger male. In tech. You have like a big dog. Now, I don't know if this is you or if I'm picking up on yes, the anime daddy. Will. Huh? Ash would ask the question I answered. Yes, you will. Oh. Um. What else can I tell you about Factory? Does a lot of board games. Like, really into board games. Like, obscure ones, too. RNG. Uh, omitting the obvious from what I do know. You play some kind of sport. You... You 
want to be a better cook. But like, like you, you, you keep fucking it up. But that, but you still try. Um, you have picked up women before at a grocery store or at a Target. Um. You like to travel, and you use a fake name, like like not on the internet. You use it. You have a fake. You have a second identity. Was he superhero or something? <laughs> Win Street counter. McQueeb, the Win Street counter on the character select screen still showed a five Win Streak. Is there another counter? No, I fixed it. I fixed it. I started to run as Lazarus and then hit the R button. Okay. We're good. Uh, Elemental Silver said, at least I got the cheese thing right. Yes! I got the cheese thing right. Goat cheese or boar. Borzen is really good. And still get the channel point. Right, answer that one. Borzen. It's the cheese brand. It, it, it's like it. There's some in the in the in the fridge right now. It's like a like a soft cheese spread, and you can either get it plain or like with garlic or with herbs or whatnot. It's really good. It's like um. I would say it's like a like a, a a neutral taste like it's not a very strong taste it, it's like a very like a, a very like i don't know like a creamy bland type of cheese how do you pronounce that last name R rule french rule It's like Colby or mozzarella. Okay. That I understand. Deranged optician. What about me? So here's the thing. I think immediately of mine. So I'm going to tell you what she is. <laughs> you can just tell me how dead on it is. You're in your late 30s, early 40s. You are very tiny. You're very petite. You have a mohawk. Um, you're very gender fluid. Um, you have a, a, a nutty sort of sense of humor. Like you're a little off your rocker, but then again, deranged. So there you go. Um, she's great in your optician. I like her. I love her so much. I, I do. Oh my God. I can't recommend her highly enough. She's amazing. Um, What? How, how do I word that? Um, you have... You have friends, and you're not close with them. Like, they're, they're, they're like, like, acquaintances, and you wish you were closer to them, but you're, like, best friends, you treat them like acquaintances. I'm telling- I don't know how I get this, like, it's just- it, it's in my head. So I'm just spitting it out. Kizzle. You're in luck, Kizzle, because I actually worked with someone named Kizzle. Um, well, I didn't. We weren't like co-workers. I was, uh, I was a bartender and she was a dancer. Um, so you are uh, five foot tall. You're a woman of color. You have braces. You wear a uh, a sequined cowboy hat and sequined cowboy boots when you dance. All the boys love you. Um, and you have a couple of degrees in political science bullshit. Ashwood, if you're still here, thank you so much. That's super cool of you. Lenny, you got absolutely everything wrong about me, but it was very entertaining. <laughs> thank you. I got three out of five right for RNG. Yes. Well, here's the thing. I'm. What was the one that was right? That you play sports? I 
Aryan Gamer was very hard because I already know what he looks like. I know two of his hobbies. I know his job. I know his age. So with him, like, definitely having to, like, really pull it out. <laughs> Range optician guarded. Humor part and the friends part are right. Yes! Oh, and I haven't played sports since 11th grade. Oh no! I'm so sorry, Alpha. <laughs> One thing that I. I've done it a few years in a row now for my birthday on, uh, on Facebook. I ask people to show me their animals so I can name them. T hey, Mans, take it easy, dude. Thanks for stopping hey, by. Hey, Mance, thank you so much. Good luck. Um, I'll, uh, like, literally, like, showing me pictures of your, your cat, and then I name your cat. Like, I, I tell you what you should have named your cat. It's incredibly entertaining, and it's one of the highlights of my year. Kizzle is male 59 office stop. <laughs> Kit Kat Emperor size. Oh, Kit Kat Emperor size. I like that. Um, I am Miss Queeb. Someone earlier uh, assumed that I was McQueeb's mom, so I'm just running with it. I am. <laughs> I am McQueeb's mom. He's such a good boy. I do wish he would bring some of his friends around. Though. Facts. <laughs> you seem pretty good at this, but I'm a mystery other than what I said. Newt Magoot 2001. You are a 39 year old male, sandy blonde hair. You you got like a, a, a core group of boys, like like you got your boys. Um, you smoke a little smoky smoke. Uh, you you got a good job working for the city, working for the man, and you come home and you hang out with your boys. Maybe play a little Mario Kart. <laughs> you 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 got a good life. <laughs> you got a good life, Newt Bagoot. <laughs> Sports, mountain biking, the cooking thing, and not the picking up girls and the secret name, so whatever the other one was. <laughs> I don't know how to pronounce that. Is it Rocker 777? My brain wants to say Roker, but I'm like, he doesn't mean that. Hi, how are you? <laughs> Kit Kat, hi mom! I love it. Sports, mountain biking, I want to be able to cook. I love to travel. Yeah, gotcha. Cool. So I I think you were the most successful one. I've kind of bonked it on all the others, but I don't care. I think it's fun. Look, if we could post pictures of our animals in the chat, then I would be telling you guys to show me. Show me your dog so I can name him for you. Why am I do this? You... I'm gonna tell a story. Please hold. <clears throat> this is relevant. This is very relevant. When I was 21, I was just now getting on the internet. For reference, next week I turn 42. So this was literally half my life ago. And back then, back in my day, uh, you, you're allowed to say that now. I, I am. I actually am allowed to say that. Um, you, like, like there wasn't like, like a, a Twitch, like this, for instance, Twitch wasn't even around. I don't even think Justin TV was around then. Um, so you would have to like go into like Yahoo chat rooms and that was it. I don't even think AOL chat rooms are still around. So yeah, you would just go into Yahoo chat rooms and for the most part, you know, entertaining. I made some good friends. They obviously didn't stick around. And there's this one kid. And he was just, he was on me. He was just like, what's up? What are you doing? Anytime he saw me in this, I would just go to like a local Dallas chat room just because I didn't know any better. I was like, hobbies, what's a hobby? What are interests? I'll just go to Dallas. Um, and so he joined me on on Yahoo Messenger. And whenever he would see me online, he'd be like, where are you? Where are you at? Where are you at? Where are you at? And I'm like, 
I'm, I'm getting in the chat room now. He's like, okay, cool, cool. And it was just like, he was like, I don't, I don't know. It was very, it wasn't like bad vibes. He was just, you could tell like, like I was a person and he thought I might be a girl. He's like, ah, yes, a girl, a free one, yes. And he was just in it, right? And so we're in this chat room and just talking, whatever. And he got booted out. And the people in the chat room said that they had found out that he was underage. And I'm like, well, how old is he? And they wouldn't tell me. So concurrent with that, he's blowing up my messenger and he's like, yo, are you still in the chat? And I, I'm trying to get back in. I'm getting on my alt and we're going to do it. And, and I'm like, how old are you? And he's like, you know, I, I'm, I'm 17. It, it's, it's not a big deal, whatever. And I'm like, eh. Like, I'm not interested in this kid at all. I don't care about this kid. But, like, we're just friends. But it was, like, the whole age thing was weird. He starts talking about how he was best friends with Ludacris and Eminem, because this is the era we're talking about, and how he he would frequently go backstage with them, and he was best friends. He had, like, this full-on fan fiction that he swore up and down was truthful. Right? And so someone, uh, after I, I left the chat uh, for the night, another friend got back with me and she said, hey, I found out how old he is. He's 11. And so I went back up and I'm like, how, how are you like doing all this stuff with fucking ludicrous if you're 11? And he's like, oh, don't listen to the hype. Don't listen to the hype. Don't do it. And so the picture he sent me of him was of I'm I'm being as polite as possible, okay? I'm 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 holding it down as as best I can. Like a 17-year-old skinny white boy with a do rag who doesn't think he's white, who's wearing wife beaters and has grills in. Um and has like some kind of shadow beard situation going, but it might just be eyeshadow. We can't tell. So anyway, that picture is what I think of you. It's that picture. And I don't mean that in a bad way. Why am I doing this? Like at all. Like don't mean it in a bad way. It's like like it's the name, and I think it's because he said something like, why why am I do this? Like, something in that realm. But yeah, like, the first thing that pops in my head is that story about that kid. Which, if he was 11, that means he's 31 now. He might be in the chat room. <laughs> Hit me up! <laughs> Come on! <laughs> We named our dog Triple after the Star Trek episode. Falls off cliffs. Hi, how are you? I used to be on over the summer, and Queen uh, wanted me back. Pat Drew, don't don't joke about your age because uh, I will remove anyone under the age of thirteen. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Use net. Oh my, I forgot about that, and I forgot about IRC. Was IRC was the one where you could actually see what people were typing, right? Or was that a mod? You mean like live? Yeah. That used to... I remember BBS has got that technology way back, maybe, but I don't know if IRC ever it? had it. No, I think that's... You have to submit a line on IRC. I don't think there's a live chat for that. Maybe it was. Like, I remember being over at my friend's house and she was chatting in a room. And that was like my first introduction to a chat room. I'm like, what do you mean? Like, these people are just in this room? Like, what are they doing? She's like, we're talking. Like, what are you talking about? Like, I didn't get it at all. I, w I was 16. I was a baby. And I remember she she started typing something and she sent it. And then the other person, they, they typed a couple of sentences and then they deleted it. And I had trouble understanding. She's like, no, no, no. That's just what he typed. He, he's, he's erasing. I'm like, you can see what he types? 
She's like, yeah, it's not a big deal. And so then whenever I, I started getting on Messenger, I didn't understand why I couldn't see what other people were typing. I just assumed, so I was, I assumed that they were just very like, they, they were very eloquent and they knew what, what they were going to type. And so they would just like type it out. And the, I, I wouldn't type anything unless I actually had my, my thought out incoherent because I didn't want them to think I was an idiot because I never saw them deleting what they were saying. I, I was a baby. Leave me alone. Shut up. Unfiltered Ms. Queep insanity. It's, it's me, fam. It's your boy. Th this is me. Thanks. <laughs> The skinny white boy in the picture, the thirsty eleven-year-old. I would have to say that the the skinny white boy, but also maybe maybe like one percent the thirsty eleven-year-old. But to be fair, he he was a cool eleven-year-old. He was a cool eleven-year-old. I did have to kind of as soon as I found out he was eleven, I, I was like, yeah, you're you're a good kid. But if you were a girl and I was a boy, this is highly illegal. It's very suspect, so I can't talk to him anymore, but I'm so sorry. And he actually tried coming back a month or so later under a different name, and I knew the name because he had told me, and he forgot he told me the username. He's like, hey, I saw you in a chat room. I'm like, yeah, and? And he just went through this whole this whole spiel about how, you know, he had been, he'd seen me in the chat room, and uh, he'd never said anything to me before, but he was just taken aback by how gorgeous I was and all this and I'm like did you forget you told me this name because I know it's you you're you're still 11 dude that's cute monkey nice monkey I met my wife through SF goth IRC Mets. I never saw any. I, I'm sure there were. I I was such a baby whenever I was in those chat rooms. Like I was just like, I'm gonna stay with the Dallas one. I'll be fine. And then they had like the the not safe for work ones. I'm like, I don't want to go in there. That's where bad stuff happens. 34. I look like a discount Chris Pratt. I'm disabled. I listen to Eminem occasionally, but that's all good. <laughs> You know what? I think you're perfect just the way you are. So don't even worry about it. We recently moved. My husband found a post-it note with a bunch of his friends' ICQs. I remember ICQ. <gasps> Maybe that was it? That was the... The high-pitched... Uh-oh. Every time you got a message by, by default. The, yeah. the first thing you change in the settings. Mm. <laughs> Insanity, referring to the 11 year old, not the baby. I see understanding. There's not so dull. I still have my AOL game. Wow. I dated someone. We dated for a year and a half. It was a devastating breakup. He was, he was an, an idiot um, because I'm a catch. And he had an AOL email. And he did not have a cell phone. I can't make this up. He didn't have a cell phone. That's that's all the red flag you need right there. <laughs> um, but yeah, like he... And, and I didn't know that this was a thing. Now, if you have an AOL email, you have to pay for it. What? Yeah, well, as of 10... What was it? 10 years ago when I dated him? 9, 10 years ago? He was paying for his AOL email address because he wanted to keep it. Oh, yeah. I, I get that. That actually doesn't make... That, that doesn't sound ridiculous. Some people get very attached to their usernames, I guess. For the junk, I don't want to get my regular email AOL. I, yeah, I have a Gmail account that I, I use as like a general spam folder. I can't imagine like... Like, Frost, do you have to pay for yours? Or was it like, did you get it for free? Like it was rolled in or something? <laughs> the rest of us just got vanity domains. The Magic Bus 420. Blaze it. I still use AOL and don't have to pay. I wonder... 
Like, and I, I know that this is factual. I know he had to pay because he, we actually had a discussion about that. He, he didn't like online billing. I promise, I promise, he he was only five years older than me, and he's like, yeah, I don't really like online billing, I would rather just mail my check into the company, I'm like, what? And so he had to mail in, he, legit, my hand on my dog, swear, swear to, like, hi Buddha, uh, he wrote a check into AOL and mailed it because he put it in an envelope, gave it to me, and I took it to the mailbox. Maybe you're ex maybe Nigerian Prince for inheritance. God damn it. I should have stuck around. Deepfakes. You're going to make this whole online meeting for me, size. For real though. Have you seen some of them? Uh-huh. Wild. There is um there's an app where you can change your face it's it's what that one girl is using where everyone's like freaking out because she's like in her 40s or 50s and she's making herself look like a teenager like a young teenager have you heard this mm -mm. so in this app you have to pay for those features but you can make yourself look incredibly young and even even just that like we're, we're not talking like like you're not trying to make me look like Meghan markle or anything but it is some weird shit. It looks real. And people have shown, like, bef uh, they've shown her, and then they've shown these photos. And... And there's even video. And so it's not like, you know, someone... I mean, I guess someone could go in and, like, edit the video. CGI it or whatever. But the whole thing is just weird. So, like, deep fakes? Ugh. Who is Meghan Markle? She is the Prince Harry. Duchess, Duchess of I forget what title they did have. Yeah, she married Prince Harry. Oh, is he is he no longer a prince? Is that, they is that been I think taken away? he was he was born with the title, so he will always have it. But he does not use HRH anymore. She's not allowed to use it, and because they like walked away. She is no longer called whatever. Megan Markle. Her brother. Um, was what's what's? There's like a show in. I think it's called. What is it like? I think it's like Celebrity Big Brother or something like that. Her brother, whom he's like her stepbrother. He's like ten or twenty years older. They've never really had a relationship. He was on there like selling her secrets. No, oh, no. Like just skeezy. He's like, oh yeah, she's always been a bitch. It's like, <laughs> okay, you're an old white man. Please hush. Oh, rip bony. It's three health, four health? Question mark. Sussex. She's the Duchess of Sussex. Favorite deep fake was clips of the Han Solo movie. Wah wah. Wah lucky. What? Uh. I I I. What what is the title of this monkey? So I can look it up. I need to see. Uh, Zippy. Highly recommend the game, by the way. Zippy. the British kill Princess Diana. There's like a huge conspiracy that they did. Like it's like, it's intense, dude. It's intense. I think Ms. Queeb has a conspiracy theories. Yep. Conspiracy chat on Discord. Feel free to uh, take that conversation elsewhere. <laughs> Thank you, Monkey. I appreciate it. Yeah, like... Uh, look at the YouTube. Oh! Oh! Who is the one guy who looks like him? 
Uh, Harrison Ford? Age of Adeline. Yeah, so in the movie Age of Adeline, which by the way, one of my favorite movies, it has Blake Lively in it. Most people are, I, I think it, yeah, it didn't. Eh. Budget was 25, it made 65 million, but it was like, you know, it a bitty. Um, she's like hit by lightning, I believe, and she she doesn't age. She like stopped aging, and like her her young daughter ended up like growing older and was like like two or three times her age and all of this. And yes, he was in it. Anthony Ingruber was in that, and he was the guy. Whenever I just did the search. Um, that monkey gave me there is a, uh, a video of him Anthony Ingruber as Han Solo deep fake but he he legit like most people are like yeah he 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 look he look he looks like a young Tom Cruise and you see him you're like no he doesn't but this guy he looks like a baby Harrison Ford yeah. and it lined up perfectly because Harrison Ford is in Age of Adeline and he played the older version of Anthony Ingruber. Steam sale. Okay, so I think I have maybe four health, maybe, I don't know. Five, maybe. And then I'm pretty sure my, the soul has five, definitely. Pretty sure. Newt, how old are you? I'm assuming you were born in 2001. I wouldn't say the average age would be double. I would say plus 50% like, maybe. I'd say like 30s, 40s, yeah. But we've had some young people come in from other channels. Like they they tend to come in on uh, on raids. And they... I mean, it's just... it's This channel's a different vibe. It's And I'm not saying that to be stuck up. It's just very low-key and there's no loud noises and... You know, we we tend to eject people who uh, who try to create drama, and it's just very it's a very chill vibe. Or people that dislike snakes. I will cut a bitch. I will absolutely cut a bitch. Zoe is being a little potato. Opposite of John C. Stout, a little bit. <laughs> I don't scream. Mm -mm, nope. I've been known to swear a little though. Answers. You, I do have to say that over the years you have started swearing as much as I do. Well, you've you're, you've influenced me. I do. I'm I'm a horrible person. <clears throat> Chillness of this channel is why I'm always here. It's grounding. Grounding, that's a term I haven't heard this channel being called before, that's cool. I'll take that. I don't know, Mets. Right now, we have a decent amount of people in, but we'll have a, a lot more in later on as the night goes on. You might be the oldest. Nothing wrong with that. I think someone has you beat though. I think I think we have someone older. I want to say we have I thought I saw someone say that they were 57. Okay. Uh yeah. Yeah, there's a couple there's a couple of older. Yeah. More distinguished refined people in the chat. Newt says McQueeb can't be more than 35 so I assume the age is around that in chat. <laughs> he, he is a young looking turd. That is for damn sure. Yes, he is. Thank you, Newt. You can stay. 
<laughs> I'm a, uh, uh, what, six months? Ish? Seven months younger than Ms. Queef? Uh, not that much. I'm, de I'm December, and then in May, you'll turn my age that I hit in December. And how many months is that? Well, December, January, February, March, April, May. So five months. So five months and one week. And then you will be my age. The way time to call Mets darling out, she's my mom. I'm among the younger people, 19. You're a baby. You're so tiny. You're so little, so small. Must protect. <laughs> That's true. Aaron and I share the same birth month. Is he a Taurus too? I don't actually know when the cutoff is. I was. I put a video up on TikTok asking people what generation I was because that was a discussion we had in uh, chat recently. He is a Taurus, and so is Athan, right? Yes. Fucking Taurus people, leave me alone. All of y'all. Y'all are no. Y'all are a no. Synth and lasers. Hello, Good Synth. Good evening. And thank you, Dorian, for 13 months subscribed. Great to have you back. I haven't seen McQueen ban for much, but I'm 15, does it? I've seen him. I want to say it was like a, it might have been like a TikTok. Mhm. Mm I made and, a TikTok about someone I banned, yeah, because they said their age. And he was like very proud about it or something, and they're like, "Yeah, you shouldn't have said that. You shouldn't have said anything." He, he was yourself. he was rather disruptive when he came in as well. He's like, he want he wanted to be, you know, wanted a little bit of attention, which is fine. Yeah. That happens to the best of us sometimes, but no, he was uh, he was full on this kid, man. And I got I the even, I got the vibe straight away. Like, it's very easy to spot, but um. Yeah. You know what I've noticed with like, I, t okay, caveat. Lately, I haven't been on the channel, like especially the last couple of months, because I'm just I'm. When I'm done dealing with the asshole child in the other room, I don't come in here for a few hours. Like I've started just skipping the laptop, and. Uh, so I'm not in here very much. And when I am, I'm not paying as close attention as I should. Well, you want to do your own stuff too. I mean, I don't expect you to be here every night. Well, <laughs> well that makes it sound like it's a choice and it's really not. It's just, I'm, I'm too exhausted. As the loaf has gotten bigger, he's very boisterous and he, I don't like the stereotype of he's a boy child, but he is a boy child and mm -hmm. he's just, He's maniacal and I love him, and, but at the same time he just takes all my energy because he, he's literally se over 70 pounds now. He's huge. Um, but when I was in the channel previously, I, uh, I tend to give people a chance. I tend to... I encourage Because I, yep. I assume everyone is going to behave. <laughs> oh, shut up! I I assume that they're going to just be nice and pleasant, and um, oh, Miss Queen, and everyone's going to just be kind to each other. And you, like, there have been times where he has. We I normally don't see Queeb at night. Like if he goes on break, if he walks to the bathroom or, or to get a drink I'll see him in passing but he's asleep during the day and I'm awake and then I'll see him for a few minutes before he starts to stream so we I don't see him and there have been times where he has said oh okay two minute break I'll be right back and he has gotten up and he'll be like you know there, there's an asshole in the room they just got in they've got me in a bad mood like like he can, and I'll say something like, what did they do? And he can't tell me. He's like, they haven't done anything yet. <laughs> but I know. <laughs> and it, 
it's happened. It, this isn't like a one or a two time yeah. occurrence. This, yeah. is, this has happened easily a dozen times in the last year alone. Like, and I don't know if it's like, I say this with love. I don't know if it's because he has the heart of a troll and he sees his kindred and he's like, ah, that, that's, that's one of my people. That's one of my people. I have no idea, but he has got a radar like, like nothing I've ever seen before. And that's, that. I, funnily enough, that's one of the things that I've been talking to chat about the last couple of, couple of streams over the last week, I'd say. Um, it's that, you know, I, I try real hard to, to maintain that, that good vibe here and I'm really proud of it. And I don't want anything else other than a cool place for people to hang out and to, to feel accepted. Um, so when somebody comes in and it's awkward or weird and I sense it, like I have to carry that. That sounds like such a first world thing, but it's, um, it's, how do I explain it? It's just something else that I have to manage, right? Like I don't, if I'm streaming, I want to, I want to be entertaining and I want to make people feel good and, and happy and forget about whatever's going on in their day to days. But it, it's very difficult for me sometimes when there's other stuff on my mind. Um, and I think as we grow, I'm going to have to change my forgiveness first attitude. Mm -hmm. Which I really don't want because I don't want to turn into one of those streamers. And this is not me stepping on toes. You run your stream however you want, right? Um, but I've always wanted to give people the benefit of the doubt. And lately that has bit me in the butt. Well, that's not good. Am I... Am I stuck in a loop? Better to build a good base than to tolerate trolls. Yeah. And that's... that's I've always believed that. I've always believed that. Um, set your boundaries early. So that when you do grow, you don't have to revisit that. Nothing changes for anybody. It's just business is normal. And I've witnessed other streamers. Um, even streamers that have mentored me. And uh, people that I look up to, and and they do exactly that, and they don't have the same problems that I'm. I'm using that term problems very loosely, right? Like, I'm seriously still very proud of of the channel we've got here. Um, but it it's just something I need to be cognizant of, I think. And it wasn't. It sort of jumped up on me very quickly, all of a sudden. I'm like, the vibe isn't right tonight, and I don't know what's up. I'm never going to find that charge key again. Uh, let me go back to chat. Sen said he is a Aries sun, Aries moon, Aquarius rising. You are spicy. You are very spicy. However, you are an Aquarius rising, like Aquarius and Sagittarius. Like we're, we're like beans and toast, I think is a good a good uh, metaphor. That's us. You banned that kid on my first stream in like the first 10 minutes. The the one that said he was underage? Yeah. Uh, Zippy, thank you so much for subscribing. That's super cool of you. Really thank you, Zippy. It. Sorry, Mr. And then Dorian, you... Where was it? So it is 13 months. Okay, thank you very much, Dorian, for being subscribed for 13 months. Lucky 13. Totally appreciate it. I have so much energy because I said I've never been there. Surprise peep is not very nice. Diesel. I hope I hope I said that right. Minority report of Twitch chat. He knows what you're gonna do before you do it. It's true. He's like he's. I'm telling you, he's got the heart of a troll. Like he, 
he knows. Well, that, that's another problem I have is my my sense of humor doesn't always track on here. Um, and I have this problem in my day-to-day -day life as well sometimes. Um, I'm just, I'm very dry, I guess. You are. Um, I have, by the way, I'm, I'm just saying this out loud so I don't forget because I'm about to have to leave to go deal with your child. Uh, we do have a discount code. Oh, it's set up? Um, yeah, hold on. I'm going to make it a little bit easier to type in. Um, it's 20% off. And I haven't put a threshold on it, so literally you can buy the cheapest thing and you'll get 20% off. That's cool. Um, it's good from now until uh, midnight on New Year's Eve. I think I even have a button for it. There you go. Hopefully uh, everything's in stock. I don't know. I haven't checked lately. I'm... That's my next thing. So if you're, if you're wanting something specific, if, if you go to the site the, and you don't see anything, do if the you side literally... Fly? Huh? Do we do the sci-fly? I can do the sci-fly if you send me the thing. I'll get the graphics um, for you. Yeah. If uh, if you go to the channel or if you go to the site and see don't see something that you're looking for, if you will let me know, I will see if it's a stock issue or or compile something. Like we'll we'll figure it out. Don't worry about it. You you know how we are with you guys. We love you guys. Um, let me double check. Twenty percent off all products. No minimum. Everyone's available or eligible for it. The dates are right. I'm saving it. Okay, the uh, discount code is Queeb. Queeb? It's just Queeb. It's Queeb. Oh man, people are gonna share that. <laughs> uh, it's Queeb for 20% off. Um, Queeb for 20? No, Queeb. Oh. I know. We're, we weren't that clever. We, we're not. We're not pot smokers. So that wouldn't make sense for us to do Queep 420. That's very true. But it is very But true. it is an internet number. That is true. And I am very hip. You are incredibly hip. Incredibly. Uh, let me go back through chat super quick and then I'm going to have to jump off for at least a tiny bit so I can go take care of uh, my heathen child. Okay, I think that is a... A contained conversation. You know Miss Queeb, and that she would definitely not be with me here otherwise. That's very kind of you to say, Matt. She's a wonderful person. Oh. Since says he's only internally spicy, he's a quiet, polite boy. So more, more details to come, by the way, this whole thing is so last minute, my fault. I didn't realize December was as close as it is, so half of it, um... We're doing our best, <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Look, it's the, the last... The, this time of year, it, it's notoriously bad for me. It's always been, like, I'm a birthmas baby, uh, like, I, I tend to lose my job in the later part of the year for whatever reason, like very weird stuff. Um, and then like a few years ago, my dad died like the weekend after Thanksgiving. And then last year, uh, my dog died on December 3rd and I got her ashes back on my birthday. So like, for whatever reason, well, I guess it's for all the trauma it seems like the month goes like day by day, November 1st, 2nd, 3rd, 4th, and it hits like November 15th, and it goes from November 15th to November 30th to December 1st, December 2nd. Like it just skips over those two weeks. So whenever Queeb told me about this, I was like, oh, it's like two, three weeks away. Cool. He'll get on top of it. It was, it was like five days ago, if that. Yeah, like, and, and literally yesterday, he's like, I don't have anything done. The first is like tomorrow. So yeah, we're actual voice. You know what? We're doing our best. We're doing our fucking best. God damn it. Mets is amazing, Zippy. You're very seriously. You're very lucky. I've known her a long time. She's amazing. 
Dorian. I keep stumbling over your name and I don't know why. I th I know why. I want to say DeLorean. It's not DeLorean, idiot. It's Dorian. Uh, if you were around during the subathon, you heard me then, but otherwise probably not. Unless I was doing like a snake time and I was in the room with uh, with Huxley or Faye. Snake time's cool. Snake time. Snake it is. Time. It is literally. Well, no, maybe, maybe it's not literally what it sounds like. It's, it's a good thing. My uncle died the day after Christmas, so it's always been a bit sad. I some advice. It's still... I think it was... It's a combination of, like, bad childhood, grew up extremely poor. People tend to put my birthday and Christmas together, which is why I call it Birthmas. Like, I call it Birthmas in jest, even though I'm actually pretty sensitive about it. Um... Like it, it was always known like like food, like Christmas dinner, you better eat everything because we could barely afford it. Like it was just a very tense time of year. Um, and then on top of that, like uh, my parents' anniversary was New Year's Eve and they haven't been together since like 95. And so since then it's like, oh, you know, my parents aren't, aren't together anymore, great. And for the last three, it's just like, cool, my dad's dead. And then now this year's the first year I get to say, yep, my dog died. Cool. We had Teddy this year too. That was mm -hmm. this year. Yep. We have uh, Emma's anniversary is on December 3rd. Teddy's is on the 15th, but March 15th is also Love's birthday. Oh, is it? Mm-hmm. Where did we get that information from? From the woman who got him from his breeder. Oh, okay. So we don't know for a fact. No, because it, 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 he's not papered, so we don't have, like, no, I documentation. Get it. But, yeah, like, she she told me March 15th. Birthmas is some bullshit. I had a girlfriend who had that. It, it's literally anyone from like mid November to like early January I consider all of us birthmas children and I feel so awful for all of us what parent will I maze wise right on yeah you like the you like the hat it's really it's really well made I was impressed when I got mine we always like to do a, a test run before we um put put it up you know what I mean December 20th, so he had the same issue. I knew someone who, well, I still know someone whose ex-husband, his birthday was, um, he was born at, like, 11.50 on Christmas Eve. And his parents went out of the way to make sure that this kid got spoiled fucking rotten to make up for it. And that has been like the only case that I've heard of someone actually been like, yeah, my birthday's great, dude. Yeah. Generally, it's it's just we're we're all just we're all just stuck in the boat. There's a hole in the boat. The boat's sinking. MM33 MM33. Please tell me how to say that. You just did. It's it's not Mimi. Oh, I, I don't know. I always, uh, I took that one at face value. <laughs> See, this is why I asked. I want to know. Uh, if there's any McQueen jacket's favorite color, would love to see that. Here's the thing. I never ordered a hoodie. I don't, I don't have one. <laughs> because they went out of stock. Hmm. They're, um, I was thinking pink and I typed in pink.com I'm like what? What's going on? You're an idiot. Stop it. Um, I will say this much. Having we do have a print vendor that we use and it has it has absolutely shown like instead of going with um, with like I don't know like red bubble or whatever else where we like yeah you can see like an overview of what people have ordered but running our own print shop where it's kind of a mix between uh 
that and actually going out and buying the blanks and making them ourselves. It's been very enlightening as to see what people will pick. Right. What What is that behind your head? What is what behind my head? Is that a Christmas tree? Oh. We have. Is that a Christmas tree? Show us that Christmas tree. We have a Christmas tree. More info on that later as well. <laughs> Got a chroma tree. Look at it with the lights and everything. Do is there a, a Christmas Ripley in the tank? Well, I know for a fact she's in there, but I can't see her. She was she was getting a uh, while I was setting up the tree. She came out to uh, to investigate what I was doing, and she was not pleased. She was um, she wasn't happy with me. And I'm like, you know what, Ripley? Neither am I. I'm not happy with me. I'm doing my best here. Crumbus. Crumbus. Uh, Miss Queep, can you keep chat entertained for a little bit? I'm going to go grab uh, another beverage. Yeah, that's fine. And then I'll need to go take care of uh, Loaf Finnegan. And, um, yeah, we'll run a quick ad. As always, we'll get rid of those pre-rolls. And see you soon. Congratulations, yeah. by the way, everyone that doubted me. That, I, what can I say? That was my first uh, forgotten run in a long time. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Sure. Uh-huh. Okay. Sure. The, the cameras that I'm using are all listed down below in stream setup, I think. This is a Sony... E... Shit, I can't remember. And that's a... Five... Something. I can't remember. They're both Sonys. I like them. Go do your stuff. I, I will monitor chat. Mets, thank you so much for hanging out with us. I, I really appreciate seeing you. It was, it was good to see your friend. Thank you very much. Uh, let's see. I just saw a question. Where did it go? Where did it go? Oh, exo random. Oh, if Exo Random's here, Exo Random, I'm gonna type this as well. Um, our print vendor, print vendor is printful.com with a Shopify storefront. Monkey, you do not have to put away Halloween this weekend at all. Uh,. I think we'll do rats in a week. Let me catch up. Yes, I'm speaking out loud as well as typing just to make sure that I don't have to repeat myself. We know how much I hate that. If I don't put <laughs> all the flammables will rot. Come on, it'll be fine. I want, I'm, this is the second year I have not gotten my 12 foot skeleton. It's a good thing because if we had him, um, okay. So you guys, yeah, you can't really see from, okay, so Queeb's setup is at the short end of our office and it's just, I don't know. It's like regular height. Like, like how, how tall is the ceiling? Like, what is that? Like. Maybe 10 feet, maybe 11 feet. It's not that high. So that's the short end. And the big end of the room is like 16 feet tall. So we were totally going to put the 12 foot skeleton in here, like right here by my desk. And I would have put a Santa hat on him. And I didn't, I didn't get the skeleton because they sold out and I can't get a Santa hat because the stores don't have them now. Well, it's very sad. Newt Magoot? Did you put the logo on yourself or... So... So with Printful, they have pre-made designs. We use our own design and you, you have that option. You can either use your own or you can use whatever Printful suggests. And 
Um, yeah, so you you have like a little area, and they have they have like a little area where you go in and you can. Um, it's it's not only uh, like clip art; it's also actual words, so you can go in and type stuff yourself. They do have. Um, I mean, it's run just like a store. So, like, if I go in, like, I I have to pay tax and whatnot, right? Um, and then because we use a Shopify front for our store, uh, you also have to pay like a percentage to Shopify, like like a like a small like one or two percent, whatever it is, just to process the the financials behind it. But if you're just talking about like for yourself or whatever, like in theory, I can go, you can't see my screen, but in theory, I can go up here, I can click new order and I can click personal orders and create order. And I can literally print everything through there. Um, the only thing I don't like about Printful is that you do, um, any new design that has never been printed before they do charge like i want to say it's like five or six bucks um as a as like a setup fee to set up that design on their computer and and make sure that it aligns right and whatever but that's just for the first time that a new design is printed and it took me it was really hard for me to understand that i my brain kept missing it um, that's like the, the worst thing about it. But if you have like a core group of, of stuff, you can just run it straight through. I like a lot of their items. Um, I wish they had a little bit more variety. Printify has more variety. However, and this was the reason why we ended up, well, why I ended up going with Printful instead of Printify. Let's say that you order a t-shirt and a hat and a jacket so using printful i tell you like i have it set up what facility those items are printed at so they will come from one facility and you're charged one shipping rate if you go with printify you are able to select which printer for which item specifically and there are some where your hat will come from Mexico and your t-shirt will come from Alabama and your jacket will come from California and all three are different facilities they're not even a chain of the same facility they're different facilities different companies different shipping fees and it just got to a point to be so confusing so I would recommend checking out Printful they do a lot of plugins including plugging into Shopify as well as Etsy and like I said you can you can also run it singularly so you can like have stuff printed through them and just have it shipped to yourself and then you can sell from there so you wouldn't even have to technically connect any kind of storefront hello mr queeb well hello there um if it wasn't blatantly obvious tonight's game tonight's uh what are we calling it Queen vent calendar. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Tonight's Queen vent calendar door number one. Um, which we, we have a physical thing to it. This is a whole, trust me, it's the very last minute, but I'm trying to do my best here. Is Outer Wilds. We're going to uh, play this this evening. Uh, a couple of runs of Isaac each night, followed by a random game. There is a game heavily requested, one that I'm oft known for, which will be on Christmas Day. Um, it is Noita. We are going to be playing Noita on Christmas Day. But um, every day leading up to that, it's going to be something different. And people How may be able to influence which door we pick. How do you feel about playing Noita again? Hmm. I don't dislike the game. Not, mm -hmm. not in the slightest. Um, oh, shit. What do I do? God damn it. Um, no, I, I made a mistake. So, I don't dislike Noita at all. At all. I, I love it, in fact. Um, I love watching other people play it, and there's so much that I haven't done, whether or not I'll be bothered uh, like undertaking all of those tasks in the game. 
Um, I, it'll just be interesting to get back in. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm looking forward to it. But yeah, it, I doubt it's coming back. It's not, it's not making a comeback. Put it that way. It is coming back for one day only. Indeed. Oh, you're off to Mexico, Monkey Lord Gnome. That's dope. All right, we're going to switch over. Um, this game, interestingly, says that it is... I keep hearing my voice. It's coming from Ms. Queeb's headset. Well, I'm actually going to peace the fuck out because I need to go take care of your children. All right. Uh, thank you very much, everyone, for dealing with me and my bullshit. It's much appreciated. We will have more details for you about um, about our McQuivent calendar bullshit tomorrow. Uh, I do believe I am doing a pregame. Am I starting pregame tomorrow? Mm -hmm. Okay, so I'll be on like three, uh, five thirty, five forty-five, somewhere in there, and I'll I'll be on for the first little bit. Uh, if you guys have any questions, comments, whatever, you can hit me up on Discord. There is a, a Kingdom of Misqueed channel. You can also whisper me there or here uh, if you have any ideas for merch, anything you'd like to see. And finally, please remember uh, the uh, the discount code. I will try to put it on a banner at the top of the site today. It's Queeb, Q-U-E-E-B for 20% off and that's from now until the end of December so I hope you guys uh, have a good night, enjoy whatever the fuck this game is and I will see you later bye Miss Creep. See, see you tomorrow well I guess, bye alright so interestingly when I started this up first time playing it I've set up just the graphics so far that's it we may have to make some adjustments, but it did say controller recommended, which for a first person game on PC, I wouldn't have thought. So I guess I'm going to give that a shot. Okay, so. The only thing I know about this game is that there's a time loop involved somehow. I'm not sure how that works. I've seen a speedrunner like go through the entire game, but that made zero sense whatsoever. Um, and I think it's like a lot of puzzles. Still can't work out why they recommend controller here. So I might, I might switch over. How is that? That's all right. Talk to Slate. Hello, Slate. Uh, there's our pilot back from the pre-launch camp out under the stars, I see. So it's launch day. It seems like only yesterday you joined the space program and suddenly you're here. You are leaving on your first solo voyage. What do you say? Ready to get this beauty off the ground? It's all fu fueled up and ready to go. Uh, I'm ready if you are. Are you kidding? Of course I'm ready. It's finally time to test the new landing hydraulics with a pilot instead of the auto flight system. Test the landing hydraulics with a pilot? Okay. Speaking of pilots, make sure you don't crash the ship. First time you put it down, you're here. Right, so now it's my fault if the landing hydraulics fail. Anyway, you'll need to get the launch codes from Hornfels at the observatory before you can lift off. Just bring those here once you've said your goodbyes or whatever. <laughs> extend stick. Yes, extend stick. No, <laughs> no. Please tell me there's an achievement for this. Okay, great. <laughs> I think that'll do. Too immersive. There's too much immersiveness in my sim. This game was made with Unity. Oh, it's becoming daylight. Right on.
Jump. Press. Hold and release to jump. All right, that's different. Talk to Micah. Hey, it's you. Looks like said you're blasting off in your ship today. I'm really excited to see the launch. Aren't you going into space? Aren't you? You better not have changed your mind. Hey, I'm still going. You better be. It's been forever since anyone launched into space. I really, really want to see it really bad. Hey, you want to try out my model ship? Slate says it's just like the real thing, only less likely to start a fire. Fly model ship. Oh! Okay. Okay. <laughs> I wonder if we can go into... Oh, hold up. Okay, this is not easy. I wonder if we can go down here. I don't even know where it... Oh, no. Okay, so the controls are going to get a little bit weird. Maybe that's why they recommend the controller. <laughs> okay, good. We'll be fine. <laughs> we'll be fine. I swear I just landed on this dude's head. Porphy. Hey yo, hatchling. I hear you're leaving us to seek adventure amongst the star stars. When you return, let's you, me, and Gasan Gosen open up a bottle of the good stuff. I'm only seeking adventure amongst one star. Actually, other stars are too far away. The good stuff is less delicious sap wine and more daunting digestive challenge. Another metaphor ruined in the name of scientific accuracy. Nevertheless, I do hope you enjoy your travels. Good luck. Oh, I love the sound effects. Will I be doing Outer Wilds? No. No, we will not be doing Outer Wilds at all 25 days. Oh, we'll, we'll revisit it though. We'll come back and finish it. Don't you worry about that. Maybe if I if it, if it has an end, I don't I don't even know. Nice. Hello there, space cadet. I hear you're leaving the crater today. If you meet any other travelers up there, remind them to take proper care of their instruments, won't won't you? Tell me about the travelers' instruments. Oh sure, I made all of their instru instruments. You know, let me see. There's Chert's drums, Rebex banjo, and garb garb. Gabro's flute. And Felsfar's harmonica, of course. Though Felsfar has been missing for a long time, sometimes it feels like just yesterday they were planning their harmonica, playing their harmonica around the campfire. Anyway, you hear music in space? That'll be one of the space program's other travelers. If you feel like company, you can always pull out your signal scope and track them down. Okay, right on. So we've got to find equipment. Hello, Marl. So it's launch day. How's going to miss you? Speaking of launch day, I was thinking about it, and the platform those ships launch from is getting old. Isn't it about time you built a new, less flammable one? That's big tree. That big tree in the village would be the perfect choice. I wouldn't mind helping out the space program. Just say the word. The current launch pad is fine. Nice try. The launch pad is flammable. Ha! <laughs> you didn't realize that. Don't worry, it's held up for all the launches so far. It'll definitely be fine for yours, probably. Observatory. Let's do a quick lap, I don't want to leave anything behind here. 
Outer Wilds Ventures presents Postcards from Orbit. View satellite camera. This projector is linked to our Sky Shutter satellite, which is currently orbiting Timber Hearth. The satellite is equipped with two onboard cameras. See if you can take a snapshot of our village. Oh, it's, it's actually passing over in, I guess, whatever real-time. Ah, that's something we need to see. Okay. pilot seat used by pioneering astronaut Feldspar is all that remains of our inaugural flight into space. Oh no! That's where Feldspar is. He's gone missing. This game looks neat. Play Outer Wilds. Yeah. Yeah. I. You know this game? <laughs> Although it's been argued such a distinction requires a breathtakingly liberal definition of flight. That day will nevertheless be remembered as a landmark achievement in Harthian history. It's cool music too. Hey! They really don't explode as often anymore. All I know is in between the space program and Micah's model rockets, things seem to burn to the ground around here more than they used to. Tell me, what can I do for you? Any new dirt? I'm hoping to teach Esker to tap trees next time they return from the Adel Rock. If They'll bring me Lunar Sap, I can attempt Moonwine. Launch Tower. So we've got the Observatory to visit, and the Launch Tower. Uh, Observatory was where? There. Everybody's got a radio. That's dope. Tefra. Hello, astronaut. Well, if it isn't maybe my favorite troublemaker. We wanted to play hide and seek, but Mor Moraine won't let us borrow their signal scope because it's really delicate and not supposed to be thrown around like that. Hey, hey, can we use your signal scope? Can we? Can we please? We'll even let you be it. Uh, yeah, sure. Okay, here are the rules. Galena and me will hide with these radios and you'll use your signal scope to find us. Last one to be found wins. Okay, close your eyes and start counting. I've got, like, four eyes too. Equip signal scope. Got it. So this is teaching us how to use the, the space thing to find the, the parts. I see him. Uh, okay, so we gotta go. We gotta go there, huh? Zipper Lucky, you take care. Thank you so much for stopping by tonight. Hopefully see you again soon, huh? Gotcha. What do you mean, dot, dot, dot? No, I found you. Yeah, I just said that. Alright, and we can jump pretty high, huh?
The old hiding behind the waterfall trick. You got me, but I'm the last one. I win. Promise you'll play again when you get back from space, okay? You gotta. I will. Maybe. If I get back from space. Zero G cave? Sp Spinel? Fishing rhyme, fishing rhyme. Singing helps me pass the time. You're leaving the crater. Guess we'll be a little busier without you. Great. The guilt. I love it. To lend a hand. The big water planet. Giant's Deep. That's where I'd go. Why is that? One time after the rest of the village had left to sleep. And it was just the two of us sitting around the campfire. Gabbro told me about their first trip to Giant's Deep. They landed their ship easily enough in the waves, but couldn't see too far down on account of how murky the water was. Guess too dark. Gabbro wants to see what lay beneath the surface, so they decided to travel deeper. They traveled down and down, but suddenly Gabbro couldn't go any further. <laughs> I will. I was just pausing dramatically. As though exercising a will of its own, the water was refusing to let Gabbro go any deeper. Oh, that's a developer invisible wall. It held Gabbro back, almost as if it were trying to protect them from something. And then, in the terrible darkness, Gabber saw it. The tentacle of some hideous beast. Ah! I mean, that's what Gabber said. Anyway, whatever it was, it freaked Gabber out pretty good. Everyone wants to hear new stories at the village campfire, you know. Make sure you bring some back with you. Love the crickets. I, I don't know. There's something about it that sounds really cool. Danger. Inside of this fence is a pocket of ghost matter, a strange and dangerous substance that's invisible to the naked eyes. The good news... Oh, get it? To the naked eyes, plural. I like that. Is that you can detect ghost matter with a camera. Moving through ghost matter is uniquely painful and will probably kill you. Don't complain to me if you hurt yourself fooling around. Hornfels. Okay, so green stuff hurts you? Like, should we just jump in? Criteno, thanks for the heads up, dude. Yeah, I... We'll, we'll put a stop to that, it's fine. Mr. Me Seeks, hello, welcome. Hi, astronaut. You know the patch of ghost matter inside this fence? Ghostson said it used to be bigger when they were a hatchling. Because ghost matter evaporates. It just takes a super long time to go away. Hope there's still ghost matter in the village when I'm a grown-up. Ghost matter is awesome. It'll burn the heck out of you. Yeah, I heard touching it hurts so bad it feels like your whole hand is on fire. Try not to walk into any in space. That sounds bad and painful. Got it. Ghost matter bad. Oh, hello, astronaut. This is good weather for your launch, right? That's lucky. What are you up to? I'm using my signal scope to pick up sounds from distant planets. It's set to the Outer Wilds Ventures frequency so I can pick up the traveler's music. Last night I heard Rebex and Banjo coming from Brittle Hollow. I hope that means they're safe. I can hear different planets too. It depends on what time of day or night it is since different planets are in the sky at different times. Signal stops are cool. A 
Okay, so that's... That's where the banjo is. It's on that planet at the back. This is going to melt my brain a bit, isn't it? I betcha. I betcha it is. Okay, so hide and seek, outer wilds, ventures. That's the two radio signal types we have at the moment. Is it a new game a day? Rua, yep. That's the that's the theme. I'll have more commands and shit set up tomorrow, so it'll be um a little bit more obvious as to what's going on. But yes, day one, Outer Wilds. Hey, I thought I might see you before the big launch. Nerves getting the better of you? Right. Like you weren't nervous for your first flight. Don't worry about it, your nerves are between you, me, and the vast endlessness of space. But really, you'll do fine out there. I'd worry more about that ship if I were you. Hopefully that lunatic slate at least fixed the retro rockets. So listen, there's a satellite, which is definitely not just a piece of broken mining equipment set up down in the zero-g cave and in need of repairs. If you're looking for a little last-minute zero-g practice, head down the lift and into the cave, or don't so long as you're confident you can make ship repairs in space. Cool, get to it and try not to be try not to concuss yourself right before your first launch. Uh I guess that we'll take that on a case by case basis, Rua. So like this is this is quite a uh, from what I understand it's an adventure, like quite a, a grand adventure. Um so this one might be worth revisiting once Christmas Day has passed. One thing I already like, now this is this is something again, hugely addicted to TikTok. One of the creators that I watch um, had made a video about video game hand holding and how it becomes um, sometimes a little bit frustrating. I had that problem with Sable as much as I wanted to love Sable. It was that first zone was, was, I, I couldn't anymore. It was, it got too much. This is already like, if you know what you're doing and you're confident enough, you go for it. Zero G cave. Okay. Suit up. Thrust up. Oh, hell yeah. Whoa. We mustn't be in the cave yet, if I'm not floating. But we all float down here. Hey, hey, nice of you to drop down. Why isn't he suited up? I'm getting some zero-g time in. So you're going in there in the cave? Uh huh. Hmm. What? No, I'm fine. Great, great, and fine. You don't look fine. Well, you know I hate that cave, so I didn't... I don't know why you're making me talk about it. Fwe. Now I've got hand sweats. Oh, the poor dude. Hey, Chade, how you doing, man? Thank you, man. Uh, so far, it's 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 good. It's fun. I'm, I'm just walking around talking to people so far. There's a, there's a big mystery at play, I think. Lots to, lots to uncover here. That's where I came from, yes? Yes. We're going down into the cave. Got it. It's fun floating around, too. For some reason, you're one of the many people who played Outer Worlds and then dismissed this entirely. I got confused with that for the longest time. People would talk about one, meaning the other, and I'd be like, no, I've, I've played that. We played it on stream. They're like, no, you haven't. Um, it's an outer W game that came out around about the same time-ish, and both involve space travel adventure stuff. Down into the cave we go. Zero of three repaired. Alright, so the beams are broken, maybe? 
Oh. Oh, down. Oh. Right, don't get a concussion before the flight. We were told not to do that. Match velocity. Come on, Tars. Uh, fix. What's the fix button? Shit, I don't know. I think I might need a tool. Hey, Chris eats grass. How are you? The others just fall out six. I liked it to begin with, but I can't remember why. It got a little bit tedious. Um, they really did simplify things a little bit too much. Um, okay, so to hold A, you match velocity. Got to be a toolkit around here somewhere, yeah? Maybe we just get closer. Oh, yeah, here we go. Aha! There we go. All right. Oh, all over this, baby. Easy. Uh oh, which way am I going? Um. Reminds me of one of those things you see at Cirque du Soleil. Where the, the men and women, they uh, jump around a big spinny thing. There we go. Closer. Look at that. The strength involved must be like, oh. You get launching stuff. Just bend metal for the rest of your life. Oh, my fuel is half done. I have to go inside for the last one. Yeah. Uh-oh. Do we have to start over? No. Training simulation complete. No, 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 no. We repaired that for that dude outside. Sparky Jewel. Uh, if you did raid, I appreciate it. Uh, nothing came up on my, my end, but it's lovely to have you here. Hello. <laughs> hello, how well, hello, raiders as well. Twitch bugs out sometimes with the raids. I've had that happen to me before. It's so, it's so weird. <laughs> the buttons they do nothing okay we we going back down here I think up down back up here we go and we're up did the other guy bug out Wait, are we in a different section? No, I think maybe that's where we came from. What is up here? Ugh. Nothing. Hey, you're back. You need something? Just getting in some CRG time. Give me the dirt. 
Guess where I'm going today. No, 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 no way. You want to run off into space? That's your business, but don't make me, you know, think about it. Bad enough we got this weird cave down here. Surprised that he would even be assigned to work here, given that he has a very real fear of the cave. I think that is really poor on management's behalf. When can we buy rats again? Um, please hold. I have six currently waiting. Ms. Quib will get onto that uh, the next time they get fed. We might have a few in the pipeline already. It's it's a it's an ongoing thing, but uh, soon enough, yeah. Sparky Jewel, please no, absolutely get get some sleep. You don't have to uh, apologize. I completely understand. As a long time streamer myself, the need for sleep after stream is is definitely not one that can be satiated easy. Hello, Death Ray. Great to see you, dude. What is sleep? The thing that I miss after streaming the most is uh, food. I gotta eat. I gotta eat straight away. Different game for a day for December? Yes. And are you gonna try to complete Outer Wilds? Yes. Maybe not all tonight, but... After the event, yes. Nicely done. Of course, it'll be a little more stressful when you're hurtling through space. I can match speed. Don't worry about it. But just remember your training and try not to hit anything big. I can see you're itching to get off this rock. So go get the launch codes from the observatory and get out of here already. Best of luck out there. And hey, try to avoid getting yourself killed now that I've put so much time into training you. Got it. Dude lost an eye. Poor dude. One of his big ones too. That would have hurt. Bricknock, thank you so much for the subscription, man. Ten months. A huge impression and an unparalleled experience in gaming. Um, I've... We, we had this discussion just a little bit ago. The outer W games, I got confused. And this one flew well under my radar. I had no idea there was two roughly the same name that came out roughly the same time about roughly the same thing. Um, and it's a shame... Uh, because everybody raves about this one and slates the other one, so. I saw smoke coming from a young bark crater up north, and I figured I should go check it out. You can use the scout launcher, or just please don't break it when I'm gone. I even, yeah, no, I, I bought the complete pack of the other one, all the DLC and everything, and it, it's like twice the price of this one. Um, yeah. But hey, live and learn. What's up, DT Fish? Good to see you. East Nomi, Nomi ru Ruins? Young Bark Crater. Lots of... I, I should probably be taking notes, man. Guys are mountains. Aim Launcher. Uh, Right. Retrieve scout holds. Rotate camera. We just stopped. Oh, the shadows are cool too. Oh, it makes you feel like you're you're 
sinking down, doesn't it? Uh, no sweat. Lawn gnome, you take it easy, dude. Let me read this sign again. Smoke coming from Young Bark Crater up north. Okay. Do that again. I don't think we're going to get any information here. Okay. Um, I am supposed to get something from the observatory, though. That looks more like an observatory than this. And it is. What does the scout say about the smoke level? Uh, I didn't say anything. It just flew over the top, unless I did something wrong. Oh, there was a there was a note. Shit, I didn't even read it. Have a look. So we're flying directly over the top. Oh, you were memeing. Yeah, that's probably not a good idea. All right, let's go to the observ observatory. Got our own little GTA 5 ramp right here. It's cool. Okay, what do we got here? Hornfells, Gossan, Feldspar, Esker, and Slate. Outer Wilds Ventures founding members, clockwise from top left. Okay, some notes here. Big thanks to these additional founding members of Outer Wilds Ventures, without whom we would have never gotten off the ground. Matthew Steinhauer, Ben Etherington, Quertiup the Pie, Jordan Frith, Tom Cummings, Sean. Shark Templar Farrell, Stephen Ursel, Ryan Omrecker. Okay, these are real people. I think Omrecker was real last time. Last time I checked. Timberhearth's first and only space program was founded to explore the farthest re reaches of our solar system. Kickstarter supporters, that's dope. Feldspar was the first Harthian to be intentionally launched into space. <laughs> intentionally launched. They completed the first orbit around Timber Hearth and later made the first of what would be many landings on our moon, the Adelrock. This remarkably intact statue was carved by the Numai an ancient species who dwelled in our solar system thousands of years ago. 
The statue provides us with our most detailed look yet at the Namai, who appear to have been covered with a layer of fur. Note the decorative jewelry that has been carved as part of the antlers. Although their artifacts and structures have been found on almost every planet in this solar system, we still have no idea where this species come from or what happened to them. Hey, hey, it's my favorite astronaut. Launch day at last, huh, buddy? Name's not buddy, pal. It's the translator tools inaugural flight two. I'm so excited it's making me nauseous. Just think you'll be able to translate any Nomai text you want anywhere you are. The two of us put a lot of hours into inventing that tool, so don't break it. Oh geez, don't break it. Ignore me, okay? I'm just nervous and I'm not even the one going into space. How am I feeling? I'm excited. Good. You've only been waiting for this day since we were hatchlings. I can't wait to see your training pay off. So what's the dirt? You here to see the new Namai statue? Gabber brought it back with them from Giants Deep and Hornfell's just finished prepping it for display. This is it right here. Neat. Makes me wish we could see what a live Namai looks like, but I guess this is as close as we'll ever get. Check it out. Looks like they had fur. Fur is weird. This is the first fully intact statue ever found, you know, and for how old it is, it's in great shape. Splatcake, sorry you, uh, you got booted from your game, dude. Well, welcome here nonetheless. Ah, jeez, I got a little carried away. Go on, you have your ship to launch. Take care of yourself. You're here, yes. New, ex new exhibit. The radio tower on Timber Hearth was built to receive transmissions from our deep space satellite and to this day still houses the first ever photos taken of our entire solar system. These photos were made possible by the deep space satellite's unusual vertical orbit that carries it high above and below the plane of the solar system. Thanks to a recent upgrade, the Deep Space Satellite is now responsible for generating the real-time solar system map used by our newest astronauts. The strange rock moving around in this grotto appears to react to conscious observation. The level-headed among us realize there must be some sort of optical illusion at play, but Gabbro claims the rock, rock exists in all possible states until it is observed. Whatever that means. Whatever is actually happening, both sides of this debate agree the effect is extremely creepy. Trixie little purple thing. Okay, cool. Introducing more game mechanics. Stars like our sun generate light and heat by fusing hydrogen into helium. As it grows older, the star runs out of hydrogen and starts to contract. As the star's core contracts, it gets hotter, causing the outer layers to expand. The star has become a red giant. When the core is hot enough, it starts to fuse helium into carbon. If a star is massive enough, it will continue to fuse carbon into even heavier elements like iron. Ultimately, the star will collapse under its own gravity and then explode in a violent event called a supernova. Based on Chert's observations, this will one day be the fate of our own sun. They might see the, the Namai ruins, I guess. Puzzle-like structures. This crystal was taken from the Namai ruin on Brittle Hollow. It seems to 
create a local gravity distortion and was most likely used to traverse steep surfaces. Try it out. Ha <laughs> Um Okay. Zef, no sweat, dude. Get some rest. I'm sure you work today. What's that object there? The perspective is giving it really weird dimensions. Um, okay. Now my technology brought back from space by our astronauts has been a great boon to Outer Wilds Ventures, allowing us to modify expedition gear in exciting and unuseful ways. For example, the little scout now boasts a warp retrieval capability that allows astronauts to recall their scouts almost instantly. This has been dramatically reduced. Uh, this has dramatically reduced the number of scouts lost to the depths of space. Got it. It was some weird thing. Namai Skeletons, yes. Part of the Namai Skeleton. I just said that. You can tell from their skulls that they possessed antlers and, quite unusually, only three eyes. The Namai body was... Again, I like that. Is it it's subtle? Only three eyes? I think that's cool. Um, adapted for living exclusively on land, the differences in the Namai's anatomy, such as their shockingly fragile bone structure, show us that Arthians couldn't have descended from Namayan ancestors. It's not clear where the Namai originated from or why they disappeared. We hope to find more clues to this puzzle as we explore our solar system. Aside from the dwellings and structures they built, the Namai also made art. This decorated pottery was discovered on Brittle Hollow. Some ancient Namai art depicts strange animals, foreign celestial obje objects, and other subjects that can't be found in our solar system, which makes us wonder whether the Namai originated elsewhere in the universe or simply had vibrant imaginations. Were the Namai born in our solar system, or were they born among other stars and planets, and if they were, how and why did they come here? These are just some of the questions we have. We hope to answer through further xenoarchaeological expeditions. That's a word. This piece of writing was essential to deciphering their unique language. Although this text is linear, the my text often branches off from a central point. Interestingly, each branch tends to be written by a different author. Oh my god, that just reminded me about... Um, oh god, what was that movie? Arrival. I gotta watch that again. Such a good film. Watch closely. These balls move on their own. The ground is perfectly level, so what do you think causes this spooky motion? The answer is the moon. As it orbits our planet, the Adelrock's gravity pulls on objects from different directions. In fact, it's pulling on you right now. I'm surprised this planet isn't entirely underwater. Anglerfish. Specimens are found attached to the landing gear of one of our ships that flew close to Dark Bramble, it appears, well suited to living in dark places with minimal atmosphere.
I love even the displays, like out, like it's made out of a freaking tree. How cool is that? Okay, I did not expect that. Uh, zoom in, yes. What's this thing? It's out in the middle of nowhere, what is that? Alright, so dark bramble. Oh, what a cool planet, man. You, you are here. Brittle hollow. Giant steep. Water planet. Those aren't mountains. With, uh, it looks like a wreckage in orbit. Hourglass Twins, Ember and Ash, and some kind of mining rig, landing platform, I don't know. Where is the satellite? Can I get a view of that? I don't think I can. No, it won't let me pan up. There's definitely something extra there. I'll, I'll find out what you are, don't you worry. Little speck on the map. Hmm, this is odd. According to my redshift calculations, every single galaxy in this image is moving away from us. In fact, the farther away the galaxy is the faster it appears to be moving away. It's almost as if the entire universe is expanding, but if that's true, was everything closer together in the past? And how far back can we extrapolate? Did the universe have a beginning? Hornfell's observations. This is incredible. At first I thought the points of light in this image were stars, but they're not. They're gla ga gla galaxic galaxies. And this image covers just a tiny patch of the whole sky, which means the universe contains at least a thousand times more galaxies than we previously imagined. I think I need to sit down. Alright, I'm here to collect something. Must be from this dude. There you are! I just finished pre-flight observations and local conditions are good. Time to get our newest astronaut off the ground. And you'll be our first astronaut ever equipped with a Nomai Translator 2 tool. Uh, I confess I've been giddy all day just thinking about it. We're better equipped than ever to unravel the mysteries of the Nomai. You and Hal should be very proud of your work. Tell me, what's your plan once you're in space? I was really hoping you would tell me that. I'm going to learn more about the Nomai. I'll meet up with the other travelers. I want to go somewhere no one's gone before. I think I'll start with something small. I don't know. I want to wing it. Um, I, musical instruments. Like three of them. Four, maybe. If, maybe. I don't know. I'm going to wing it. Following in the footsteps of Feldspar and the great Outer Wilds Ventures tradition, I might have guessed. Well, see if you can't put that translator tool of yours to good use while you're out there. Well then, looks like that's left. All that's left is to send you off. All in all, it's a fine day for a launch. Excellent. You'll be needing the launch codes. Here they are. Best get off the ground before Slate makes any more modifications to your ship. Good luck. Let me know if I can help with anything. To the spec? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Nose first into the ground. Next to the launch site? That's that's my prediction. <laughs> uh, all I need is an exit. Here we go. Nope! Already done. Just hold on a goddamn minute. That's all the shit I just did.
Launch codes dash 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 dot dot dash dot. Ah, uh, ghost shoot. Let's let's not give any spoilers. I I will go back. But uh, yeah, I want to I want to keep this one fairly unknown. How do I access my other doobly-doos? 15 months of magic pickle. Dude, what's up, man? How you doing? Here we go. Cassava, we're nearly ready. Felix and I have finished construction, and she says calibrating the device won't take long. Oh, look at that. Untranslated Namai writing. Fortunately, the Adelrock's lack of atmosphere will make calibration simple. After all, this time, I'm thrilled to finally resume our search. Okay. V-Y-H-D. Vi? Thank you so much. I, I do like mysteries. Like, I'm I'm already here's 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 what I'm my where my brain is already going. It's kind of letting me go on my own. So, I'm already feeling a little bit overwhelmed with the potential of what's coming. That might sound weird. That's a very me thing to say. Hey hey, so did you get a good look at the Namai statue? It looked at me and opened its eyes. Whoa, what? And then you saw images from your own memories and glowing lights flying around. You mean like a hallucination? No offense, but are you sure you're okay to launch, like medically speaking? No, that statue is definitely weird. I mean, if you're saying it happened, then I guess maybe it did, but why? Hornfels tried everything to get the statue's eyes to open and nothing like this ever happened to them. I don't think you're going to get any answers from the museum statue, but Gabbard said they were going back to Giant's Deep. Don't know which island they're on, though. Maybe they'll be able to tell you more. On the other hand, Gabbro, you know, Gabbro, so maybe you'd be better off searching for more info on your own. Now I'm really jealous you're going to space. Hey, if you can use our translator tool to find out more about the statue... Okay. Good luck. Safe flying. Thanks, Hal. Crunching. I'm about to go, Zoe. I'm about to go into space. She don't fucking care. Are you going into space today? Sure I am. And never coming back like Feldspar did. Jesus. Don't worry, I'll come back. That's what Feldspar said too, but they never did. Hornfels will be really sad if you don't come back. Like how sad it makes them to talk about Feldspar. So you should make sure you don't get lost in space. Is it, is it, is it really that bad? Let me, um, let me quickly put up, uh, what's the, the, how do I fucking do that? No back seating. First playthrough. There you go. I love how the controller and the mouse and keyboard are just like, immediately interchangeable. I love that shit. It's so basic, but it's a it's a pretty big deal. Oh, I'm back here. I 
Okay. Well, I guess we better say goodbye to this dude. The excitement of a new launch. It's fun and all, but I can't wait to get back to working on a new ship. We're working on fixing the autopilot's avoidance system for this one. <laughs> uh, sorry. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, that's the thing about, about Twitch. I've got to partially expect it. Like, Final Fantasy VII Remake, if anyone was here for that during the subathon, um, you'll know that my experience was completely fucked, thanks to a couple of people in chat, and um, I was really disappointed by that. That's a hell of a... A, a way to get up here. Oh, cool. We got one of the crystal things. I can walk upside down. Um, but even even statements like, oh, is, is McQueeb up to the bit yet? It's like, come on. <laughs> Planetary chart of the outer wilds. The interloper. That's not the, that's not the thing. Nah, the thing, not the interloper at all. Something else. I'll find it. First aid kit. This is so such a janky ship. I mean, look at it. There's cans of what? Marshmallows on the floor. Okay. I'm I'm just gonna stand. Oh no, we got a little cockpit there. Few ships log. Rumor mode. Oh, it's giving us hints on where we can go. Okay. To the lunar ruins. Gabbro. Al says Gabbro went back to Giant's Deep to try to learn more about the Nomai statue in the observatory. My text in the observatory talks about calibrating some sort of device in the Adel Rock. For example, I wouldn't have known that had um had I not have been told to go back and look at it the thing didn't even didn't even occur to me I I dig marshmallows I really like them I haven't had like actual roasted marshmallows in I I don't know 20 years uh lift off lift off landing camera oh oh hell yeah i, I can just go to somewhere I, 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 okay let's get a little bit higher there we go that's better Get hiking? Ah, you must be, have me confused with somebody else. <laughs> no, no, we don't. We don't hike in this family. That's the fire right there, right? I don't know what I'm doing. Shoot. How do I rotate? I need to rotate. I can't rotate. Okay, so I just have to figure it out. Okay, it, it is weird. Okay, so that's our moon. The Adel Rock. Let's go there first. Maybe. Match velocity. Engage autopilot. There we go. Look at that. Oh, landing mode. Oh. <laughs> Down. Now we find out if I can land anywhere or if I need an actual landing platform. This looks like, this looks solid right here. What is that? Yeah, it looks good to me. Let's land right there. Uh, 
Uh, I'm nope. That's not a landing. That's not a landing platform. That is something else. All right, let's just try landing here then. LB to change axis. All right, we'll check that the next time I go up. Okay. Let's go check that thing out. Hopefully it auto um, suits me. That would be real bad if it didn't. Yeah, you just jump out. Thank you. Oh, this is sick. Hold on, it's a game of marbles. Uh, put the put the put the thing down. There you go. Let's have a look at the. Nope, she's gonna do its own thing anyway. Ah oh, shit! What have I done? Is it aligning something? Gotta go downstairs, hang on. Oh, and I've got O2. Oh. Trees detected, detected oxygen refilled. Nice, nice. Language, we can translate this. I was upstairs testing the eye signal locator and it can hear and follow the signals from the sun, giant steep and brittle hollow. The eye signal locator. However, something strange is happening when I ask the eye signal locator to follow the eye's signal. The device indicator rotates wildly and never points to just one direction. Aha, so it's busted or something. I see. I most likely calibrated the loca locator incorrectly. Privet, my apprentice, and I will make adjustments and try again. An update. Disappointingly, everything is correctly calibrated after all. It saddens me to posit this, my friends, but I believe this locator cannot detect the eye's signal. We would need to build a more sensitive device if we want to locate the eye of the universe. Then we will build it. Don't lose hope. Cassava. Our uh, don't lose hope, Cassava. Our search for the eye is what brought us our clan brought our clan to this place. We won't give up so easily. This is a curious result. It's possible the eye has stopped calling out its signal. And we can take Oh, that's sexy as hell. Oh, that's awesome. Okay, well, we want to take that, I guess, because... Uh, well, maybe? As long as I can store it on my ship. If I can't store it... I can just drop it for now. Drop scroll. Wait. Drop scroll. What's this? Just lights? Yeah, nothing's just lights in games. I know. Where should this new, more sophisticated locator be built? It may need to be larger than this eye signal locator is. Anona and those of us originally stranded on Ember Twin built a quantum moon locator there, but the heat of the sun made its construction challenging. I wouldn't recommend building on that planet. The southern glacier on Brittle Hollow has ample available space. I could construct a new, a new building there to house this proposed locator. Yes, let's build there. I imagine our young friend Conoy would enjoy that immensely. He's always been... He's held a great interest in the eye, especially for a child born so long after the crash. 
and will begin construction on Brittle Hollow's South Pole immediately. Ship log updated. So maybe we don't need to take these with. Um, might be a good idea. Hold up. Play recording. Okay, wow. I've seen this ruin in other travelers' pictures, but seeing it for myself, it's really old, isn't it? But wow, this is the coolest day of my life. Um, Time for some official notes. This is some kind of Namai locator. It can point out the different planets, which is incredibly cool, by the way, but from what little I can understand of the writing here, I think it was built to try to find something specific. I'm not sure... I was also able to translate something about the South Pole of Brittle Hollow, so I'll fly there to see if I can learn more. Yep, just gonna head back to the old ship and take off. Totally safe, mostly safe. Oh, stars above. Okay, so trees refill our O2, uh, O2 which is dope. Let me grab this. I, we probably don't need to take these, but I'm gonna... Eh, stop. Exit, exit, exit. Oh no. Have I... Yeah. Overwhelmed yet? Not yet. Do we have like a... Can't drop it in here. Alright, so my guess is we don't need it after all. Open hatch. That's the hatch. Ship's log. Okay. Got it. Got it. Got it. So we don't need to keep these. That's good to know. We're going to take this one back. Um, where did I leave my... Um... It was visible before. I mean, it was daytime before. There it is. Ow. Alright, so I'm just going to put these back in the wall. You can have that one. You can have that one. And yeah, got it. we got all the notes we need here. So I guess that's my health on the inside right ring. All right, so there's a giant crater here as well. Holy shit, this is this is massive game. Seems massive. Yeah, we leave the we'll leave the light on, huh? Green is oh, green is fuel. O2 and the other one is I'm not sure. It's one, two, three, four, five. Are these the same rocks that we that disappear? No, these are different. Cool though. It's like um, opaque, translucent. It's very difficult to tell which way is down here. There also doesn't seem to be anything down here at all.
Doesn't look like it, huh? Alright, empty crater. Getting flashbacks to XO1, trying to get that power up on the the sun orbiting rock. Oof. Hella good game, but Jesus, that was frustrating. Um, oh. Yeah, we're, we're a little bit high. Alright, let's get back in the ship. Nothing else to do here. But, we can definitely take a look around. Have another quick look around here. Oh, there's the flag and maybe another landing lander. The controls are, are different than what I expected. Oh, what's that there? Oh, wow. Uh, help, help, help. Oh, this is good. Give me landing mode, please. First things first, going to check out that metal structure right next to the flag here. Boop. It's a comet. My fuel didn't get refilled. Let me test this real quick. Nope, that's real bad. Okay. So we need fuel to keep topped up. Oxygen refill, spot a tree, walk towards it, enjoy. Little scout. Illuminate dark areas, detect hazards. Oh. Do we have a portable one of those? Test the environment. Refuel jetpack. Right on. First things first. Uh, the hunk of metal, which was very close nearby, but... Uh, I'm gonna fly up a little bit. Alright, we're going over here instead. Unidentified signal nearby. It's a dude! Trees detected, oxygen tank refilled, and apparently you don't even need one here. Wilds. Outer wilds. Oh, hey, it's you. Ground control didn't tell me you were launching. Long time no see. Actually, I guess it's been a long time since I've seen anybody. Don't the other travelers come by? The lunar outpost saw more traffic back when our ships were less sophisticated and needed more frequent repairs. Nowadays, it's mostly used to keep a set of eyes. The music is fucking fantastic. Uh, on things. Sometimes, Chert comes by to say hi, but Gabro is Gabro. And you know how Rybeck feels about unnecessary space flight. Don't go. Uh, I mean, anything else you wanted to ask? Stop, 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 stop talking. Stop. 
Something's happening and I can't see. Okay. There's an explosion. Supernova, I guess. Ah, you're finally awake. Can I just... Hold up, you're going to want to get the launch because... Okay. Uh huh. Okay. Well, interesting. Returnal flashbacks. Amen. Can I just rush straight there? Okay, I've got to figure out the shortest path if this is going to happen over and over again. Uh, what will be interesting to see if is if the computer remembers anything from the conversations we've had. You already got the codes? It didn't let me up. That that I guess that's my question. Yeah, let me let me find out. Hang on. I'm hoping things travel like like get transferred over from from run to run. Okay, straight up this is different. Shit's be changing. Statue opened its eye. Bet you wish you'd seen that happen. Sai, me too. No, I'm not even a little close to understanding what's going on with this statue. Tell me more about Feldspar. It was one of our founding members, along with our flight coach, Gosan, Slate, the engineer, and me. Ground control, later museum curator. I didn't work with Feldspar as closely as Slate and Gosan did. I can tell you that Feldspar was absolutely fearless. Nothing scared them. Test piloted everything Slate ever built. It's a wonder Feldspar lived to see space, frankly, but they did. Flew all sorts of dangerous stunts and explored everything they could find. And then one day, they just didn't come back. We don't know what happened or where Feldspar went or even whether they're still alive. It's been a long time since they left. Gotta see this, the no... My statue are statues are open. It used to be closed. Probably should have started with that. Not sure why they opened since no one actually saw it happen. So memories are gone. But changes happen and stick around. I think this is gonna melt my brain. Yep. Okay, so we can't even get well, it says bottom left what the launch codes are. All right, then. Launch tower. We'll go back. We'll start over. God, we're going to have to book it if we're going to make it out to that spec. I guess if you die, the same thing happens. If if you can die. 
I guess you can. Yes, we were literally in no atmosphere, choking to death. Hey, Kit Sith. Make one suggestion for a change, a setting for a bit of ease. Uh, Ghost Echo, yeah, I guess. Try to refrain from spoilers if possible. Pause time while talking to NPCs. Oh, right on, cool. Yeah, that kind of would be good, huh? Uh, no. Active controller, advanced, reduce frights, light sensitivity, look sensitivity, vibration, invert ship, invert player, button prompt. Oh, that's nice. Mm -hmm. Inner dead zone, outer dead zone. Oh, that's control stuff. Free flight checklist. Freeze time while translating text. Freeze time while talking to others. Right on. Jetpack auto boost. Boost can be triggered with a separate button press manual or anytime upward thrust is used. Auto. I'll just leave it like that for now. This is where the smoke is coming from, huh? There's a dude down there. Where is the smoke? We can't see it at night, maybe? Yo, Hatchling, thought you were talking, taking that tin can of yours into space today. What are you still doing here? Saw something crash over the horizon, and I didn't like what I was seeing in the pictures my little scout was sending back, so I thought I'd come over here myself and take a look. So what crashed? I don't know what it is exactly. Looks like some kind of plant seed. It's not anything I've seen on Timber Hearth before, and trust me, I was quite the explorer back in the day. You think it's an extraterrestrial? What kind of... What kind of thing looks looks like something might have come off dark bramble, whatever it is, it put down roots in a hurry. I didn't like the look of this thing, and that's a fact. Think I'll set Marl and Hal loose on it. Best get rid of this mess sooner rather than later, and no one can remove an unwanted plant faster than a tree keeper can. Take a look at what's inside the seed first. Don't want to set anybody the hacking up a potentially dangerous plant without a better idea of what's lurking inside. Tuff can help me haul the old scout launcher over here. Obviously, the opening is too small for someone to fit inside, and anyway, I'm not going to blindly stick my hands into anything that looks as unpleasant as this seed does. Big time returnal vibes. That's a good way to lose an arm. Stick my hand in. All right, so this definitely came from Bramble, I can assume. Let me take a look at the time too. It's 10.53 p.m. right now, so about, about 10.50, 10.45. I want to see when that thing goes off, give or take, given that we're now pausing time when we speak to people.
Eh. Nothing. Nothing here. Alright. Um, so I guess that's another thing we need to do is potentially move the probe over here. The, the holding jump to, to sort of prep your jump. That's a weird thing for me. I'll get, I'll get used to it. Very well indeed. All right. So we've got to go back up here. Yep. Try that again. It plays really nicely. Like, it looks great. I know Unity's considered quite simple. I mean, I have no idea. But I've, I've heard that word being thrown around when using Unity before. How deep am I into the game? Oh, like a couple of hours, not even. All right, we, we going. Is there a, is there a map? Yes, there is. No wait. Ah. Fuck it, I'm going for the. Can I, can I mark a spot? That is the spot, right? Or is that Bramble? No, that's the spot. How do I even... Lock on press. Okay, we'll head towards that. Uh, yep, let's go. Exit ship to repair landing gear damage. <laughs> Whatever. It get the it's called a slingshot past uh, the gravity of the sun. Ah, this thing goes a mile a minute. This is awesome. Where are you going? Stop. <laughs> Okay, okay, we're going a little bit, just a, just a bit too far. Stop, stop, can you? Uh. Engage autopilot, match velocity. Aligning flight trajectory, exit shift to repair landing gear damage. I must have bumped something on my way down before. Oh, it was going in reverse. Okay, cool. No sweat. I'm going to overshoot again if I'm not careful. I can't target this thing, so whatever it is... I need to approach with caution. Here we go, here we go, here we go, here we go. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh crap. This ain't good. Piece of cake. Exit ship to repair. Everything damaged. Well, shit. And now, yeah. I, I did hit it pretty hard, huh? Oh wait, is there text here? What? Oh no, that's just a reflection. This is some kind of black hole. It's just some kind of... Whoa, hang on. Nope, that's the sun. 
There's something here. I'm I'm unable to control a lot of my ship right now. Yeah, engines fucked. Or um stabilizers are fucked. Equip scout launcher? Nah, it's not really gonna help me, is it? Alright. Where else can I land and repair this stuff? What is that? Let's go. Autopilot? It's fucked too. Okay. Let's putter our way there then. It's only seven kilometers away. Come on. This thing does not want to remain even remotely controllable. I just need to land on something. Three and a half kilometers. I'm going a little bit too far. Oh, this is going to be more gravity shenanigans, isn't it? This. <laughs> Throw your cockpit into deep space with you attached to it. <laughs> ah, great. Uh, this thing is running away from me. Yeah, I can't catch it. We need to find an actual planet then. Map, please. Oh! That's the satellite. Okay, now we know what that is. Cool, cool, cool. Let's go back there if I can. Oh, shit. Nope. Gonna be the quickest run ever. Three hundred eighty meters, four hundred meters a second, thirteen kilometers away. To get there relatively fast. About 20 seconds. Incoming. Should be easy enough to land on with zero instrumentation. And there it goes. Crap. Why do I feel like everyone that's played Kerbal Space Program is going to have an extreme advantage when it comes to these sort of sorts of games? Spacewalk? I might not even have a choice right now, you know what? Suit. Hell yeah, let's go. No, there's no way I can catch it. No way. Um. Ship's, ship's done. Ship's done. So I'm just gonna, I'm, do, I'm, I'm gonna do my best. I'm gonna go to the nearest whatever. That looks good. It's only, uh, yeah, not, not very far away at all. Sure the fuel won't run out before we get there. Piece of cake. Roll. Ah, there you go. So you can roll in, in space, not while you're in orbit. Hollow's Lantern. What is closest to us? You are... Doesn't even tell me where I am. Space. Somewhere in space. We're, we're in space. Okay. Shit. Oh, I fucked this one up. Okay, okay, I can see, I can see, I'm going back. Obviously the jets aren't very strong on my suit. Need a, a fire extinguisher. Worked for Wally. 
Two feet in a jet jetpack? Absolutely, that's all you need. No, no, I think this is... I think this is, this is it. I'm not even, I'm not even gaining ground. I'm getting further away. <laughs> um, can I take my suit off here? Do we wait for the blue light? Well, I'm not going to wait. It was like, it was like 20, 30 minutes. So I'm not going to wait for that. Maybe there's. Maybe I have to wait for that? My O2 is going to run out soon anyway. It restarts if you quit the menu. Yeah, we're going to be out. Let's see what happens. Let's let's let the O2 drain for a little bit. Oh, I I know. Thanks, Jarvis. Nice one. Good learning experience, if I do say so myself. Using oxygen as propellant. Oh, you're good. <laughs> Three minutes remaining. Nope. <laughs> 60 seconds remaining. Oh, no. No, no, no. We're... We go sleep now. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> we we don't need a replay of no that's embarrassing we don't need a replay of that i don't even i must have come down real hard not the first time like my landing gear was already busted maybe and that's what like it compounded perhaps i don't know Does this save you new ship logs? It should. So it seems like the only thing that gets reset is people's memories, but any actions taken in the game do get saved. Let's let's check it out actually. That's a good a good point. Uh, if not, then we have to go back and get them again. Yeah, check it. Yep. No, we're good. We got Southern Observatory. Larger, more sophisticated eye locator, Br Brittle Hollow, South Pole, Rebec, headed to Brittle Hollow to investigate something than am I. We're doing it at the South Pole. Wait. Rebec. So Rebec went to look for whatever. Okay, Esker's camp. Proper trees at their, at their camp. They seem to be doing okay. They've previously been alone on the moon for too long. Probably been a mo uh, There's more to explore here. No shit. Believe me, I know. I know. Dark Bramble Seed, more to explore here. Okay. This is just like a quest log, I guess, right? Okay. This time... I want to get to the moon again. That was pretty dope. There it is. Because we want to go revisit that. Wait, what's that? Want to uh, revisit the dude? I thought the bramble was way further. Excuse me. Uh oh. Oh, that was. Too close. Uh, I have a feeling this isn't the moon. No. 
Nope, this is something completely different, I think. Look at that! Another ship! Dope. There they're down. There we go. Am I playing with the DLC installed? Yes, the DLC is installed. It's the complete pack. I bought it uh, a couple of days ago, full, full thing. But yeah, I don't, I don't know if that's active or not. From what I heard, it's. I did watch Bananasaurus Rex play a little bit of the DLC, so. Um, I, I kind of got a little bit from that, but it didn't seem anything related to this at all, or at least not yet. Okay, we've got another ship. <clears throat> and a tape. I'm here, I did it. I put the ship down safely. Um, in that sh ship went down and I didn't sustain bodily harm. A few minor repairs and it's like the ship never even took, even hit those rocks. One of my better attempts. Feldsfire would barely have laughed at me, I bet. That's the good news. The bad news, I haven't found a way inside this structure yet. The door is broken, and I know I'm not great at exploring, but I think I would have found a different entrance by now if there were one, probably. I can't get inside from here, but I know there are paths below the surface. I'm going to head north to the ruins on the equator to try to find a way down. Okay, that's some kind of rotating cylinder door. The shape of the door indicates that it is most likely Nomai. Oh, we going up, if I can. Gravity is very strong on this planet. I should act activate my doobly doo. Okay, that's forever away. Harmonica that way. So is that the is that the uh, the bramble? Because I thought that was way further away. Maybe it's just huge. Some kind of volcano. Thing over here. Of course, we'll go closer. Why not? Trees? Okay. Uh, I should probably take the ship over there, huh? Um, maybe, maybe not. Fuck me. Worked out what the volcano was. Oh no, 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 no. Don't like that. Please don't crash into my ship. <laughs> okay, this is extremely hazardous. like a black hole inside. Oh, this is awesome.
Yeah, they're down. Yeah, they're down. Thank you, Splat Cake. Still got my suit on? We, we're good. Unidentified signal nearby, yes. Oh, something I can actually... Oh, I shouldn't have done that. 85 meters. Give me this thing. Thank you. Come on. Aha! The trees are moving. The trees in this grove, wonderful. Uh, they wander around freely, the entire plant, roots and all. This is not normal, even for this alien planet, and I never see them move. Is that even possible? Yeah, it's the same tech as the purple rock. Duh. If anyone else witnesses this disturbing behavior, I implore you, record your observations here. Either these trees are aberrant, or my brain must be. Plume is right. The trees do move. I confess I didn't notice until I read his notes. Alarmingly, this it isn't only the trees. There is other matter in this area, such as that unusual shard of rock moving in the same eerie way. What was that that just appeared on the... That rock is unusual for another reason, too. It possesses color and texture I've never seen elsewhere on this planet. Hypothesis, this rock shard presence is significant. We should study it. Could it be what is causing other nearby objects to also move about this area? Chip log updated, okay. Beneath your feet lies the Tower of Quantum Knowledge. If you're preparing to make your first pilgrimage to the Quantum Moon, descend the steps to the entrance below. The knowledge held within will help you on your journey. Uh, we need knowledge and not being hit by an asteroid. Launch scout. Oh, I can... You can check it out. Okay. Okay, we should be able to get down there, yeah? Um, not through here, though. We're going to need to take the hole that's next to our ship. Hold up. Is this the rock that moves? I'm not going to be able to get up there. The gravity's too high, but it is, right? Yep, okay. Ah, so we just need to make it come closer to us by observing and unobserving it until it's in a like Jesus Christ until it's in a place that we can actually get to if that even is possible uh, I'll try that landed literally on what Nope, that ain't it, is it? No, that's it there. Jetpack boost with X whilst in the air. Uh. Oh, PS4 controls. Nicely done. Thank you. Plume, Felix, and I have determined this 
A typical shard of rock is the reason objects in the grove are behaving in a quantum manner. Of note, a unique signal is coming from this shard. Curiously, our friend the Wandering Moon sounds the same. I've also heard the same signal this shard produces calling out from the Giant's Deep. Timber Hearth and the Hourglass Twins suppose there are other shards like this one. The only other object we've observed displaying this quantum behavior is the Wandering Moon. I imagine the moon's behavior and this groves are related. Well, there's an entire moon we can land on, potentially. In her note from earlier, Felix mentions this strange type of rock isn't found elsewhere on Brittle Hollow. What if it isn't originally from this planet? Um, hypothesis, this quantum shard is from the wandering quantum moon. Perhaps it is even a small piece of the moon itself. Ship's log updated. Hell yeah. If I look up and then back down. Nope, still on it. All right. Out. Surface integrity, 18%. Integrity 18%. I may not like this drop in, but we'll see. That looks really bad. Well, let's do it. Scout. There's the scout. So that's the elevator or whatever. Oh, God. That's a hard landing. Okay, that's our way back out. Nice. Oh, more translate translatatron five thousand. Be welcomed in this place. Above you stands the Tower of Quantum Knowledge, which we can now get to. I think. Um. Oh, look, my health is a red line around our body. If you're making your first pilgrimage to the quantum moon, ascend these stairs and obtain the last of the knowledge you need for your journey. The last of the knowledge I need for the journey. Oh, look, there's another. All right, let's go up this. Whoa. Oh, that's dope, man. Crossroads east. 190 meters. And if I move it down... That remains the same. Let's not worry about that just yet. God, there's so much to do! So little time. Southern Observatory, south, 550 meters. That is a light. There's something over there. Let's see if we can get in here. so much time all the way to the ends of the, uh, in the universe yeah my first mission to the thing that I thought was hidden just a ball of light thing wait I could have Okay, cool. Good to know. I could have actually just made my way down there anyway. Again, me thinking I'm clever. Alright, but instead of taking that back down, let's go over here. Please don't mess this up. 
Please don't mess this up. Ow. Bones! Alright, we've got a couple of... A couple of these things. Oh, that doesn't look good. Can I send a... Can I send a thing through here? Yeah... That's probably not good. Hey, Sleepwalker, how you doing? Great to see you. And uh, same to you, Overcome Mortal. Hello. Same thing here. Okay. Surface integrity, 4%. Ah, oh, jeez. Why do I have a feeling this planet's about to go bye-bye? We're going back down. Screw it. Looks good to me. Perfectly safe. Let's go. N wrong way. of the information we'll need. Is this... Wait, is this Banjo Town? <gasps> no way. It's Rebeck! You launched. That's great. News travels fast? I guess that means I've been out here for a while, huh? Well, um, this is Brittle Hollow, but you probably knew that. Nope. Nope, didn't know that. I'm here to see the Hanging City. It's always been my dream to see it with my own four eyes since I was a hatchling. An alien race lived in the solar system long before our species even existed. How could I not want to see what their civilization was like? Only, you've probably heard the others say it, right? I'm afraid of space. Seriously, I'm more surprised than anybody that I'm out here. Do you want to know how I even got this far? I fell, tripped over a gravity crystal. Uh, it's dumb luck that I landed somewhere my little scout says is halfway stable and instead of being sucked into what's below. I've been gauging the stability of the ground around me using my little scout and this seems to be the place with the best surface integrity so I'm just going to stay here until I'm ready to move on. But that's enough about me and my problems. You didn't come all this way to listen to me blather, did you? Heh. <laughs> That'd be... Yeah. Where should I explore here? Oh, wow. Where shouldn't you explore here? Um, not the black hole. Actually, that's very no. Which is unfortunate because uh, it's the most exciting stuff. The most exciting stuff is all below the crust, including the Hanging City. That's just to the north. You can kind of see it from here. There's also this big dome on the South Pole called the Southern Observatory. Oh, okay. You can't get inside from the surface. Trust me, I tried, but if it's like the rest of the Namai structures here, there's probably a path to it beneath the crust somewhere. Good luck with the exploring. Um, If you learn anything about the Namai, I'd love to hear it, if it's not too much trouble. I learned something. Oh, cool. What is it? Actually, never mind. Uh, okay. Well, if you find... If you, if you do find... If you do find learn something new about the Namai, though, I'd love to hear it, if you don't mind, I mean. Where should I explore? We did that. What are you doing here? I'm an archaeologist, remember? 
or um, the archaeologist, I guess, seeing as I'm old Timber Heart Scott right now. Riddle Hollow is a rich with Namai history. That's why I'm here. This planet is an absolute treasure trove of culture, history, and science. If you have any questions about Brittle Hollow's Namai, I'm your Hearthian. Or, um, I have some knowledge of them. I mean, so maybe I can help? See you later. Very weird dialogue. They're the probes. Refuel jetpack. Uh, don't go to sleep because something's going to explode real soon. He said we can see the hanging city from here. Kinda. Something directly below us. How do I invert that? Yeah, we don't want to drop down. That's bad. <gasps> oh! Oh, oh, oh! Got it. Bit of brain twisty nonsense going on. Can I... Aha! Uh -huh. Control panel. Gravity cannon. East. Okay, let's check that in a minute. Uh, well, that was deeply unpleasant. I made it this far, though. Guess that's the part to focus on and not how I'll eventually have to get back up that path. But wow, this place sure is something. Looks like the Hanging City is north from here. We don't have a, a compass, right? I mean, other than that sort of sphere on the left. And east is the gravity cannon. I definitely want to see that. On another thing, I'm detecting oxygen from somewhere below, which is good since I uh, used a lot of my supply screaming during the trip down from the surface. As soon as I stop dry heaving, I'm going to head farther down below so I can refill my tank. That's the gravity cannon. He was talking about going down below. Oh, that's where we came from. Oh my god. Hey, it's a ring-like planet thing. Almost like a... Uh, like a halo? Kind, kind of thing. Surface integrity zero. Well, I mean, that doesn't sound good, but gravity crystal workshop above. Oh, shit. We can go higher. Okay, I gotta go. Gotta go higher. Oh, you trust me to do that, huh? Okay. Surface integrity zero. Oxygen refilled. We're at, we're at the base of the roots of the trees. Can I... Awesome. Bones. I think I'm hearing an explosion. Light campfire. 
Yes, roast marshmallows. Perfect. The journey here from the South Pole has been... Um, I'm going with harrowing because of the... Um, or the meteors, but hey, at least I made it here unconcussed and not on fire. All right, let's see. I poked around a little, and there's some sort of old no my path that starts across from my campsite inside the ruined building with trees growing out of it. Doesn't look like anything horrible, just stairs leading down. I can handle stairs. After I get my supplies together, I'll follow the path down and see where it leads. Oh, I feel I feel very stressed right now. Like I have to search as quickly as possible in hopes of finding more information. You all know how much I love that. Seriously, what does surface integrity zero mean? It's so weird. Ghost matter detected nearby. Ah, shoot. Can I... Hazard. Okay, so don't go in there. Right. Got it. Which sucks, because I want to see what's in there. Sun's looking a bit angry, like like uh, like a gas giant about to go super supernova. You mean? It's all right. We won't feel a thing. Surface integrity ninety seven percent. That's where the the thing is. Okay, I got it. I got it. That's your surface integrity right there. Okay, yep, no, that, whoa. Well, they did warn me. Um, I hope we at least get to see the planet explode. That would be freaking dope. Or the, the sun explode, rather. Where's my trip back down again? No, not there. Must be in here. Yeah. Yeah, we're going to go back down. That's not good. Oh, shoot. Yep. Yep. No, we had it. Had it real good. Oh, yeah. No sweat. Piece of cake. It's coming. It's coming. It's game over. We'll use this as an opportunity to go for a little space dive. Space walk. And which the which kills us first, I wonder. Oh, wait, I'm inside. Oh. We didn't immediately die. Interesting. This is dope, man. So much to do, though. So much to do. Oh, so as we wake up, I, I didn't notice that before, but that broken object um, orbiting around that planet. It blows up too. Yeah, there's a there's some kind of time limit involved with a supernova sun, but we wake up every time like it's nothing. Alright, so hold up. Let's go back there. I think that's it there, isn't it? I definitely want to see more of what was down there. It 
Sounds stressful. Yep, one of my least favorite things in video games is the time limit. Oh, we're going to come in hard if I'm not careful. Come on now. Come on now. I think that's it. Yeah, that's it. It's crashing shit all over it. Look at that thing. What? Okay, I am. I am. So we can lock on. And then I can autopilot. That'll at least maybe orient me a little better. Yes. Can I take my ship inside? I have a feeling this is a one way trip, this, this venture, but. Uh, let's not. Let's not. Let's do it the right way. Some kind of, uh, some kind of thing. Let's have a look. SpaceX, eat your heart out. Okay, here we go. Oopa. Unidentified signal nearby. Same one? Let's see. That's the, that's the rock thing, right? Maybe that's what it's talking about. Uh huh. Okay. That looks cool. Whatever that is. Too close to target. Escape pod three, launching escape pod two. Now launching escape pod one. Hold up. Emergency escape hatch. Oh, you know it. Ugh. Okay, try that again. Oh. The one thing I will say is that the time limit makes me a lot less stressed in each section. It's very contradictory. Okay. Yep. Uh, well, we know this doesn't kill us, I guess. Can I stop it? Nope. We're going down. What is that thing? Oh, shit. Some kind of craft? Uh, no, wait. I'm I'm inside the black hole. What the fuck? Stupid and rickety bridge. They did that on purpose. text in here or just the thing just the little switch thing
This is fine. Keep mixing Outer Wilds with Worlds. I did the same thing. Same thing. Ship 33 kilometers that way. Oh, hold up. Oh man, I know I know not what any of this stuff does. I'm Oh. We haven't been here. Pick up Ember Twin Projection Stone. Drop Ember Twin Projection Stone. That's the that's the same um Namai technology, right? The twisty uh time twisty or whatever reality shifting stuff. Welcome to the White Hole Station. If you fell through the black hole by accident, don't worry. You aren't the first. This warp tower... They should have made bridges not made of wood. This warp tower can return you to Brittle Hollow. Every warp tower is tuned to a specific astral body. A tower's warp can only be used during the brief window when the tower is aligned with its corresponding astral body. In this case, Brittle Hollow. If you look up... While the station is rotating, you can see the alignment happens when the astral body is directly overhead. You must be standing on the warp platform on the floor during this alignment to be warped. That is rotating ever so slowly. I stopped taking pictures of stuff. Okay, so whatever that is, we want to warp there. This is an elevator going down. This is an elevator. Oh my god, look at this shit. Oh. We can walk on the walls here too, I think, because of this thing. Let me check that little dial up the top here. Yeah, let's flip to the other side. And rotating a lot faster. So we look up. Should be aligned relatively soon. Oh, I know where we are. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but I still have this tablet. Equip translator. Return warp status. Charge. Step onto warp receiver's platform to activate return warp. So we're quite a fair way away, I think, from the ship. We're still on the same... Platform? Question mark? Hanging city. 50 meters below. To our friends on Brittle Hollow, I just warped here from the White Hole Station on the other side of Brittle Hollow's Black Hole. Our design work, we've successfully recreated warp travel. This is wonderful news, I can't wait to see the warp tower, although it's been a long time since I've jumped through the Black Hole. I don't know how close it is to Anona's original design, but as long as what we've built works, then I'm delighted. I knew we could do it. Kasava, I hope you're reading this. Wait. 
This can't be correct, Clary. Have you seen these readings? If they're accurate, they would violate causality. There must be an equipment error somewhere. I'm returning to the Whitehall station. If you and Root meet me there, we can run a full diagnostic and hopefully locate the prog problem. Don't tell Cassava. Fifty meters below. Okay. Oh, what's that thing? Hold up. Insert the projection stone. Ramy and I reviewed the records you sent. Poke, and they appear to show Namai are arriving at the warp receiver on Brittle Hollow slightly before departing from the Whitehall station. As I've already told Raimi, these measurements can't be accurate. How would, how can a Nomai arrive on Brittle Hollow before he or she ever stepped into the teleporter? The implications are absurd. As Pi is confident the reading is inaccurate, she kindly, she's kindly helping me attempt to re recreate this phenomenon at the high energy lab. We're designing an experiment to take more data. Have we been there? Is that where we found the ghost? Uh, Poke, the high energy lab is in the canyon on Ember's Twin Equator. No, we haven't. Come here at once. You need to see this. I don't disagree. It would mean I've inadvertently broke several fundamental theories regarding this universe. We would have to re reconsider all of our beliefs about the nature of time. I understand it's exceedingly odd, but Clary and I have tested and retested the equipment, and the result is the same every time someone warps. The interval is incredibly minuscule, roughly one hundred th hundred thousandth of a second. Do you suppose our instruments can't accurately measure time in such a small degree? Yes, I hope so too. Oh, hold up, there's more. How lucky I took that with. Oh, do that again. Okay, so if I... There's something there. Wherever we are here? It's like a... Uh... It's just on the outside of that. Stairs are good. I guess it's whatever was there. Unless we're looking at a different dimension or time or... Yeah, I, I don't know. I don't know. The symbol of the plate changed to a different planet. Let's check it out. Oh, isn't that handy? Is that a symbol for a planet? Let's have a look at this one. That's the same there, and when we connect that, nothing changes. Projection stone. Ember twin. Okay, so maybe that's the object we're looking for when we go to Ember twin. 
Okay, that makes a bit of sense. of oxygen remaining that's just negative negativity speaking Oof. has anyone observed the phantom moon that sometimes greets us in the night sky your thoughts interest me i compliment your eyes how do you imagine it disappears hypothesis could it be a shift in the light spectrum suppose this moon is too shy to show us its face I'm interested in your playful moon. Is it much like its violent friend, Hollow's Lantern? This moon isn't volcanic to my unaided eyes. Sometimes it leaves its friend, Hollow's Lantern, for nights at a time. The nights the moon circles this planet appear random. It seems to travel as it likes. Imagine if there were two volcanic moons. Then I imagine there'd be none of us left. There can exist too much lava hypothesis i'd strongly prefer we test the null hypothesis ship log updated this is like the dev had um just a list and that list kept adding getting added to over and over and over again all throughout development years this is this is like this is a sci-fi writer's wet dream and i am here for it so is this the teleportation device is this the teleportation device it is uh yep yep that's the something Wait, we just walked there and then back again immediately. Let's flip this to the other side. Ah. Other side. Is it rotating? It is rotating, I think. Where's the dial? Oh, it's rotating back the other way. You save zero point zero 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 two seconds, yeah. <laughs> Creepy Jester, what's up, dude? Oh, here we go. So they go, but they both go to the same place. They just rotate in different directions. Oh, okay. So I guess you can speed it up one way or another, depending on where you need to go. Or more to the point, how quickly you can get there. Um, but I still... How do I get back? It's this thing, right? Let's have a look. Let me drop this. Return warp status charge. Step onto the warp receiver. No, wait. We were in the right place. And I want to go... Uh, there. Which may or may not be possible at this point. Whoop. Oh, God damn it. Yep. This is going to take a while to get used to. There we go. Grab that. Put that over here. Back we go, I think. 
And back out into... So we're in the black hole now, right? There's got to be something else here we can explore. Ship. 12.7 kilometers. And moving further away. What about one of these these rocks here? Doesn't seem to be anything, huh? Hold up, it's found something. What's it locking onto? We can't land on them. Oh, that's way too far away. Is, is that floating in the void? I'm not exactly sure. XMR Dallas, thank you, dude. Good to have you, man. I'm I'm in space now, yes? It is the thing. Oh shit. It is the thing. You are all the way out here. Wait, and it's telling me... If my ship's over here, Brittle Hollow, that's what we landed on the first time. It's telling me that my ship is 23 kilometers away? No. No, no, no. That can't be right. Like 23 million, maybe. head towards the white light, see what happens. Solar system is quite tiny. Amen. What is this? A solar system for ants? Nope. Can't crash into that either. Ship. 400... What? Ow. Go, go, we can make that. So inside the sphere is just a, a one-way teleport, maybe? How do I even... Urgh, stop it! And there it goes. Hell yeah. Time to get get out of here. We're going dark bramble, baby. kilometers traveling one kilometer a second you probably want to probably want to slow that down just a bit very very fast going the opposite fuck I'll get the hang of this eventually yeep
Uh oh. Oh, that's pretty. Very blue too. Wouldn't feel a thing. Wouldn't feel a damn thing. Oh yeah, Dread Pirate. Welcome to... Welcome to the time loop. Maybe. Same thing happens, it explodes. Check that. Something flew off. Uh, we need to get up there quick. It went off, I don't know, to the right, whatever the fuck that means in space. There it is. Got it. Oh god. Yep. No. Up. Lift. 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 Go. No map to chase that, baby. Who even knows how fast it's going? Watch me whack right into it. It seems to be getting larger. Returning to solar system? Aligning flight tra trajectory. Oh, dang. It's escaped. Screw it, keep going. No, it doesn't. It's. We've reached the limits. All right. I don't think I engaged. No, no way. No, it did it itself. Hold up. Well, now I don't know which blue speck it was. Shit. I'll have to try next time. I certainly didn't see that the first couple of times, though. Let's try the comet maybe this time. No, no, Bramble was next on my list. And check that shit. Um, I'm gonna pause and go grab another drink real quick as well. Might run to the restroom as well. I feel, feel like I'm going to be here quite a while. There's another black hole right there. No, that's the thing. That's the thing I keep... It is very small. It is very small. All right, give me a sec, folks. I will be back in a couple of minutes. Uh, I'm going to run to the restroom. I advise you do the same. Grab some snacks, and I'll see you back here real soon. Might run another commercial as well. Quick commercial break.
Thank you very much for waiting, folks. Ms. Queeb is going to surprise me. Well, not a surprise anymore. With some sausage rolls. So I'm very spoiled right now. Good morning, Il Mianso. How are you? Um, I am thoroughly enjoying this. This is, this is a really cool game. All right, so it's set to go onto the southern side of the Bramble, correct? From, from memory. Hmm. Shit, where the hell do I land, though? This looks good, this big, big chunky bit. The distances don't make a lot of sense. That much I'll say. So there's something there. It's probably just a rock. Definitely a rock. Uh, let's float around a bit more, see if we can actually see something on this thing. Another rock. A lumpy rock. Unless we have to go right to the... Right to the middle. This is the thing that broke off and hit... Hit that... Uh, hit, hit our... Hit our... Uh, home base. There's not a lot going on on this thing. This reminds me of the plot from... Final Fantasy Spirits Within. Which I think is a good movie. And I'll fight anybody who says otherwise. Like, we can land, but there's, there's nothing here. I might be getting my planetary locations mixed. Up, uh, hold. Nope, nothing there. You don't remember the spirits within? Um, it's the one with uh, was it Alec Baldwin and James Woods? Um, where? a chunk of an alien planet broke off as they were all trying to like they they two like warring factions or something had um annihilated each other like planetary destruction right planet blew up and a piece of the planet landed on earth and i'm not going to say too much more if you haven't seen it it's i think it's worth a watch Donald Sutherland? Nope, I'm pretty sure there's a Baldwin brother in it, and James Woods is definitely in it. Let's at least land and take a look here. Oh, oh, oh. Steady, 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 steady. What are we looking for? I'm... I... Anything. Boop. Suit me. Yeah, I don't think there's anything here, dude. There has to be something though, right? Like... Uh, nope. Nope, don't do that. I'm going further in.
Is it just another portal? Oh. Oh, yeah. No, that looks really inviting. Nothing. Nothing there. It's called it's called uh, dark bramble, so it is it is some kind of extraterrestrial plant. There's nothing here. This is a this is a nothing burger. All right, what's next? Signal scope. There's the twins. Let's go to the twins. Which are currently on the other side of the planet. No big. I'll go the other way and meet him there. Yo, ghost princess, what's up? Hello, welcome. Oh, shoot, I completely forgot about that. Let me fix that real quick. None pizza left beef. That meme is, uh, I think that had its 10 year anniversary recently, right? None pizza left, Beef. You just wit witnessed me land on the bramble? Yeah. Me, being me, thought that there was going to be something there. Twent. Twent nothing there. You played this before? I'm having such a great time. This is my first time playing. Wait, this isn't... Ah! There's that thing. Okay, hold up, hold up, hold up. There's that thing right there, right there. Yep, yep, I know I'm close. Uh... We're going right here. Very special landing. Wait, that's not a door? God damn it, I thought it was a door. Alright, we're going this way. You're obsessed? I mean, I might, I'm, I might be a huge fan. Now, this is really good. Stressful, a little bit. But, uh, but yeah, I like it a hell of a lot. This is really good. This is a crash site. I'm, I'm just kind of running around. Oh my god, so much lore. Kind of running around randomly right now. Of note. This passage leads to breathable air. Refill your supply tanks there. We cannot tell how far or deep these tunnels may wind, but do not linger, as the area is exposed to the heat of this alien sun. Well, yeah, it's literally a couple of kilometers away, according to the game. Alright, how do I just jetpack over there? What's our gravity? Oh yeah, we're good. Boop. We have found an enormous, enormous cavern at the end of this passage that appears promising. I believe 
We can construct long-term shelter there. Miss Queef, what are you doing? We bought the advent calendar from Amazon. It was how much? $25 advent calendar made of plywood. Let's be real. Birch. Okay. Of course it's not smooth. It's cheap shit from Amazon. It's 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 gonna be fun. We'll fill it up with lots of games tomorrow. We'll put them in any order you want. Oh, chat. chat can hear you. You didn't catch that. She wants the event to be successful, so next year we can design our own Quevent calendar. Oh, yeah. Okay. They're, they're very impressed. Get the other one. You bought two. You don't like the other one. I think it's gone. I'm going to get back to my space game now. Then get back to your space game. Um... Long-term shelter, right. Long-term until the sun blows up, of course. That one's important. We'll get to that one last. What else we got? Oh, it's another, it's another pod. It's a, it's a skate pod. Keep moving, friends. There's nothing of interest at the end of this passage, but rocks instantly go down that passage in a video game. And while these rocks are interesting, they can wait until a less urgent time. Do not follow this tunnel to its end. Calais and I will examine the horror that lies at its terminus later, provided we live through this. Emergency escape hatch. Ah, right, okay, so that's... Oops, messed up. Uh, Ms. Quee will be back tomorrow. Um, around about 5.45 ish oh she says if you guys fuck up she's not coming back unidentified signal nearby escape pod 3 now launching escape pod 2 wait 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 there's different damn it I didn't realize there was different lines of text here. Collision imminent, prepare for impact. Scanning external environment, scan complete. External temperature is prohibitively high. Inhospitable, do not seek shelter on planet's surface. <coughs> Escape pod two, vessel has been mortally injured. Emergency sequence activated, awaiting departure from vessel. You know I'm going to go to the end of these tunnels. That's just going to have to be the interrupt. Okay. Problem with any of the numbers. Do I see a problem with the numbers? With any of the numbers. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, okay, 16. Okay. You see a problem. Any problems? Any problems? Oh. That one's not cut co correctly. Like, what if this was my last straw? What, what if this was it? Can I get back to my space game? We can deal with it tomorrow. If you break up into it. She's not happy because the two advent calendars we bought um, aren't very well made. So. I'm gonna fix it, y'all. Mama's gonna fix it. She'll fix it. Pray for me. Um, what was the thing I scanned? That was just like a, an AI recorder. 
in, uh, it's like a black box in the escape pod. Oops, we missed some lore over here. The cavern Melloray found is a wise choice for shelter. Could one of you mark directions for the others to follow? This is the start of the path to the shelter site. I have left directions to guide you there. Of note, we must hurry as the pathway there is filling with sand. Do not allow yourself to be buried by sand and make sure no one is lost. I wonder if we have time limited events going on at the same time as... Yeah, okay. Well, that's interesting. Oh damn, we coming straight here next time. Shit, I might yeah, let's let's maybe get out of here. Um <laughs> Yeah, okay. Cool. Um mm hmm Surely Sand can't make it in here. Surely not. Hold on. Oops. Back out onto the surface. Alright, so we're not dead, but we missed something there. There's a beacon. This is the escape pod. Top. Got it. It's literally filling up with sand. Like, all of it. What? Shit, it is too. Holy moly, come on now. Three minutes of oxygen remaining, yeah. Till the sand devours me anyway. What difference does it make? There's a portal rock. Nope, that one stays put. Getting covered in sand as well. Where's the ship? Probably under sand by now, I don't know. I'm just going to keep walking. Unidentified signal nearby. There's trees up there. The entire planet is becoming... a desert planet. Arrakis. My Arrakis. trees I think it's safe to say that that one's also filling up with sand the other orbiter that's weird it's Chet the stars they're all dying there have been too many supernovae for it to supernova, for it to be anything else. Uh, we're next. Do you understand our sun by hearth's name? We're next. What do you mean we're next? It's the stars, you see. All the other stars are dying out. Oh, why did we have to be born at the end of the universe? And our sun, it. The star charts. Why? Why did I want to update them so badly? I didn't have to know, but oh no. I had to update the star charts, charts. I had to go looking for things I shouldn't have, and now our sun is about to... Oh, I don't feel well. I'd like to be alone, please. No, 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 no. You don't get to... I found something. Why, isn't that great? 
Do you know what? I found new things myself. <laughs> Most of them have to do with the sun exploding. Oh, who cares? What does it matter? Nothing matters anymore. The sun is about to go supernova. And me, all my research, my life's work, wasted. Wasted, do you understand? Give it to me and then it won't be wasted. You get it? Why are the stars dying? I don't know. They're old. Far older than we realized. And now all of them are dying. What does it matter? It doesn't. It doesn't matter at all. Nothing matters anymore. All my life's blah, blah, blah. wasted. You understand? Uh, what are you doing out here? The star charts. I didn't have to know. Yeah. I'd like to be alone, please. Nope. In the final moments of your life, you will not be left alone, my friend. Please tell me more. Where should I explore? You can go. Where can anyone go? Can't you see it's too late now? Ah, uh, who cares? What does it matter? Nothing matters anymore. The sun will probably blow up before you can even get there. And me, all my research, all my life's work. Wasted. Wasted, you understand. How dangerous is that big column of falling sand? Not as dangerous as what's about to happen to our entire solar system. <laughs> Just saying hi. <laughs> okay, he, he's done. He is, he's out. He, he's checked it. Time to roast a marshmallow. Doze off. Probably not the smartest move. Yeah, the entire planet is filling up with sand. That's his ship there. I can't take other ships, I don't think. Aren't I supposed to collect something from the music people? Or maybe maybe the collection is knowledge. Maybe that's it. Damn, they weren't kidding. This is... Yep. We gotta try. Uh oh. <laughs> we, we're a little close. We would be marshmallowed ourselves. Yeah, no, we can't get on that. Okay. What is that thing? Also filling up with sand. Well, whatever it is, I don't think we can use it anymore. Yep, no. But what we can do, maybe, if we're boosting fast enough. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a thing. Uh, go, 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 go. Okay, we got another one of those sealed doors, right? Let's follow the sand column around. Please hurry. Oh! <laughs> Jeez, even I felt that one. Another door? 50% fuel remaining? Don't even sweat it. Ow. It's a teleporter. Uh, think. Think. Yep. I have to activate both. But nothing happens. Wait. What?
Uh, where's the alignment map? Do we not have one here? Oh, trippy, trippy brain. Here's our first delivery, Yarrow. One warp core fresh from the Black Hole Forge. Root is installing this core's sibling on Brittle Hollow as I write this. My gratitude, Clary. With this, the Ash Twin project is underway. I confess I'm deeply curious what about what you and Poke found on the White Hole Station that started this project. Could I visit sometime to learn more? Uh, I recommend you do. The White Hole Station is the model for the towers being built for the Ash Twin project. There goes the planet. Quick, read as much as you can. I thought it's supposed to pause while translating. Oh, no, it's okay, Ghost Princess. It's it's only 7 billion degrees or something. It's It's fine. Not a huge deal. Supernova's bad, because that's getting a little bit too close, that's all. I thought the option for uh, translating was turned on. I'm going to go back to the sand planet. Land quickly. Oh shit. i got to go chase after that thing as well. Uh, freeze time when translating text. It didn't work. Jetpack boost can be triggered with a separate button or any time upward thrust is used auto. Yeah, let's turn that on, I think. I'm going to try that. I think that option counts only right before end of times. You mean not, not before the end of times. I was warned. Chert, he told me and I'm like, yeah, but... Hey, Chert. Go. Run. Went off to the right. Quickly, quickly, quickly. We go up. Turn left. Get up. Straight up. Flip a 180. Can I see it moving? Is that it? That's it. Okay, let's see if I can actually chase it this time. I bet you it's not going to let me. It's going out of the... There's no way I can chase it. Well, maybe. We're, yeah, maybe. I am like, yes, yes, it's... Okay, okay, okay. Oh, shit. No. Get rid of autopilot. Why are you going to the sun? I did I didn't do that. go here we go there we go it's just a it's just a nose light Nope, it's just a nose light. All right, fine. To the twins! Yeah, whenever you start the game, um, 
there's this like uh like an something orbiting it's like a I don't know, some kind of mechanical structure and it explodes and then the nose goes pew I just wanted to see what it was um so we're gonna land on I still want to go down into the cave I'm gonna lose my ship if I'm not careful so maybe land on the highest segment and before I go into the cave which is when it starts to fill up on sand or well, that could be running from the get we ne we don't know that um side, aren't we? We'll just go autopilot. The reason I was reading quickly towards the end there, um, and yes, I realize I can go back, is because um, I just wanted to update my ship's log. But we are going back there anyway. So we want to, oh, check it. So this one's hollow. The other one's dumping sand. Isn't that clever? Oh, that ain't good. It's fine. Nothing's broken. I don't think anything's broken. There's that structure. That's the power. That'll be a good place to land, I think. So you kind of have to wait for... Oh, jeez. Yeah, piece of cake. That was a little rough. Exit shift. Aft hull damage. Oh, my God. Really? So it's almost like you have to wait until the very end of a cycle to get... Um... get the full exploration there oh, it's another one of these hatch suit from oh wow spiky plant so that's the thing we saw in the vision ah and that's the uh, that's the other device we saw in the vision got it Um, actually, no, we need to go down from here to find the caves. Shit, we can actually get inside, maybe? There's stairs somewhere. The power conduit must be down. There it is. All right, run. We'll take that path next time. That looks like it goes a little bit deeper. Oh, no way. The Sunless City. Yeah, but now there's ghosts there. What? Crash that caves. No, no, no. Got it. Come on, time is of the essence. Right, we read that one. We jump across. 
And then it was this path, yes? Do not follow this tunnel to its end. Calais and I will examine the horror that lies at its terminus later. Oh my goodness. Is him hungry again? Mm-hmm. Right. Give me my son. I'm fine. I'm a two hander. This is Huxley. Hello, my son. Isn't he? Isn't he awesome? Dad, I heard that it's Christmas. It is Christmas, my, my boy. Boys in my stocking. I get stockings every day, right? Yeah. Not a danger noodle. Noodle puppy. Noodle puppy, not danger noodle. Yeah. There are no danger. Well, Faye is a danger noodle. Faye is, Faye will fuck you up. And Ripley. Ripley yeah, will Ripley very much so fuck you up. But Faye would do it. Do you look in his eyes? Ripley, you do it because you're just. Um, if you're interested, hit this. Um, can somebody type exclamation mark snake? Or snack even? I think both commands work. Yes. There you go. Thank you. Hello, my boy. You good? Having a nice day? I keep their tanks covered now, like all day and all night, because uh, because it's getting colder here, and uh, you know, just I want to keep them comfortable. So he has had the front of his tank covered all day, all night, and. You know, it's, it's what, it's, it's like almost one, I think like, you know, it's, it's, it's after midnight. So I, sh I should put eyes on my child. So I lift up the cover on the front of the tank and this child is standing up completely against his doors. His head is touching his, his ceiling. Like he's trying to find a way out. So I take off my headphones. I carefully open the door and his he's poised between the two doors. So I open the door and part of his fat just like folds over. And he was just like, Mom, I'm kind of hungry. I mean, look at him. His booty. Oh, yeah, you need to give him a lot of support, babe. Dad. So tell me about Christmas. How many stockings do I get a day? I get like two stockings a day, right? It's disgusting, isn't it? Marceline, thank you. Not only is he a lovely baby, he's a good baby. He's the best baby that we have. Stockings full of frozen rats. <laughs> it's true. If I, uh, if I wanted to tempt fate, like right now, everybody knock on wood right now, knock, knock on your head if you can. Um, his diet is perfect. He has never gone off food. Like there have been times where maybe he'll, he'll be like, eh, I'm a little too full, but you can give me that tomorrow. Um, but like he, he does not deny food. Like he doesn't turn it down. So sometimes with ball pythons, you can, uh, you can feed them chicks. You can feed them quail. Yeah. Mm hmm And they can process all of it. Um, hamsters, guinea pigs. If he were larger, like if he were a boa constrictor, we could feed him rabbits or pig. Yeah, like little piglets. Um, so if I wanted to, if I wanted to tempt fate, I could order him some chicks um, I don't want to do that because ball pythons are so picky that they, uh, 
they'll randomly be like, you know what? This chick that you fed me, this is all I'm going to eat from now on. Which is fine. However, everybody else in the house eats rats. This child needs to eat rats. Oh, look. So do you see his head and his neck? That's the color he was when we first got him. He was that color the whole way. And then this is his new color. With his little freckle at the very tip of his tail that he's always had. He's over. You might <laughs> pet chickens. I would love pet chickens. It would make me happy. Snakes are so cool. I've thought about having one. For a very long time, I was very terrified of them. And, uh, I mean, yeah, there's like, there's educational learning curves. Like you do have to learn a lot, especially if you don't have any experience with reptiles. But this, this is the only handling that he has had since the last time that you have seen him, which was like a week ago, maybe a little less. So like one to two days a week or one to two times a week, He's handled for maybe 15 to 20 minutes. I only handle him for that much because he's so big. I don't have anywhere to put him and he wants to explore. So snakes are, especially ball pythons, once you get their, uh, their habits down, especially for your particular snake, super easy. Dad, no. I'm looking for my stockings. Are they back here? Dad, don't let him wrap around your neck again, dude. <laughs> well, he sees the cable. Yeah, they uh, they wrap around cables and try to climb up them like they're little tiny strippers. Does he invite handling or... He's perfect about handling. We have ours trained, so if they want to come out, they will push themselves against the door. Or if they're like in, in Ripley's enclosure when she's fully trained, she'll bump her head against the lid to tell you that she wants to come out. So he does that. I try not to take him out of his enclosure unless absolutely necessary. If he comes out, he comes out on his own. And as a result of that training, he's... He is this. When uh, Anime Daddy visited... In um, September, I think. I don't remember. Whenever he visited, I handed Huxley to him. And Huxley was just like all over him. Just like this. That's not to say that he doesn't love his dad or anything. Okay. But he's, uh, he's you know, out of the three of them, he is the most handleable. Dad, I need my stockings. Yeah, didn't know you could train snakes. Absolutely, there is a trainer. You can look her up. Her name is Lori Torini. I will always rave about her. And she actually feeds hers very, very minimal amounts, but they eat frequently throughout the week. And they're target trained. So like if she wants to move them onto a scale or into a play area, they're trained that way. Very cool girl. Um, yeah, actually you want to say bye? Yeah, I don't want my stocking. Do I get my stocking? What about my hat? Somebody told me I, I could get a unicorn hat. He's perfect. Love you guys. I'll talk to you later. You got me a, a white plate. Thank you. Tiniest boop. I love that little dude. Oh my god. Every time crushes my heart all right um yes we are going down here i think oh right Boop. the horrors within launch scout oh there's there's text in there can i oh some kind of freaking portal thing so there's 
There's a text, an ancient text, and a portal. Question is, do we wait? Can I? Thank you. Didn't realize it was going to be locked up by stalactites and stalagmites. Stal whatever. Spikes. Hey. There's definitely something down there. Can I launch on that? Let's have a look. Like I'm right on it. Can I not? Ah, oh, come on, really? Too close to it. Take snapshot. Too far away. Yeah, I don't know. We're not getting in there. Okay, well... That was great. The way we got out of there last time... Oh, hold up. This passage leads to breathable air. Refill your supply tank. We cannot tell how far or deep. Wait, I've read that one. Oh, do I need to reread some of these? We found an enormous cavern at the end of this passage that appears promising. I believe we could construct long-term shelter. The cavern Malore found is a wise choice for shelter. Could one of you mark directions? No, we read we read this for sure. But it says that it wasn't marked. We must hurry. Pathways filling up with sand, which we found out. Keep moving friends, there's nothing of interest. Yeah, alright. Oh wow. Oh wow, okay. Uh The path to the shelter site is somewhat convoluted, so follow the instructions ahead closely. To reach the shelter site, walk forward until you meet the sandfall at the pit, then turn left. Continue to the room filled with rock. Climb upward through them. The sand here is rising, so you must be cautious, but swift. Straight ahead, they said. Find the sandfall, turn left. Yes. Then climb. This must have been such a fun game to put together. Oh, you know I'm going to stick left. Uh-oh. Did I scuff it already? Maybe. Maybe. Uh, that's a problem. P.S. That's not how sand works. Damn. Alright, so that's another one for next time, I guess. What? Alright, so we're going back up. Shame. Uh, that's our way out. However, if we jump over, we can get back out this way as long as we're quick enough. Oops, it is. Get back to the ship. Three minutes of oxygen remaining, no sweat. Refill your air. 
Oh, sh certainly does take you by surprise, huh? We were quite high up this time, uh, next to the structure, next to that thing up there. Okay. 108 meters to the... But that also means that the other event is going to take us out, probably. So we have to be very quick. We're going to get on this. Quickly go in here, quickly refill. And then this one, I guess... All the interesting shit seems to take place... Uh, not good. Piece of cake. Nothing broken. Everything's fine. Why is it sending me further and further away? This is going to hurt. Down thrust. I am down thrusting. What the... Thank you. That's better. It must have thought I was still in the other orbit, possibly in on the on the other planet. Oh shit! Yeah, yeah. Oh my god, this is not good. Could definitely be better. Can we just land. Good, perfect, flawless landing. I don't know what that was about. I was like on the wrong. Nothing broken. That's weird. Okay, let's go. Discover what we can here. Um, it's a possible portal, maybe. Giant thing made of cheese. It's pretty cool. Some time has passed since I checked in with you, Pi. How are you and Idea progressing with the Sun Station plans? Presently, my assessment is that our plan will either fail explosively or succeed su explosively. Pi, I know. I don't find that funny. <laughs> Uh, how curious Remy thinks I'm a gas, and I don't recall requesting that you monitor this conversation. I don't see what state of matter you are has to do with this, and I don't recall supporting the sun station's construction, but here we are. Hypothesis, time spent away from the station would be beneficial for you both. I'm immensely interested in testing your hypothesis. That, at least, we can agree on. Cacti are in the way. How do I get... I can't get through there. Or can I? No, nah, I'm going to be spiked to death if I go that way. side perhaps locked ah so this is the other side right everything's controlling very differently than it did before and I'm not sure why 
Let's uh, let's check up here. Another portal. Place for the to put something there. Maybe that's the reason. Possibly. I kind of like it though. Like it, the auto booster does make it a lot simpler. Because timing is actually very important with that. But that, I don't think that's it. This is this thing again. That just opens the door to the outside, yes? Yes, okay. Got it. This is one of those things, though. We just don't know where it's aligned to, or... Like, it passes almost perfectly in front of some of these planets and stuff. Oh, that's not a good teleport location. Bowser. Let's go down here. This is the room where we read last time, I think. No. Nope. Here's our first delivery, Yarrow 1 Warp Core. Yes, it is. Yep, yep, yep. The Ash Twin Project is underway. Deeply curious about what you and Poke found on the Whitehall Station. The start of this project. No, I read that. Visit the Whitehall Station. Stop using the scroll wall to flirt with my sister in romantic matters. Her destiny rivals a neutron density rivals a neutron's stars. And go meet her on the Whitehall station. I'd be happy to explain our findings. Wish I could wait here for you to arrive. That seems like So that one's almost full. Yeah, it's almost time to... Get sanded again. Or blasted. Or sanded and then blasted. Down the bottom of this one. See what's down there? It's just an elevator up. Well, we got a good view. That's the wall we read last time. Okay. Sun station plans. No, no, that's the other one. That's the one with the thing on the other side that we can't get to. It goes up to the top. I think my ship's gone again. What's at the core where all the sand is gone? Um, we can have a look. Although we'll only get a few seconds, I think. Like, look at it. That's red as shit. That's about to go. building we can go in front row seats huh We're at the top of the tower and there's two towers there's one on either side of the planet Oh, 
Oh yeah, front row ticket. Is the the music a giveaway? Feel level critical. Bummer. The music's a giveaway, huh? Do it, do the thing. I'm coming! <laughs> Hello boys, I'm back! Uh, Bargus, yes! Yeah, this is the first time I'm playing. So much to discover and to learn and... It's kind of wild and I'm, I'm enjoying it immensely. I don't understand a lot of it. There's a ton of puzzles and, and lore, but uh... It's gonna take me a while to get to the bottom of it, but very cool so far. Really enjoying this. Reminds me of a movie. There's a um. It's heading a different direction this time. The the nose piece, is it? No, it's not. Um, there's an Australian film. I can't remember what it's called. It's an indie film. And essentially, uh, a meteor something hits Earth. Um, so we're, instead of wasting time chasing that thing again, we're going to go st straight to the twins. See if we can work out more on there. Um, it hits Earth on, like... other side of the world right and Australia is the last place to be hit and it's about this dude's final day on on earth and it's just it's really cool movie um I should I should see if I can look that up again Alright, let's see if we can actually see anything inside. So the sand hasn't even started dropping yet, which is the weirdest part. Um... Yo! Yo! Settle! Jesus. It's just weird gravity, I guess. Let's have a yeah, let's have a look at that thing. That thing got filled up with sand last time we tried to go here, so. Oop. Melancholia? Oh, I can't remember the name. It didn't really have a big cast. I think I think the the lead is like he's been in a few bigger things since. Like he's he's quite um better known now. Oh, okay. Not what I expected. We go on right down here. So we've got stairs out. Fascinating. Nothing else. 
hours down here. The music in this game, so good. These final hours. That definitely, yep, that definitely sounds like it could be it. Call the shuttle home. Activate the gravity cannon. Oh! Do that again. Go the other way this time, though. Okay, so we got rid of whatever that was. Oh, and that just calls it back. Okay, this time don't get, don't, don't boop the thing. Wait, can I get in that? Gotta see. I can, I think. Yep, a few, few spikes, nothing, nothing bad. Trees detected. Oxygen refilled. I'll read all of that shit in a minute. Where's the... Whoa! Please hold. My sense of up and down is a little bit twisted here. I fear our situation may be dire. Pi Poke and I landed here on this comet not long after its arrival in the star system our shuttle's equipment heard strange energy re readings coming from somewhere beneath the surface right i poke able to locate a fissure in the ice and the comet's sunward side fissure in the ice and they descended to investigate gone for a long time now they haven't contacted me since descending below the surface either should i leave the shuttle to look for them i want to follow protocol but I don't know what I'll do if they aren't well. Come back to me safely, my friends. Just hovering here. It's the weirdest thing. Okay, that wasn't good. <laughs> that's that's not meant to happen. You you think I got knocked off axis? I I think you might be right. Let's look at our logs now and let's see if the ship knows anything that I don't. Quantum shard. Hanging city. Right, we've still got to go back there. Escape pod. High energy lab. Quantum moon. So we found two escape pods so far, I think, right? <clears throat> Jeez, that's a lot. Um, Ash Twin Towers, Black Hole Forge. The Nomai crafted warp cores at the Black Hole Forge before delivering them to Ash Twin. Just a few things. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no big. Northern Glacier. Right. The North Pole of Brittle Hollow is covered in snow and ice. There's a uniquely shaped Namai ruin on the surface. Brittle Hollow. We've been there. The Namai were able to warp here from the Whitehall Station. We've done that. Quantum Moon. Observed a phantom moon that would sometimes appear in the sky. So a certain time of cycle. Be a moon extra. Quantum shard. 
strange rock shard that wanders where no one when no one is watching then a mind determined the shard is the reason objects in this grove behave in a quantum manner hypothesize that the shard is actually a piece of the quantum moon the shard emits the same signal as the quantum moon it's hour of quantum knowledge located on brittle hollows equator held useful knowledge for Namai embarking on their first pilgrimage quantum signal coming some from somewhere in on giant steep so giant steep we have not been to yet timber hearth uh aka home somewhere on the hourglass twins sun station not everyone supported its construction escape pod 2 crashed in a solar system all three escape pods were launched from something called the vessel which was badly damaged there's more to expo explore here anglerfish fossil Falling sand hourglass. Right. Nice. Hanging city. Black hole forge. Uh, what else? Gabara. Went back to Giant's Deep to try to learn more about the Nomai statue in the observatory. Village. Yes, we know that, we know that. High signal locator. Completely forgot about that machine. Southern Observatory. Riddle Hollow South Pole. You can't get into the observatory from the surface. It's green. What does green mean? Oh, okay, that's cool. Rumor mode or planet mode. Sun Station. Got it. Sun Station is now blown up. Probably because the sun's dying, my guess. I'm not a scientist, but that is my guess. Let's go to the Sun Station. Color code coding. I mean, hopefully green means, like, done or at least somewhat... Um... What? what? Okay. We haven't been to the moon... Uh, the moons either. There's the sun station. Let's go straight to that. Uh, we're going to have to wait for it to come back around. It's spinning very fast, I might have... I might... I might note. Color choice rests largely on location. Ah, okay. Yo, I can't land on that? Legit? Oh, come on. How am I even gonna... <sighs> yeah, that's definitely something we can do there. I guess I have to wait for it? Oh, boy. Oh, it's okay. okay. It's just separating it by quest line. Yep, that is that is the sun. Wonder if it's even possible to land on this thing. Everything's going to be fine. Seven kilometers from the sun. We're fine. We're good. Uh... 
So that's something that can happen, I guess. I guess the sun station might not be visitable. Zen, not good. No, flying into the sun um, is accompanied by um, a minor, second degree burns. Pretty bad. Hospitalization required. Am I going to play the DLC too? I mean, I, I bought it. Later, Torment. Take it easy. Little little sunburn, yeah. Just al some aloe will fix it right up. It, everything's installed. The full game is installed. I don't know anything about the DLC. I don't know how to activate it. I don't want to know how to activate it. There's more more to explore on this planet as well. There's another one. All right, let's let's do this first. We haven't even looked here yet. like it's inactive on this planet huh does seem to be can you land anywhere yeah as long as it's steady ground um it's very easy to also tumble out into the middle of nowhere as well what is that And that's the that's the pillar monument thing we found before, I think. Now Okay, let's go waterfall. The old cave behind the waterfall trick. Mining site 2B. Gotta be honest, the security system could do with a bit of work. here I'm still amazed by how much ore the ash twin project requires isn't this one uh, the ore for the remaining towers being built on ash twin the completed towers I've seen are quite large no ma material for those towers is all being taken from ash twin the ore we're mining here will be used to craft an immensely thick protective shell that will physically seal off the chamber inside Ash Twin's core. If they're sealing off all entrances, I hope they've planned a core dingly. I thought you had forbidden your apprentice, pr apprentice from making puns, Calais. 
I'm relieved by our clan's decision to use timber hearths or only for constructing the shell. If eventually life on this planet were to evolve to the point of advanced metal metallurgy, I'm confident we won't have destroyed their ability to create. How else would he improve? Let's keep going down before we take the elevator out. Oh, it's another one of these things. Ash Twin Projection Stone. That's the same. And now that image actually makes sense. Seven of my heads, and we have unlocked whatever that means, three of them. There's a second one right here. My gratitude for the latest shipment, Oneo. This ore should be the last we'll need for the Ash Twin project. This is exciting news. Can I offer an extra set of eyes for this final check, specifically mine? If my work here is complete, I'd be delighted to help. We'd be grateful if you would. The more eyes, is the better, as the smallest flaw or opening in the shell that protects the Ash Twin project could lead to disaster. Once we finish the shell that seals off the central chamber, check to ensure there are no longer any physical entrances. Remy and I will check the interior and then the exterior for cracks, our final safety check. Let's take that. We probably won't need it. Take it take it with anyway. I'm gonna go I guess up. Although that might not be that might be the uh, the extent if we can reverse this perhaps. Zero controls, by the looks of it, I might have to spelunk down. Yep. somewhat dug out. Should go to the ground. Water? taken Let's 
Something tells me we shouldn't be down here. There's no tube. That's just the beginning of the elevator. That sends you straight back up. Go that way. Coming from where? What the hell? This just takes me back to the top. One of those has to be the right. Go wait over there. Nope, that's the way I got in here. This is super strange. It could be nothing. It could be nothing here. And take the big jet of jet of air up again. Here we go. No, it didn't work. Used to move ore. Makes sense. But is there nothing else to do? That's my question. Okay, let's assume that's correct. I wonder why I'm the only one that... is able to relive with my memories intact. Where is it? That is not true for everybody else. That's the comet we still haven't visited. I think I tried at one point. It crashed miserably. Okay, well. Wouldn't you just love a jetpack in real life? Just me? Hmm. If it in included cushion landing systems. I see those uh, videos all the time of like um, hydro jet packs, I guess. I, I don't know how best to explain them, but they use, I guess, massive engines to um, oh, that was the crash landed thing. Right, right, right. I think that's about it. That's the valley. They look fun, but kinda scary. So I'm pretty sure we explored all of the valley, right? Like during the quote unquote tutorial. Yep, that's the rock that changes spots whenever you look at it. Hmm. 
Okay. Let's try for the Comet then. I think Autopilot's our best bet there. I couldn't chase it last time. Yeah, I don't know if there's anything else to do or not. It's okay. We've got all the time in the world. Hold up. That's the that's the moon we first Yeah, let's go to the moon. Absolutely. Do a do a pass over first. Hey Shark Bay, what's up man? Ah, that's the little guy's campsite. Right. Yeah, we made it to the moon on our first landing, but then the event happened. Let's go over here real quick. Whoa, okay. Esker's signal scope log. Day 48, still not picking up Rayback's banjo from Brittle Hollow. I'm sure they're fine, but I'll feel better once I can hear their music. Day 51, listen to Chert. Play for a while today, unrelated. Someone should tell Porphy and Gussin their flirting is not subtle from an aerial perspective. Day 55, banjo music coming in loud and clear today. Sounds like Rebecca's doing okay. That oaf, I was worried. Day 63, today I thought I heard something strange. I don't know. It was probably nothing. Day 70, no, it's back again today too. Something strange is coming from Timber Hearth. We only have a small piece of that rock, right? Okay, I know this is crazy, but the sound of the, from Timber Hearth sounds exactly like Felspar's harmonica, but Felspar disappeared in space ages ago. It can't be them. It's still there. It's creepy. Maybe signal sto scope is broken. I'd better talk to Nice. Where is... Eight hundred and twenty meters. Forty guard, yes, yep, first time. We could find that ourselves. Good information. We'll get that next next trip. In the meantime, I want to get uh, uh, where's the where's the guys hideout? Oh, that's the that's the other machine. That's the one we couldn't figure out because it kept spinning because it's broken essentially. Where the hell is he? There he is. Oh, hey, it's you. Ground control didn't tell me you're launching. Blah, blah, blah. Yep. What is this place? Very funny. Oh, stars above. You're serious, aren't you? 
That's just depressing. Sigh. Welcome to Lunar Outpost, which was uh, apparently a space program doesn't bother to teach anyone anymore. When we first started Outer Wilds, travelers used to bring the ships here all the time. But the older ships tended to fall apart a lot. What, because they're made out of wood? No. Sun looks very red now. Mm hmm. Has a tendency to do that once every 20 to 30 minutes, yeah. Um, we've seen this before. I'm always in one place. Something so bad up here, really. At least it's peaceful and quiet. You don't always get that in our solar system, let alone in our village. He is very lonely. Poor guy. They don't bother whistling. You can pick up their music with a signal scope. Yes. The North Pole. Get yeah, great reception. Marked in red on your mini map. So North is red, South is blue. Got it. That I might. I haven't even been using that. It's probably a good idea. But the Adel Rock is a pretty small moon. Really, just go north. You can't miss it. Okay. That was fire. Okay, that's where we just were. Cool. That's it. It, it was supposed to draw our attention to that. I wonder if there's anything else here. This might be it. And I'm in orbit. Another ship? Crashed ship, maybe. Oh, it's gonna hurt. Nothing going on there. And the only other thing here, I think, is this. So that we haven't tried everything here, though, have we? We translated the texts. Did that. Listen to that. Yep, that's all there is there. Let's have a look here. Does it stop? Does it align? No. Oh shit. Is this how we get to the... Well, the music's starting. Is that how we get to the damn, the, the station? Everything's going to have to line up for us to get teleported there, I'm sure. We'll test that. Way there, and then we've also got to find out where the mystery moon appears, um, where and when the mystery moon appears. There's the comet I want to check out. That might be impossible as well. God, this takes forever.
literally haven't got all day. How long is each cycle? About, about, I'm not sure exactly. It's about 20, 25 minutes. I think. I just want to see what lines up here. The sun itself is the timer, the color of it. Then you hear this music. It's about to, it's about to go. I just want to see if this actually does anything. Do shit. So we still have to, still have to activate it somehow. Maybe if we go back downstairs. Yeah, the redder and redder it gets, the the closer it is to supernova. station is gone because of the sun expanding <gasps> no shit i think you're right yeah, yeah yeah it is getting bigger isn't it of course oh that the force actually knocked me off i think the force would obliterate me personally Quick hide behind a wall. So first things first, um, let's see if we can find the source of the harmonica on this planet. somewhere around I think inside there you know what I'm willing to put money on that that cheeky son of a bitch has been alive this whole time. Nah, it's all good. No one's worried about you, bud. Didn't miss you at all. Ah, get out of your chair. Uh, which one was it? Shit. Twenty thousand Ks away? Wait. Esker. Two hundred and fifty two meters, right. Oop. Oh, maybe that's not possible.
This will not end in my horrible death. I'm sure of it. Okay. I'm not controlling this. Three hundred meters that way. I'm in another um, heat vent. Well, we found something. After closer observation, mining site two A wouldn't be safe for the native life dwelling in some of the cave's pools. So unfortunately, we'll have to m mine one of the other sites. There are a few other cave sites that look promising. What about Site 2B? It shares similar formations in strata. On the opposite hand, New Life, this species is semi-aquatic and very hardy. Ecosystem here is quite robust, so I believe they'll thrive in the long run. Be cautious near the pools if you visit 2A to meet them. I was watching them once during a rest, and uh, the hours escaped from me. They're, they're fascinating. I wonder what their fourth eye does. They remind me of subterranean species that my mentor, Malore, once told me about from when our clan used to travel across the universe. I imagine she would have enjoyed these life forms greatly. This sounds promising. I will send you and your mentor to investigate. If mining site to be proved safe for this native species, we'll move our work there. Our site to be is safe. Player says we'll be con continue to monitor activity, blah, 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 blah. Okay. If this is just going to eject me, I don't really want to leave just yet. It probably will. Oh, hold up. A campsite. Or something. Hundred and ninety two meters. We are very, very close. There's no way no way to get there, maybe. Got it. So that is indeed correct, I believe. We just gotta wait for it. And send me straight back up in it. Alright, it's fine. I'll take the same route again. down oh wow I'm fine hello I am in <laughs> okay so we went uh, we followed this one so you've just got to avoid sort of going directly up I think yeah we can skip that just don't go overboard go down here nope nope back down back down Uh, 
up now up there's a little cave take the cave and then I guess try to avoid <sighs> there's no way wait oh oh here we go here we go I didn't realize this was going to be such an adventure. Three hundred meters away. Mm -mm, I've circled back around. I think I'm very badly injured. Yep, have. There has to be a way to not go up that last spout. Definitely the way. This is another entrance in here. Oh, a bit jittery. Steer right, steer right. Hey, we did it, I think. Nope, but that's just going to loop straight back down again. Sure enough, yep. It's got to be a way. That's a completely different zone. He's definitely underground somewhere. Oh. Hey, it's the rock. Frequency discovered, Grove Shard, Quantum Fluctuations, look away, look back, it's gone, it's now moved. Alright, where do we want the rock though? It's always dark in the ancient glade, the quiet shade across old bark. Fracked, weren't you? Wait, what do you mean long time? Weren't you here earlier this evening? Where do we want this? If it matters at all. Finally plugged the PC back in. Right on, dude. Well, welcome back. I could have sworn you were here earlier today. Could have sworn it. Problem is, as soon as you see it, thousand meters away. That's might as well be on, a, on another planet at a thousand meters away. What's up, old school? How are you, man?
Eh. Damn it. The harmonica was in the crater. Yeah, that's what that's what I thought. And I was definitely going for that. I keep getting sidetracked with other cool shit I find. Seven thousand Grove Shard sixty six. Yep. Unknown three hundred and three. Maybe it's closer than I thought. Sixty two fifty. I just don't want the fucker to disappear. Before I've had a chance to investigate. 180. I can't look directly at it. This guy is sprinting right now, by the way. Like, well, maybe not, but that's a solid jog. Is this just sending me to the other tiny shard? It is. Okay. Never mind. How do you get more fuel? There's fuel in the ship. You can refuel easy. There's little canisters you find all over the place. Uh, um. Damn. All right, I'll figure that out later. What's next? Next we go to the sun base. I got to see the sun base. I got to see it. One way to restart a run. <laughs> I was already heavily wounded from a from an earlier crash. That's not the moon. No, that's something else. Track, no sweat, dude. Take it easy. Have a good sleep. Final Fantasy 14 went live. Oh, the um, the update, dude. Go, go play. We should probably check the map out. Actually, I am far too far away. Not the map, the flag. Let's check this real quick. 
It is kind of a point of interest after all. These landings definitely weren't faked. Ah, uh, you can tell. It it's moving. Okay. Um, so I think directly over here. Yep, there it is. Oh, 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 got it, got it, got it. I understand. Okay, so the, the sun base is definitely still there this time. Now we wait, question mark? I don't actually know. This thing's either just designed for audio or... I don't know. Let's go to the blue planet. The, this is the water planet, right? Yeah, giant steep. Alright. This is weird. I mean, it's literally a water planet, right? Oh, that ain't good.
Oh, that really ain't good. Okay. Everything's fine, apparently. I didn't... Okay. Yeah, this is sweet. Cool. Oh, shit. <laughs> um, I'm falling sideways. What is going... What? Think I understand what just happened? Where are you? That ain't it. But, there's something else. Hollow's Lantern. Okay, so it's like a mini sun or some shit. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Where are that? There. So, um, water tornadoes under the atmospheric, I get it, I don't understand yet how it, I mean my ship was gone. So like maybe we do want to land on, oh wait there's two orbiting platforms? Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. Yes. Okay. Nope. That just went through. Okay. It's on the exact opposite side of of that broken platform. But it went it it went in. It's gone. You think that's what happened? Oh, yes. <laughs> oh, yes. We're going in, going in again. Rocky platforms get launched into space. That's how the space station was destroyed. You, you did not, I don't know if you noticed, but the orbit was decaying. So 
it did touch touch the atmosphere that might have been what broke it up I don't know Uh, fuck me. I think I'm in the middle of a tornado. Looks good. The trees are intact. That's a good sign, right? Perfectly safe. Okay, so we're apparently at one of the... We are. We're at the North Pole. That is... that is really freaking cool. Yeah, Frogler, this one has engines and stuff. It's really weird. No 50 billion volts here. Mm -mm. I am having a blast with this. This is great. What a what a first. What a way to uh, uh, to break in the the Quee vent calendar event. Be welcomed in this place. This tower shares with all who ask the knowledge needed to make his or her first quantum journey. You hate that you're spoiling it? Oh, well, please don't, don't, don't stay. If you, yeah, no, I, I don't, I would hate. To have this ruined for anybody did they say quantum journey oh yeah yeah m goats lucky nah nah that was that was just i'm i'm that's just that's welcome to channel mcqueed that's all i can say enter this place without friends however there are lessons to learn for yourself are you playing a new game every day in December? That I am, yes. Outer Worlds? Rabtastic, what's up, dude? Ah! Um, I fucked up. That's bad. It's gonna hurt! Yeah! Yeah, but I'm not dead, though quite yet oh that hurt Alex the shy cat dude thank you so much five gifted very kind man Thank you very much for using your channel points to gift a sub to somebody else. I will take care of that. In a little bit. Next cycle. How did I... Did I just jump out before? What? what? I just... I just, I just didn't feel like being there. Okay, cool. Mm -hmm. There's not a lot going on. I mean, this is the this is the the main event right here, right? Seek the wandering arch. There it is. There it is. Lots of gravity on this planet. You did get very lucky to stumble here without actually trying. 
I'll give you a chance to rephrase that. Granted, I have no idea what I was doing. Unidentified signal nearby. Ah! <laughs> Found it. Where do we need you to be? We've got another wandering arch. Oh my god. How long have I been playing the game? Um, like five hours? Observing a quantum object. Observing an image of a quantum object. These are the same. Huh. That's an interesting concept, one we hadn't heard until now. The gravity, though. Um, that's going to be gone for sure. Yep. How do you even just guess? where it might be. I get what they're trying to do here. It's very clever. I think you just got to get lucky, maybe? Because we can't climb up to where it is. Bruh, I am very limited on time. I don't have all, all days for your games. How much can you see? Like literally nothing of it? Okay, I see the light. I see the light from it. That might be enough. Mother f If you play a new game each day, when... Are you finishing all the games? Um, we'll be coming back to this one for sure. This this is this is going to be worth another look, hundred percent. Cheeky son of a bitch! All right, not looking at it. It is now. Up there, not looking at it, is now, damn it, there's no rhyme or reason. Okay, has to be, where's the, Has to be over here. Has to be. God damn it! Consider what the tablet said. Looking at an image of it and looking at it is exactly the same thing. How does that relate to this, though? Do I have a camera? Mother... F yeah, I do.
Ah, wait. Wait, 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 wait. Okay, okay, I got it. Motherfucker can't move if we're staring at it. Um, no spoilers, please. Let me, let me, give, give me some, some semblance of a chance to work this shit out. Gotta lock both things in place now, huh? Cool. Hey, Mom. Yeah, that's it. Get up there. Get up there. Oh, shit. Why am I having so much trouble? Is it because I take my eyes off of the... Yes, it is. Yep. A mind fuck, dude. There's probably several ways to solve that last one. lore there was lore this is the last one but we made it harder i almost i almost had that too damn it counted isn't it yep okay so i'm gonna have to do that uh put away uh take a take a picture oh no just that one Probably just in time.
We offer congratulations. You've learned the rule of quantum in imaging. Take this knowledge with you. Yeah, that will be actually handy on your quantum pilgrimage. Remember, the other quantum shards have other lessons to teach. Our curiosity goes with you on your journey. You walk in the footsteps of those who came before you, and your path guides those who will follow later. Where's my loot? Please. Hello, rock. Don't go anywhere. Uh, is that a radio signal? Island shard. Oh, I had to take a picture of it? Or not a picture, but um, I had to walk near it to identify it. Okay, maybe. Um, I'm actually worried to step on this now, but I think I should. Nope, that's a landing pad for my ship. Oh, that's cool. Nah, pros pros when they're landing, they don't they don't need any landing pads for them. Soften the blow of a landing, please. First. First time? First time landing successfully, yes. <laughs> um, and I think only my only my legs are mildly broken. Like, yeah, we got away pretty good. So how are you supposed to... Ah, there we go. Okay, got it. So let's go to the South Pole, maybe. I still want to check that out. I don't know if you can get there. Gravity's a biatch on this one. Holy shit. Stop it. black and white for a change The time limit somehow makes the experience more relaxing. Isn't that weird? 
like it's it's a stressful game because you've got a, a a very small window you have to be at certain points at certain times which i just personally freaking hate um uh but it's it's a, a very different feeling like you compare that with the with the the dead rising and having to be you know you've got like maybe because you retain information imagine if you didn't retain information that would piss me off bit of fatalism about it you can't possibly do it all within the time limit uh i th I think the speed run that I watched a long, long time ago would suggest otherwise. Um, I'm just going to gift this sub that was requested. Who was that? One sec. A random merry early Christmas. Right on, dude. Give me one sec here. Thank you very much. Unworldly one. All right. All right, that was cool. I still want to check out the South Pole. There might not even be anything there. Um, let's go. Gotta locate the damn thing. <clears throat> there it is. I wonder if you can land on that. It's going way too fast. What is that? Wait, that's the moon. That's. Go, go there. This is not where I want it to be. Shit. That's the, that's the hidden moon. Oh no, I've lost it. It, well, it might not be the hidden moon, but I hadn't seen that before. I suspect you can, or at least there's a way to visit it, because there's a portal on it. Where is that moon? The moon's a quantum object. Alright. Sorry, baby. This one's going to be a quick one. This is for the good of the people. We did learn something about quantum moons. <clears throat> oh, jellyfishies. Um... I want to touch it. I want to touch a fishy. I'm caught in... I'm caught in the drift here. Jesus, that's terrifying. Here we go. You ready? Yeah, that moon only appears certain times of day. See, there's a... Like, there's just no way. Yeah. 
Eh, get out. Put your thing on. We're doing an emergency. I'm not repairing. I'm going up here. To safety. Statue workshop, right on. Ugh. Um. Okay, I guess we're going this way. And quickly, please. No problem, this is fine. Nowhere to hide. Oh, there's all sorts of cool shit down there. They're going to test the memory statues tonight. Phlox says it could be dangerous, so we can't come along but what if we didn't use the door and snuck in the other way does anyone want to do that fox specifically told us not to do that i really want to see the test too lamy but that's a huge risk to take we probably shouldn't maybe fox will let us see it a later test i think fox is a dick why wouldn't he let you see it right so we know there's another way down we just don't know how to get there yes That's a uh, former working elevator, I guess. Wonder if we're safe here. Wonder if the, they pass over here. The fact that trees and shit are still intact might suggest that, but I said that before and then I got carried away. Another teleport pad. Gravity is just way too high, but it changes rapidly depending where you're standing. It's zero gravity when you jump up a little bit, which is quite odd. Welcome to Giant's Deep, friends. I'm excited for you to meet the statues. If I'm not in my dwelling, I'll likely be in the workshop below inside the island. Right. This is where you're supposed to teleport to, I guess. Once we figure out how to do that. Oh, I don't like those shadows passing overhead. Alright, how do we get down? Two times gravity, that would feel gross. That circle is uncovered. We can definitely get down there. Tornado. Tornado. A twister is a tornado, right? Hurricane is what? Bigger version? Uh-oh. Um, sir. Would you mind diverting your path, please? I'm gonna stand right here. Nope. Goodbye. Uh, what? No 
fucking way. We are... Oh. Oh. Say less. Okay. Tornado power. Now I'm going to need you to come back. Damn it. I love environmental puzzles that aren't like on the nose, right? Like, I don't, I don't mean that. That's not a, I'm not being reductive when I say that. I mean, like, not just pick up key, put in keyhole, right? Like something like that is, is, is lame. It's something where it's like, yeah, activate fucking tornado buttons with tornadoes. Like, oh yeah, that makes sense. Later, mortal. Take it easy, dude. Okay. And yeah, let's let's go, let's go. Come on. coming I would hate to see one in real life that would be legit scary as hell Tornado, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's probably important. <laughs> I'll hold up my uh, signal scope and be a, I'm an island boy. So that's the, that's maybe, what is that? Yeah, that's the pole right there. I wonder if there's another one of equal, no, maybe not on the other side, huh? Come on. You only get one shot, one opportunity. Stayed watching TV? What a badass. Oh no. Oh no. I didn't mean to do that. There's the jellyfish again. I wonder if there's an alternate entry. Wait, surely not. I can't get up there. Yeah, we're back here again. Damn it! Oh man, so much to do. And it's gonna... Yep. Perfect timing. Shit. I'll try.
Maybe I needed to move to reset it, possibly? Look, I'm in the thing. Take me down. That's even weirder. What the hell is going on? I just thought it was going to take me down. Yeah, maybe our position resets them. Maybe that's how they work here. Because otherwise you only get, like, a couple of shots. So when we're in the when we're in the eye of the storm What if nah But what if though Did talk about another way down as well. All right, now from which direction? There it is. How the hell do you go? Run, sprint. Do whatever you gotta do, just run. Like... <sighs> Bye! Thanks for the lift. Uh, that kind of looks terrifying. It looks like a giant jellyfish trapped in... An orb? Old school. Dude, this is awesome game. Yep. That's fucking gross. How do we get up from here, though? Don't swim too far away, it'll get away from you. It's ice, maybe, so maybe the supernova has to melt it, and then we can get in there. Let's try this side. It takes just as long to swim from one island to another as it does... Come on, get up there. Ghost matter detected. Ah, damn it. Please don't carry me away. I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm fine. I got in the cave just in time, I think.
What is it? It must be, it must be, look, like a good 30 minutes a cycle, no? Oh, come on. Vital slow? AKA not dead. That's right. Ah, uh, right. I can't jump anymore. This is, um, yeah, a little bit of a harsh planet. Uh, certain weather conditions can have adverse effects. Not as bad as the sun blowing up, but still, still quite bad. Oh man, I really want to get down there. Oh my goodness, comment bagel, how are you this evening? Hello, bagelators. Love this game, my first time. I uh, think I broke my legs though. <laughs> I can't jump very well anymore. No, <laughs> don't. <laughs> We're doing a we're doing a, a fancy event for uh, December. It's called the Queeb Vent Calendar. It's very clever. Um, it's my username mixed with Advent Calendar. Different game every day. Twenty four, well, technically twenty five days. Octocraft, thank you very much for your lurk, my friend. Please get the hell out of here if you do not want things spoiled because um. I'm having a blast. I really am. I've only been in like maybe four or five hours and yeah, it's dope as shit, man. Really cool game. Um, don't break your legs. There's a, there's a hint. Okay. I'm so fucked. <laughs> Do we know tomorrow's game? No, no, no. So Ms. Queeb and I still haven't finalized setting it up. We'll have an actual advent calendar with doors and shit and we'll, we'll open the doors live on stream there'll be there'll be giveaways and stuff we're, we're milestones to meet and meet and all the rest so well ever seen a, a sun explode shit we won't even see it down here <laughs> Hope I come back to the game. Oh, splatter cake, guaranteed. Promise. Yes. Yes, I absolutely will. I'm having I'm having such a good time. I should just take off my suit right now and be like Ah, <sighs> uh, comment bagel, thank you so much for your raid had to restart i got up to four i think for this afternoon four or five in my in my streaks uh eden streak and um i had to restart because i accidentally selected isaac and i don't think there's a way to undo that if you know of a way please let me know but i had to kill the streak very sad um yeah that was that was that you do know of a way? Oh, if you wouldn't mind letting me know, please, that's dope. If it's a mod or something, or a way we can fix that. I mean, it's it, it's fine, it was only five, but still, it would have been nice not to have to do that. Especially since I asked Ms. Quip, my wife, usually I, um, you turn off a and on a mod and it subtracts your last run and lets you continue to a new one without losing your streak. That's it? Do I have to uninstall the mod or do I have to just literally turn it off in the menu?
Somebody had mentioned that. It might have been, I think it was McLaffy Taffy, actually, who mentioned that. But I couldn't remember what he said. Could try setting it to Wombo. I'm not sure what that is either. You just go to turn one on, then off again, and it acts like you never did the run, other run. Oh my god, that's amazing. Thank you so much. Okay. I will, um, I will try to remember that. What's next? What haven't we visited yet? That little thing right there. It's on fire, so I'm sure it's safe. Maybe that's where all the, the meteors were coming from before? It actually looks that way? On second thoughts... It is a literal volcano planet, so no. Oh right! No, 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 no! We know what we have to do. Where the hell, where the hell is it again? Always get lost in space, man. There it is. Is that the thing? Uh... Well, I'm... I'm... Okay. Cool. Another thing to remember is not to fly into the sun. That's very bad. Um... Yeah. Get some food. And I know that feeling. Food is number one. We awaken again. Right. I have to figure out a way to take a picture of that planet, I guess. And, well, well not planet, but moon thing. And if we head immediately to the water planet, it should be nearby. But it looks like it's hurtling through space, so... There it is. Straight up. Right on cue. Do I want to freaking land on the shit or what? Uh, this is weird. It disappeared because I switched views, didn't I? Well, you know what? Well, look at that. Isn't that convenient? I have no idea what this thing is, but I'm going to land here nonetheless. We're back on the water planet. All right. I think I... No, the picture's still... I stopped looking at the picture, though. Damn. Okay. Well, whatever. Hello, Kumo Camp. How are you this evening? What's going on? I see stairs down. As long as we don't break our legs, I think we'll be fine. Cap up. Okay, we've got an information wall. Ah, there it is. There's a model of the of the orbiting platform. Sorry, former orbiting platform. This is it. We've finished building the final orbital probe cannon module and are ready to send it into orbit around Giant's Deep for assembly. 
why you choose this planet of any to build anything around is beyond me. Our next step will be to send Privet up to the orbital probe cannon to install the probe tracking system. To all my friends here at the construction yard, my gratitude for your tireless work. You are valued. Your family. Sorry, we cannot approve any holidays this Thanksgiving. I had given up hope, but I truly believe this cannon may actually succeed where other attempts may not have. If I know my brother, Evans, and his spouse will want to launch the probe with as much power as possible, I'm worried the cannon would break under the strain. Ah! I propose we give Evans and Mallow a slightly lower maximum power setting than the absolute maximum possible to create room for their enthusiasm. Are you going gelatinous on us, love? I am delighted by your words, but they are atypical for you. If I'm ever half as gooey as Mallow and Avon's behave together, Daz, you may launch me from the orbital probe cannon. So, it seems they launched at maximum power and stuff didn't go very well. Reminds me of that, what was the Netflix movie? It was really bad. They tried to, they made a, uh, they made a movie and tried to make it um, part of a, like a bigger movie series. I can't remember, ah, shit, what was it? Um, oh god, it, it was just weird sci-fi. It was like this dude's hand got stuck in the walls or so, I, I, I can only remember certain scenes and it was about an extra earth or an extra moon or something. Something happened. It was an event. Uh, Kumo, I'm doing very well. Thank you so much for asking. I hope I'm going the right way here, question mark. We going in the water? Yeah, what's the worst that can happen? It's not like this is a tornado planet or anything. Clover, Cloverfield. Yes. Um. Am I safe here? Yeah. Fooled your game. I'm totally safe right here. There's another portal that's active. Damn it. Oh, I can't get back over there. Cloverfield Paradox. There you go. That's it. Yep. That does keep me safe. I think. Are you coming back? You're not. Nope. Keep going. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cloverfield Paradox. That's exactly right. Control module protection stone. I have bad news, Avens. Yarrow says there was a problem with the proposed power source, so the orbital probe cannon won't be asked to fire. I hope you're pulling my locomotive limb here. Locomotive limb. I wish I were, my friend, but no, they aren't certain they can fix the problem, so the orbital probe cannon is on an indefinite hiatus. Tell Privet and Mallow they should return from the cannon. My spouse and I will remain at the construction yard for now. Uh, an update. Mallow and I will join you and Daz. Privet left to visit her brother. She feel, fears Idea may feel responsible. Five minutes and 20 seconds ago, long range probe successfully launched from the orbital probe cannon. And that's when it exploded. I love this storytelling. I, I dig it so much. All right, we're going to grab this and we're going to do a vision.
This must be the, the probe cannon, yeah? Must be. I wonder, can I interact with things here? I don't think I can. Yeah, this is the probe cannon for sure. Escape pods? No. That's what. No, that's not where the escape pods are from, surely. Yeah, Cloverfield Paradox, that's right. It was. Apparently, it was a standalone, like, relatively low ish budget sci fi film. I thought it was. It was okay, but it was weird. But then they slapped the Cloverfield name on it. And, uh. So this is number one, whatever number one is. And there's another thing over there. So we need to get here. Yeah, we need to come up here because there's two other tablets that we need to read. One's on the table and one's on that thing. Just need to figure out a way to, to get up there. That's all. Easy. I can get back to that section over there. Or the next time a tornado passes over, we'll see if this actually does a damn thing. Uh, actually, the other side. It's all in the same universe? Well, that's just it. It, it, it wasn't. They made it part of the same universe by doing reshoots that were very very badly done um and the story suffered as a result um so that's that's what uh studios will do sometimes is they'll have a movie that they'll think won't sell unless it's attached to a bigger name in this case cloverfield and uh yeah Oh, hold up. Ah, stop, jump. Get. Already holding. Just put the thing away. Drop it. Drop it. Pick up that guy. Let's have a quick run down here. Yeah, that, that movie had absolutely no business being part of that, that series. And, and even, like, I think they kind of got away with it. Because the, um, the movies are very loosely connected already, right? Like, the one with John Goodman was great. Excellent film. Um, I can't remember the name of that one. Ten, ten Cloverfield something. And, uh... See, I kind of, like, I want this lore, but I want to step in the portal as well. I think the portal will kill me again. I love standing on these magnetic things, man. Look at them lit up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, 60 seconds isn't very long, huh? Shit. Uh-oh. Brittle Hollow. Okay. Konoi Daz and I were lifting orbital probe cannon components into orbit for assembly and somehow sank down beneath the current. Something else to look at, perhaps. Konoi, you should have seen it. We thought it was impossible for any cannon components to sink even partially below the current, but ours sank straight to the core 
Cassava convinced me to try not to recreate the phenomenon myself using other cannon parts, but we're very curious to know what happened. How could something pass through the current? My gratitude for your interesting question. This is exciting. Spire constructed a model of Giant's Deep here at Brittle Hollow's Southern Observatory, which we've been to, I think. And it reveals how an object might sink below the current. I'm unable to grasp the answer by looking through the projection pool. If I visit the observatory, would you kindly explain? If you don't mind the trek beneath the surface to the South Pole. I'd be delighted to see you. There are two t trailheads, one at Brittle Hollow's Gravity Cannon and one at the Tower of Quantum Knowledge. I'm going to run out of oxygen real soon. This is freaking dope. Oh, this is inside the observatory that we can't get to yet. All right, I'm dead. Hello, home lucker. How you doing? Ran an O2. So where are we going to follow this quantum moon? I think we managed to stop it, or at the least match speed with it. Wouldn't you be pissed off doing a Groundhog Day for real, though? Like, it'd be so frustrating. I guess at the very least you'd know... Like... Who to talk to, who to not... Like, who to avoid and try not to waste time and... I don't know. I don't know, it was just... It would bother me. What is that? Oh, that's the, that's the thing. That's fine. We'll go over here, see if the moon wants to pop its head around. Hopefully I haven't screwed that up already. Ah, uh, I scuffed it already, didn't I? I think I did. Yeah, I looked at it and then I... Yeah. Oh, that's frustrating. Okay. All right, let's, um, there's still more to do here. See if we can get, uh, South Pole landing, maybe. Sun dive and restart. That's okay. You can wait. Ah, uh, home locker. Highly recommend. No shit, it did get shot into the sky. And down it goes. And down we go, apparently. Oh, that sucks. Yeah. It's all right. It's all right. Why is the poles not moving? Hello? Excuse me, sir. Excuse me, sir. Oh, my God. Help. It's like it only gives you updates when you're close enough, weirdly. This is exceedingly dangerous. 
don't don't do this at home. North and south is relative to the astral body. Wait, what's that spot there? Here we go. Here we go. Just ease it in. Oh yeah. Yep. Perfect. No sweat. Maybe let's go over back over to this thing over here. This is made for landing on. Clearly. No, that's the thing that got ejected into the sky, Quib. Alright. Insta-kill. No, wait. This is the main thing where we landed before. Look at that. Softest landing ever. I still need to know how to activate those portals, man. all the time. I dislike that how that's turned blue again, even though I have read that one. goodness I might disable my webcam real quick excuse me folks sorry about this gotta do it my nose is just way too itchy right now let's dim the lights a little bit as well oh that's so much better okay so we're waiting for Has no memory of your past lives? No, that's not true. Otherwise, it'd be consistent everywhere. Yep. Yep, we've read all of this. It's weird. Some of them lock in and stay gray. Others, seemingly not so much. I wonder, whoa, hang on. I wonder it is, is it if you die prematurely before the cycle is complete? No, nope, because we did die with the cycle after we'd read those the last time. What if they change a little bit each time? That better not be a spoiler. Snuck in the other way. No, no, that's the same. Okay, I'm going to stand here. The thing's going to... Will be in the eye of the storm, and then I guess something... I don't know. I can only speculate at this point. One's coming from behind by the looks of it. Okay, they, they're lit up, right? I'm safe while I'm in here, I assume. You know what they say about assumptions. Alright, okay, I can't even leave here.
Still powered on. What the hell? Did that actually work? Oh no, we we're still inside. And there it goes. So standing in them does nothing. Okay. The next thing, what we have to do, is look out for that floating island. Can't work out those that yet. We'll get there. We'll get there. Where was that? Does it come this way? I can't remember. Maybe it's maybe it's not a teleporter. Maybe it's a shelter. Ah, I think that might be it actually, because <laughs> we don't die when we stand in them. No, no broken bones. Where's the island, bruh? Stay up there. Not yet. I'm a little bit stuck here. There we go. The orbital rotations, the, the gravity... Like, it's a whole bunch of stuff to get used to all at once. Wait, that's... Uh, my ship. Oh, shit, I gotta go get it. <laughs> we'll just land on that other freaking ship. Plus, it's gonna be easy. What? There's another ship there! Oh, what the hell? It ain't mine. That's it there, I think. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is the one with the ghost in it, right. Landing mode. <laughs> Perfect. Does fuel restore in the ship? Uh, the ship doesn't have fuel limit as far as I'm aware. Only your suit does. It's blocking the entire path, so I can't go there yet. Uh, wait. No, that was the wrong way. How did I fall off there? The fuel restore? No, you have to touch a tank in the ship. There's a tank of, of fuel. Ah, that's why. Oh no. Oh, I'm dead again, aren't I? This happened to the same freaking location. Let's push ourselves against the wall as far as we can. Yep, just stop floating around. No bone crunching today. Everything's fine. That's it. Nice and calm. Please, 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 please. please. Damn it. Alright, but... Not bad. We actually survived that.
Oh, more ghosties. Okay, cool. Can I go? No, 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 that they, they move. They move. Well, we all learned something today. Turned it off. I didn't, uh, I didn't want to have everyone watch me scratch, scratch my nose. No, it's not fog there. It's like ghost matter. That's what they call it. Okay, this time... We look for the big blue planet. Where are you? Somewhere, somewhere, somewhere. There. And... Where are you? We lose it again? No way. I think we have to see it almost immediately, perhaps. Space is weird. Moving in a 3D space is weird. Alright, I'm going in. I'm going in hard. This is it. I'm gonna try that again this time. We got further that time. But it seems every time I get to that that one location, instantly attacked by well, um a tornado and Oh, head on with this thing, maybe? I thought I saw the other, the moon again. Should play Descent? Yeah, yeah, my early 20s just called. They want their video game back. Shit, when was Descent? Late 90s? I used to love the shit out of Descent. Um, I could I could navigate that quite easily. I watched the speedrun of it. Nearly made me sick. Like, dizzy almost instantly. It was horrifying. Is this the one? Yeah, this is it. Alright, touch him down. Do the ghosts like come for you? Do they do they seek you out? We got Mother Brain here. Um, wait. 
trip four entry number whatever crashes two boring crashes zero remember to see slate when i get back yeah all the way down to the core consider yourself conquered giants deep you just got feldsparred that was one of the more dramatic feats if i do say so myself can't believe i wasn't electrocuted ah can't wait to tell Hornfels and Gossen about this one. I guess brute force isn't always the answer. Right. So that's one more off the list. Seems like uh, all that's left is the big one now. Dark Bramble. Here I come. What the hell? That's it? Um, good. That was not a very harsh fall at all, yet still managed to get messed up and now can barely walk. Oh god. I'm going to take the ship underwater this time. That note about fallen wreckage really got me intrigued. Ah, the strong current. Right. Nothing can pass through the strong current, they said. Jellyfish can. Textures are a bit messy. Looks fucking gorgeous to me. I don't know what you're talking about. Well, up we go. Well, that's one way to get air airborne, I suppose. Nah, I ain't done. I'm going back in. I gotta land on this platform too. There's so much to do in this game. Match velocity. Ah, oh, velocity match aborted. I'll wait for next the next go round, maybe. Oh, geometry mess up. Yeah, maybe. That's a very weird planet, though. Okay, so. Lock on, and... Nah, there's no way. I can't. I can't match velocity with that. Already, I have to be going that velocity to begin with. There's another island that got launched into space. <laughs> I wish I could get an exterior view. I feel like that would be a very different experience. That's it. Keep it going. We'll get an orbit here. Some description. Hmm. How do you match the velocity of a planet? That's so funny. Where'd it go? There it is.
Oh yeah, come on. Come on, Queeb, don't fuck this up. This is very difficult, actually. Uh, we need to rotate a little. L1. We need to... No! Don't bring... Shit! Oh, no. Okay, no, we're good. Shit. Oh no, oh no, we're so close, we're so close. I think it, I think it decays, I think the orbit decays. Come on, Tars. I just gonna I'm gonna have to wing this. We, we crashing. I think we're crashing. Pretty damn good to me. My ship is not secure, but we're out. We're good. I don't think I'm meant to be here. <laughs> no, it would have it would have flipped me already to be oriented the correct way if I was meant to be here. So that's the cannon part, clearly. What if we try getting up on the top there? Uh, rip my ship, I guess. Here we go, look at that. That's more like it. Alrighty. Mm, this looks like a launch tube. We've been in something similar before. So now there should be a door somewhere. Nope, that's the lock. There we go. Aha. Uh -huh. Ship lock log updated. Cool! It was worth it. Control module. Ah. Launch module and probe tracking. Let's try probe tracking for nope, there's nothing left. Okay. Eh. Nothing left there either. I can launch my probe down there though. Yeah, it looks badly broken, huh? Alright. That just leaves control module. Oh, that's where I came from. Is 
No, that's where I came from. Okay, so control module it is. This ship is really sophisticated. It has um, uh, two functions. Aha. Uh -huh. Sick. Giant's deep projection stone. No, give me that back. So we want to do a couple of things here. We're going to see what was said about it. Our bad news, Evans Yarrow says, there was a problem with the proposed power source, so the orbital probe cannon won't be asked to fire. I hope you're pulling my... Oh, we've read this. Tell Privet and Mallow they should return. Yep, we have read that. So I wonder if this just shows me the other... where we were on Giant Steep. Don't do that. Oh my god. Yep. Sure does. Okay. And the other one was on the table over here. Launch module. Mallow, my better 50%. Cassava is sending the last of the cannon components. Soon, relatively speaking, we'll know the eye's precise location. Cassava tells me he and the construction yard crew have determined the power setting. We are not under any circumstances to go above. I see. And am I right to think that consequently we'll be ignoring that sending? I can posit with nearly 100% certainty our friends have accounted for our nature, so I suggest we do. <laughs> Uh, giving the orbital probe cannon all the power it can structurally withstand creates the greatest chance of finding the eye of the universe. Yes, the probe must travel as fast as it can. As far as it can. I'll make some adjusting. Oh no. Veil vale Chipper, thank you very much for the raid. Hello everybody. The thought of concluding our elders' curious and challenging search increases my heart's temperature, my love. You done goofed. So this is... This seems to be... Well, this is, yeah, this is the control module. So this is on the other side that we cannot see, right? I can't take a photo. There is a floating tablet in there. How do I get that? Wait, that's number one. We've had that before, I think. Another one on the bench. Or is this a different time? I still haven't figured out these these visions we can get. Oh, that's convenient. Oh, hell yeah. What does this do? Let's send it back to the middle first. Wait. That... Hold up a second. 16 minutes, 44 seconds ago. Request to launch probe received from Ash Twin Project. Cannon aligned with randomly selected probe trajectory. Gravity field activated. Oh, I think the ship is long gone. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's the sand twin, right? Yes, that's the sand twin after the sand is gone. Okay. Next. That's the probe, the one I chased before that did nothing and then the ship broke up. Orbital probe, probe cannon, launch request receive 
probe launch successful, probe tracking module receiving data from probe, orbital probe cannon structure compromised during launch, damage to multiple modules detected. No shit. And this is the leftover parts. Yes. Damage report. Sever severe structural stress detected. Assessing damage to modules. Intact. Control module. No structural damage. That's where we are right now. Launch module. Viewport window fractured. Module exposed to vacuum. Probe tracking module missing. Interesting. Okay, so that's just... That's just lore, though, right? It's more to do with the twins. It's gotta be. Something to do with the twins. I think we're done here, though. Although... Um, no ship kinda makes that a problem. Whoa! Okay, relax. Just feather it, just feather it, it's okay. That's the broken one we can't get to. Whoops. Settle down. I still want to try, like, I don't know if we can do more with our, with our little probe thing. Because we can send it in there. That's literally where we just were? No, that's, wait. No, definitely not. That's busted. Aha! Hold up a second. We might still be able to get there, though. It's exposed to the vacuum of space, right? And now we, too, are exposed to the vacuum of space. Let me out. Uh, which one would that be? This section? That's the one that's intact. Um, there'd be one completely missing. Oh no. Oh no. Not yet. Give me like, give me, give me 30 seconds. Oh no. This is a problem. And the sun's about to go uh, kaboom. Uh, I believe the kaboom would be also earth shattering. Oh shit. I'm... I'm gone. I can't get back. Oh man. Can I float there? Oh no way. Can I actually float there? Music, music's playing. Can we get in here? Ah! We absolutely can. What do I need to do in here? Quick. Think about it, because I'm about to choke out. No, don't need that. Probably need this real quick. My better 50%. Reddit, Reddit, get rid of it. Probe tracking module, yes. Probe tracking module be the first you know the coordinates of the IR universe. 
I'm honored and terrified. You won't ask what crown on you so much power it breaks, will you? Fret not, my nervous friend, orbital program with structural integrity. Uh oh. Probe tracking module is destroyed. Splatter cake, that's the second time you've told me, I know. I did. I asphyxiated. Better way to go, in my opinion. Well, no. I think that would be actually really fucked up. <gasps> Interesting. Does the protagonist gasp for air every time? this freaking moon why is it not appearing anymore the moon pops out from the right side why not so cool all right where to next where have we not been we've been to the bramble um there's other moons right around uh god what was that thing called hollow brittle hollow and i'm sure we have to do more there timber hearth there was nothing at all on Brittle Hollow. Hold up. The interloper. Engage autopilot. Let's go. Hold up. Wait. That's it. That's the, that's the thing. Don't you go anywhere, you. Stop. Home locker, absolutely. Yeah, please do. Don't uh, don't get it ruined for you if it's the first time you're seeing this.
Yep, it's very easy to overshoot stuff and to... Alright, now what do we do? Scout error. Let's send it straight down. Oh. Okay. Make sure we keep a picture of it. I don't know how it ended up over there. I must have looked at it and it teleported. Like, do we just go in? I don't know, that seems such a bad idea. Oh shit. Okay, yep, it's... yep, cool. We could? Do we... do we... yeah! Easy. I'm not even stable. Still not stable. That's fine. Everything's good. Unidentified signal. There's my probe. Hello, probe. <gasps> Fuck is this? It's it's one of the it's one of them. Oh, they look like ancient big daddies. Quantum Moon. Booyakasha. That's another jellyfish. So we've got... <gasps> no! It's the, the probe ship. This is fucking badass. Oh, snap. Okay, I get it. Guess we ain't done after all. Right. That's my ship. I should probably repair it. It looks kind of busted. Perfect. Like nothing ever happened. Isn't that cool? That's so fucking cool. All right, but that's not what I'm looking for. I am looking for... The... Uh, be careful. That, I guess. It had a front door. Don't take your eyes off it, Queeb. Have I learned anything about quantum? In real life? N no. <laughs> and the lights turn on. Okay.
Oh, hold up. You've recalled the rule of quantum imaging. Recall the rule of quantum entanglement. Recall the rule of the sixth location. Ah, so there's a few things that I don't know yet. location quantum entanglement quantum imaging and the sixth location so this is the hour the twins this is our planet that is the moon of our planet, I think. That's the water planet. That's the bramble. And I guess that's the sun. One, two, three, four, five, six. Everything's a hexagon. These pictures don't really give. Oh, that actually looks like that cave we tried to get into on the twins. A lot more to do on the twins, I think. Okay, well, we're gonna... I'm gonna keep a photo handy. If we can find that ship again, there it is. At the very least, jump inside. Ah, shit. It's fine. I am here after watching it wander the skies for so long. I'm about to stand for the first time on the quantum moon. Oh, so this is the ship. Oh. This is the one that was launched. God, it, where was that even launched from? I can't even remember. As expected, shuttle has landed at the moon's south pole. I will make the remainder of my journey on foot. We don't know why the quantum moon always welcomes its visitors at the south pole. Just that this is, this is true. As a child, I considered such unknowns sinister. Now... Though I understand they bear no ill will, the universe is, and we are. I am ready. This scares me, because the last time we did that, we just took off. Um... I don't really want to take off yet. I am not ready. How about we go to the North Pole? Seems to have some massive structure. Rock-like. Somewhat entangled. Possible entry from the upper segment. Surrounded by sharp ramble like objects This is either a different dude. What the fuck? Look at that. I exited and came back. We're at the South Pole.
Dude's seen better days for sure. This is an extremely small moon. I could walk around it in like a minute. There's my ship. Oh, we have something. That's... Ah. Uh, right, my ship is busted. Can I repair that? Port thruster bank. Wait, why is it all broken again? Different, different parts are broken. This is such an event horizon vibe, dude. Oh, it's almost like it brought the ship here of its own accord. I guess I, uh, should I launch out of here? Uh, that's pointless now. Put that away. Possible something quantumed into it. Yeah, actually, that's that's a viable, a viable possibility. Very freaking small, man. Yeah, everything's relocating as soon as you're not looking at it, so... I wonder if that's difficult for programmers to code, because that's actually how they make... ...games function... ...efficiently in the first place. I wish I could do something here. There's no interaction. Yeah, quantum moon. Definite, definitely the quantum moon. We know that. Am I familiar with Creepy Watson? No, I haven't heard that term before. Alright, I'm going to launch... I'm going to launch away. We, we landed on it. That's cool. I feel like we're making decent strides, even though... Um, even though we haven't really solved anything. I don't know which one to choose here. Let's go. Let's go left. All right, that didn't seem to do anything. Ship log updated. That ported us to... No way, this is the probe? Holy shit, that's huge. Uh, where are we? Where are we? We're back here. Do you mean to say that we could have come come to the thing a lot sooner? That's the second time that's happened.
I'm going to take some of our newfound knowledge and run around here for a bit if we can't come up with something new. A Sherlock Holmes game series where Watson didn't exist until you look behind you. So it would appear randomly. So oh, right. Try the model ship. It's very weird not controlling it from first person now. <laughs> Perfect landing. Wait a minute. Hang on. Yeah, it's very weird. It almost bounces off the ground too. I have no sense of distance. Ah, oh, there we go. We can kind of see where it is. What I'd like to do is lift it up and see if we can smash that. There's got to be something else we can do here. <laughs> Big miss. Straight up, perfect. Can I smash it with this? I wonder. God oh, damn, I'm rubbish. All right, well, never mind. So nobody remembers anything, but we have considerable tools that are our disposal now oh i don't even have my camera thing all right there's nothing down there anyway i wonder if this could be a route no way all right suit's so a bit important I'll grab my suit, we'll come back. <sighs> it's a nice little touch when you uh, drown or, or run out of O2. I didn't think I was going to enjoy this. Again, because I, I, I got the outer worlds and the outer wilds mixed up and it's... This is dope as hell, man. This isn't the same shit, you know what? I think it is. I think it's all part of the same underground network. Yep. 
Yep, I actually think it is. I'm still looking for that dude. Oh, that's the way in. Okay. He gave up because he didn't like the flight controls. Ah, oh, that's gonna happen. I gave up on Demon Souls. Um, because I didn't understand it at the time. The gameplay simply didn't make sense. And I died over and over and over again. So this just, this loops around in a cycle, in a circle. We know that. I've done this many times now. But yet I'm still looking for a harmonica player. Directly beneath us, 315 meters away. Sure, but that's the entire cons conceit of Demon Souls? Well, no, but I mean, like... I... I... Going back to it, I didn't give it enough of a chance, and I recognize that. Had I have done so, I would have stuck with it, and... And it's one of the greatest games of all time, in my opinion. Alright, so that's the way in, I think. We can't get a planetary map, can we? No, it's only... Only galaxy-wide. Yeah, that's the way in. Two hundred and fifty-two meters is so freaking close, man. After closer observation, mining site two A. Blah 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 blah. Yeah, okay, we have read that for sure. You give it a seven half out of ten. And then we're back here, and this is directly underneath. So yeah, I don't, I don't know. How do we break through? There has to be a way. Um, this is gonna go up again. Crystal geyser, please. Oh yeah, that's high. Oh yeah. Twenty eight meters that way. Two eighty, two seventy, two sixty. Is he just, like, blowing on it constantly? He's dead, isn't he? This is an apparition. 220? Alright, we're getting close. We've got a little bit of a river here. Let's follow the river for a bit.
175, slowing down a bit. Means we're probably passing over the top of him. the drummer on a different planet 160 okay getting further away we are essentially directly on top of him wait that's the Seventy one meters, okay. Wait a minute. This whole time Okay, so he's inside there. Or this creepy alien thing did a did a body snatchers and fucking ugh. Is that dark bramble seed? Yes, I think so. My signal scope is picking up a harmonica. Inside the seed? Huh? Don't know what to tell you there. The only harmonica player I know of is Feldspar, and they disappeared ages ago. Yeah, dude. Think about it. Listen here, don't go telling Nice about the harmonica music. They'll never let me get rid of the darn seed if they suspect any it has any musical talent. Last seed did a lot of damage. Oh really? Who the fuck is Nice? How do I get there? Ship log updated. That's really important. I can't believe it was here this whole time and I've been underground swimming trying to find it. How dope would it be to see actual galaxies so close? Looks like the Southern Cross right there. There's too much else to do. Uh, we should probably go back to the observatory. And check out the, the teleporting rock. And there was another teleporting rock too, right? Grove shard. Unknown, 49 meters. Wait, wait just a minute. Okay, there it is. So if I... Take a picture of it. Still there, baby. So we still don't know how to open the... Something to do with the anglerfish as well. Yep, still there. Unidentified signal nearby. Museum show. I didn't even recognize. I did. I haven't. I haven't ID'd that one. Wow. Okay. Idiot. Uh, 
Um, where's my ship, please? I'm gonna need it. What did you learn at the Bramble Seed? Just that there's harmonica is coming from that. And we're not supposed to talk to Nice about it. I wanted to go back into my ship and read the ship's logs first. It's going to be so much. Oh yeah, Sunless City. Still need to get there. Church Camp. More to explore there. Such a workshop. I can see into a large cave from one of the ruins on top of the island. The bottom of the cave is filled with water. Hmm. Hello, Sparky Jewel. Live after nine hours? Yeah. Yeah, that's... That's pretty common. I usually go 10 to 12 a day. Alright, we're heading straight back there. Straight in. Straight in the drink. There's my, there's my buddy Moon, my quantum Moon. What's up, pal? Well, don't bounce up. What? It's a little crazy, as long as you're doing well. Yeah, I'm doing great. Thank you for asking. Bounced off the uh, off the atmosphere. Twelve hundred meters a second. Thirteen. Can we hit fourteen? Oh no, I'm gonna do it again. Oh Jesus fucking Christ! <laughs> All right. Autopilot it is.
So this isn't the other one that we were supposed to go to, but... Um, I think there's more to do here as well. We know what these are for now. They're to protect us from... The high pressures of, uh, of a tornado, like this one incoming, for example. We just simply stand here and uh, we'll end up off better than these two right here. Makes total sense. I thought they were freaking elevators or something. Yeah, I think there's more to do on this side. Maybe underneath where we are. Is that a cave? Mm, no. What? What? I want to. I want to go down. I know this might be very dangerous. I want to go down. Nope, the current's got me. Alright, I get it, I get it. Bad current, got it. Ow. We got all the info from here, even from the other side. And this only has stuff to do with uh, the the launch machine. Oh my goodness! I don't even know. I don't even know where I am. You're gonna you're gonna make me. All right, really high grav, got it. No, okay, so I think I think we are actually done here. But that other one, I still don't know how to get into the little the the little secret part. been there we've done that that teaches you about quantum photography this is fine that's the ghost island right yep we got that one did that are we back here already? These planets are so tiny. It's so weird. Hold up. What the hell is this? I'm a little bit... ...upsided. Uh, get more gas. Unidentified signal nearby? You betcha. Oh, 
Oh, it's a, it's a guy. It's a somebody. Oh my god. Nice. It's you. Good. Let's see you made it here in one piece. The first solo launch is a doozy, isn't it? Hey, don't freak out or anything, but lately I keep, like, dying repeatedly. I don't know. It's pretty wild. What about you? No, it's me too. We're in a time loop. <laughs> so casual. Time has been behaving unusually lately. Yeah, in a time loop makes sense. Cool. You're taking this pretty well. Yeah, right back at you. Personally, I like new experiences and I've never been in a time loop before. I mean, I don't think I've been in a time loop before this one. It looks like you and I are the only ones who can tell that time's gone weird. I tried radioing Hornfels and asking if they died too, but they thought I was being metaphorical. Even if I tell Hornfels about Time Loop, they'd never remember by the next one. They don't realize anything's different. And here's another weird one for you. Every time I die, all of my memories from that loop replay back for me. I'm pretty sure that's related to this big stone Nomai statue I found on one of the other islands. I was looking at it, and the statue opened its eye and started glowing. It replayed my memories like I'd seen them through my own eyes, just like what happened each time I die. That happens to me with the statue of the museum. You too, huh? And then my statue must have something to do with why we're the ones aware of the time loop. So, no glowing statue, no time loop awareness. I think that's going to be my leading theory, but if you find out anything new about the statues or the time loop, let me know. I'll be here. Anyway... What's new with you? But hey, this is your first solo voyage, kind of. Let's talk about you, you know. I found something nice. What you got for me? I found out what happened to the orbital probe cannon. The cannon breaking apart at the start of each time loop? For real? Did you figure out why? Too much power. It's kind of scary how much that sounds like something Slate or Feldspar would do. I'm pretty surprised the Namaya built something that actually broke. Come to think of it though, broke might be the wrong word because it looks like the orbital probe cannon is still firing successfully at the beginning of each time loop. That's an interesting note. If you've watched the cyclone for so long it started to hypnotize you, I'm telling you, they put it at you in a trance if you stared at it long enough. I found something. Quantum poem. Yeah, the one in the woods. I remember writing that. Pretty fun, right? It works out to a good 24 poems. Wait, what? I can't remember where we saw that. It's the four planks of wood. If you take four numbers, one, two, three, four, and you... How many, how many possible combinations do you have? I wonder if the words change or if the, the order changes. 24? For real? There you go. Mind-blowing. When I'm done exploring, I want to make some more quantum art. Maybe some kind of creature, sculpture, just uh, that just like shows up and scares the daylight. Oh, good. Okay, so that's all we found so far. Where should I explore Giant Steep? I keep seeing a bright flash in the sky. Something must be happening up there in orbit around the planet. What? We literally just had that conversation. Obviously, you're talking about... Digital Dumber, that was, um... That song was, uh... A, a very frequent at my school dances. Have you been to Statue Island? That's what I've been calling it, seeing it as the island where I found the glowing to my statue. Get it? I was on the beach on Statue Island when the whole glowy business happened, by the way. It's a nice beach for that kind of thing. Give us all 7 out of 10 on the Gabbo relaxation scale if you like checking out statue island it's the one with two islands connected by a natural rock arch 
well, mostly connected. Anyway, you'll see. Where's your ship? Okay, we found his ship. Now we know who it belongs to. Cool. So I, I should have probably, I, I like, came come out here a lot sooner to find this dude. And... Still unidentified signal nearby. Uh-huh. Scared the absolute shit out of me. One sec. We didn't identify him in the scope. Oh, no shit. Okay. Okay, that's my... This is bad. I'm just gonna wait right here. Nothing bad will happen to me here, obviously. I've had my, um, when Ms. Queeb was in the same room, I, I turned on my noise reduction thingy. And, um, that the battery on my headphones just ran out and it just scared the shit out of me. And now my ears feel funny because of the pressure differential. I, I love it. I love the, the noise reduction. I have the Sony XM4s. I really like them. Uh, a lot of audio files don't think they're very good. Um, I had the Beats uh, Studio 3s, I think, before that. I would go back to a pair of Beats to use on a like on my MacBook, for example. Um, I, I, I just like them. I think they're comfortable. Um, yeah, but now my, now my head feels like it's floaty. I don't know about damage to ears. It's just, it's negative frequencies, right? Opposite frequencies played back, some, something like that. Uh, okay. My ship got moved ever so slightly. Oh, we're about to die. Let's outrun a supernova instead. How's that sound? Uh, take that back. It's still volume, it's just high frequency, you can't hear it. Really? I've, I've never understood the technology, really. Okay, where, where to next? There's still a ton we need to do on... The twins, both before the sand moves over and after. Let's see what the ship says now. Let's just go through captain's log. Lounging in a hammock. Found an Amai statue on another island. The statue's eyes started glowing. Oops. Remembers dying. They saw their memories. Blah, blah, blah. Only one's aware we're in a time loop. There's more to explore here. I still need to get in to that. Oh, man. How do I do it? So anything with a little orange marker is... Um, this island must be where the Namai 
creature statues like the one in our observatory I found in my statue lying on the beach. It looks like the other one in our observatory. Wait, I did? That, that is, that's the one. That's the one we need to get in. I just don't know how to do it. All right. Statue workshop. Got it. That's where we're going. velocity today just go straight in why are you oh i'm pressing right trigger like i'm driving a freaking car wrong Okay, so we're looking for, yeah, the Namai Islands. That's his island. Uh, nope, not that one. it yes is there an easier place to land oh maybe in here maybe in here the ship can't be harmed who knows who knows I won't go flying away This game is so freaking awesome. I'm still very surprised I haven't picked it up up until now. Terra Kittens, what's up? 12 months subscribed. Thank you so much. How's your day going? Hope you're doing really well. Many more years? Here's hoping. Here's hoping. As long as, uh, as, long as Ms. Queeb doesn't kill me along the way, I think we'll be, I think we'll be just fine. <laughs> she was on stream a little bit earlier. Maybe it's down here? in there. Nope. That's where we came from. Let's read the message again. They're going to test the memory statues tonight. Block says it could be dangerous so we can't come. Right. But what if we didn't use the door and snuck in the other way? Does anyone want to? I really want to see the test too, Lemmy, but that's a huge risk to take. We'll probably, we probably shouldn't. Maybe Flox will let us see a later test. 
block specifically told us not to do that. Exciting day ahead. That is dope. I hope whatever it is you're doing is amazing. There's some of those circles down there as well. What about under the... That's the one thing we haven't tested is under. Like there's no way to get there from the surface, I don't think. I guess we go under. Maybe I should wait for a tornado first though. The sound design is really great in this. Although, if we're underwater, we should be fine? Question mark? I don't know. Wait, let's check up here real quick. That's coming in, isn't it? Just when you think they're coming towards you, they, they turn away. So this is another portal device, right? But it's not active. And it doesn't seem... Ugh. ...to be any way too activated. Giant Steep, friends. I'm excited for you to meet the statues. Not my dwelling, like in my workshop below, blah, blah, blah. Oh, he's coming in. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. He's coming straight for me. Oh my god. <laughs> that ain't good. Oh, that's really fucking bad. That's really, really bad. Wait, is the thing powered up? Oh. It's hard to tell what's going on. It's like the... Was that powered up for a second? Yeah, Terra Kittens, like everybody that's been coming in tonight has said either, oh my god, I'm so glad you're playing this, or I have to go, I'm sorry. Um, I don't want to get it spoiled for me. It's really good. I can't... The story's huge. The exploration is vast. Okay, well, we're pretty badly injured right now. So I'm going to, I'm going to go under. I have a feeling that might have activated it. I mean, I know it activates the security things, but. Okay. Nope. Down we go. We're going down. Nothing down here. Damn it. That 
That's my ship on that side. Oh, don't touch the current. Current bad. Okay, I think I think it has to be that one section. Although right now I don't know if I can get back there. If I'm too badly injured, it's yeah. What the? F Wait, what? Now you just wait a goddamn minute. How? There's the head. Okay. So, I... I yep. Mm hmm Meant to do that. That was blind fucking luck. No idea how I did that. Yarrow, would you kindly step back so Daz is closest to the statue when pairing? The statue will choose whoever is in closest proximity. Phlox, see how its eyes have opened? That tells us the statue is paired with Daz now. No matter where he is in the star system, Daz's statue will record his memories and send, send them to the Ash Twin Project. This is extraordinary sculpting work, Phlox. Has, he has outdone himself again, hasn't he? And now that we have our first successful pairing, we can test my memory storage prototype. Each statue will send a single Nomai's memories to his or her own storage unit within Ash Twin. Each storage unit will be equipped with a mask, the statue's counterpart, which will be able to send those stored memories back to the corresponding Nomai. statue. Uh, I don't know what that's supposed to represent. Memories? I don't know. What did I do, Splatter Cake? I found a cave. We found the, um, the, uh, what do you call it? The statue, the statue cave underneath the, the bit I couldn't get in before. I found it by mistake. I still don't know how I did it. Ash twin projection stone. We may have already seen this. I've installed the masks inside the ash twin project. They look beautiful, although I do feel as though I'm being observed. It's comforting to know the statues will not pair until the project succeeds. Otherwise, I imagine the experience would be hard to endure. Ideally, they'll only need to activate once the project succeeds as a safety measure. However, the statues will also activate in the event of an equipment failure. Will they? Why is that? If anything goes wrong with the Ash Twin project, the statues and their masks will make us aware of the situation and enable us to fix it. Otherwise, it would be possible for us to remain permanently unaware of the problem. I hadn't thought of that. What a profoundly horrific fate that would be. Don't ask me how physics work inside a cave.
It's a lot of water, okay? So if we take the projection stone, dump it over here. Oh, we're back here again. Still only three lit up though. Oh shit, I'm in another tornado. Oh fuck. So those three masks lit up. Yeah, not that doesn't make a lot of sense to me. Okay, we still need to get over there, and there's no way I can... Jump up there? Not, not with the gravity of this planet, no way. So how then? The slowly dropping oxygen bar? Oh! Don't worry about it. Trees will refill your oxygen. And something else will take it out even quicker than that. So don't even worry about it. <laughs> it's usually not a thing. It's, it's usually fine. No, there's no way we can get over there. Yeah, if you walk near a tree, it refills your oxygen. Very advanced technology. Okay, a little bit problematic, yes. Um, well, I can quickly go out back out to my ship I guess can I heal myself at all no I guess I guess healing Healings for the Boyds. Wait, first aid. Look at that. Perfect. Full health. I need one of those wall walking things, don't I? We don't have that tech. That's like the only way I'm going to get up there, I think. Unless I can... Oh, hang on. Nah, no way. Not possible. The gravity's far too high here. Uh, can I... Okay, here's a question. Bad shot. I landed straight on it. Good shot. <laughs> nope. God damn. 
Nah, there's no way. Oh! I do know how to get over there. Very dangerous. Are you seriously sending another one? No way. I'm curious, is sending a being's memories back in time the same as sending the being itself back in time? As an example, if we were to send my memories back in time, is that the same as sending me back? Not my physical body, but my essence. I imagine they're two different actions. Wouldn't both actions be effectively the same? Suppose that time was being rewritten. I believe this is different than receiving memories from what is effectively the future. But isn't the end result identical in either case? Okay, well, we've, we've cleared this section... I think we're done here. Hey, Steak Jones. What's up, dude? Okay, so we've, we've done that. Statue workshop complete. What else is done? What's this? Gabros Island. More to explore here on Gabros? Really? Alright then. Back to Gabros Island, I suppose. Just gotta find the damn thing. Gabbro's Island just got taken away by a tornado. He's an island boy. This is my favorite part.
Something you've been doing lately is when someone asks how you're doing, you should usually give a number between 1 and 10 without explanation. Anyone who hasn't heard you do it usually catches on in about 30 seconds. I'm a 6 today and most days. It's a good way to actually express how you are without an entire conversation. I completely disagree. I think it's a bullshit way to talk to somebody. Like, there's an expectation that they're supposed to know what you're talking about, but they catch on? That's really fucking pretentious. Did you just say six? And then walk away? <laughs> it's fucking weird, dude. <laughs> All right, uh, back to the water planet again. Seems my entire life revolves around this water planet. That's a, that's a different story. That's a different story. If you have that communication expectation set up with someone, I, that, I, that I can get behind. That's fine. Um, it's like when Ms. Ms. Queeb asked me, you know, how bad's my headache? She wants a number because that helps her help me, right? Um... Yeah. Where's your island, bro? But if, at the same time, if you don't want to have that conversation with someone, then just say good and be done with it. Like... Landing mode. That was a landing. And I get, I get wanting to streamline communication. Um, I, I understand that. That's, that's very, that I know, I know somebody who would actually think like that. Um, it's a very interesting, interesting thing. We still don't know how to deal with ghosts, do we? Not at all. So there's still more to explore here, and I assume they mean through the ghost tunnel of death. Which I assume kills me instantly. Yeah, like, because my, my headaches, they're all fucking severe. If I'm being honest, they're really fucking bad. Most of them take me off my feet. But, if it's a three to four, I can still walk around the house. Right? If it's a seven, I, I, gotta, I gotta lie down. If it's a ten, I should probably be in hospital. more to explore. I mean, we didn't have our marshmallow, did we? Gotta have our marshmallow. I like them crispy. It's good. What happens if we doze off? By the way, just took my mask off. Weird. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, so we can actually manually pass time. Okay, good to know. Uh, bad. Real bad. Okay, I'm going to die. That's my ship. 
Can I get back in my ship, maybe? Oh, that'd be dope if I could. <laughs> Quick, get in the pilot seat. I think I might have gone a little bit too high. But that's fine. Better than being dead. And not too far away either. Meanwhile, dude is probably still on his fucking hammock. Lazy prick. I thought another one just got us. Oh, shit. Okay. So we... So the only thing we have is the ghost tunnel. I gotta test. I gotta go through the ghosts. I, I have to. I don't know how much damage they do. Wait. Nope, still there. But what's on the other side? Like, can't I just fly there? Surely we can. There's another island. Well, to stick on a on a log. I saw daylight on the other side, so why not just fly there? I got to assume the ghosts are insta-kill. Got to. But at the same time, I need to know. Oh, yeah. What are ghosts? They're, um... I guess just barriers of, of like ooze that you cannot pass without that happening. Yeah, Stake Tones, everyone, everyone tonight has been really excited that I'm playing this. Um, and I am adoring it right now. Okay, so the, on the only other option is potentially finding the landing site. What the fuck was that? You see that? Potentially finding the landing site. Um, uh, manually. And just literally dumping my ship on the other side. Maybe. I've I've given up a couple of ships tonight in the in the interest of exploration. Oh, look at that. Drop straight fucking down. Let's have a look here. Unless I'm mistaken, unless it's just a little area. Wait, wait. Nope, there's nothing. Hold up. No, 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 that is the other side. Hello, Jofton. How you doing? Great to see you, man. It's funny that you came from the Noita video. Noita is one game we're actually pay playing again for this event. On Christmas Day, of all things.
that that green stuff there that's ghosts Ah, oh, thank you, Terra Kittens. That's very nice of you, man. Okay, so that's a nothing burger. That's just a... If you go this way, you fucking die. Can we even see through? Virtually. Looking for some Noita runs? Uh, well... On Christmas Day, <laughs> come back. I usually stream for around um, 6 p.m. ish Pacific, which is around 10 hours ago. But I do stream for a long time too. So what else is there to find on this planet? This one I've been to. Yep, we've done that, I think. Yep. Done that little thing. Uh, I've done that one. Done that one. I don't think there's anything more to do there. Um, this is the southern... Or the northern... Hole. Am I dead? Oops. No. Sit back down. Sit your butt down. I need to be in the upper. So we go to the North Pole. And yoink. So we've done this though. We've done this. Come on, dude. Out. That was a tree. Perfect. I don't think I can learn anything more here. Maybe. No, 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 no. Hang on, hang on. It takes a while to go through that. And we've done it. And it's fucking pretty tricky too. Where's my ship computer? Gabaros Island. It says there's more on that freaking island. Lounging in a hammock. Found a statue on another island. Blah, blah, blah. Done that. Remembers dying. Seem to be the only ones. There's more to explore here. Fucking lies. We do have to go back to the orbital fucking... Oh, God. Okay, well, it's time to ditch another ship. This is very difficult. What we're about to... What we're about to do here is very difficult. You'll see why. First of all, I need to locate a certain something. Nope, I don't want to go back down. Damn it. There it is. 
There it is. Oh, okay. Maybe not. Okay, that's about as smooth as it gets. Okay. Well then. I do not want to go that way. I want to go... I gotta remember now. It was the one that was cracked, right? Is that this one? No, that's the one that's intact. It's on the other side. There it is. Oh god, don't go, don't you go too far away. So this thing's orbiting the planet at very high velocity. Ow. Where's the, where's the cracked freaking window that's cracked? There it is. Okay. What we need to do, very calmly. I have to, I have to rewatch all, all these movies. I got to rewatch, um, Arrival, um... What's the Matthew McConaughey one? Got to rewatch that. Um, Interstellar. I just love that shit, dude. Okay. So what am I missing from here? Something on... Ah. Something on the roof, which looks like it's completely shattered to shit. So maybe nothing. Let's grab these. Control module. Uh, control module's fine. That's not the concern. Let's take this over to the script wall, though. Yep, we read this. Yep, 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 yep. Tr probe tracking module, right. But that puts us in the room. Uh, what? I'm sorry, excuse me. I wasn't expecting that at all. Probe tracking module was completely destroyed. So where the hell is it? Probe tracking module will be the first to know the coordinates of the eye of the universe. You'll be the first to see them. I am honored and terrified. Orbital probe cannon. So much that it breaks, will you? Fret not, my nervous friend. We only need to fire the probe once anyway, so who minds if it compromises the orbital probe handle's structural integrity slightly? I would mind, because we won't... 
incapable of receiving our probe's data if the probe tracking module is destroyed. Okay, what am I what am I missing here? Can we No, I can't land on this surface at all, can I? No, I'm flying here. Can't land. Which means this thing's completely busted. See if we can find the ball. I I think the ball is long gone. Yeah, this is blowing my mind right now. I gotta see that again. Is there anything that gives it away? The only other time I've seen that blue lightning is at the very center of... the ocean planet. Which... Actually, that would make sense when you think about it, since it's the closest planet. However, there's rocks and what seems to be bramble around. That's definitely a, another teleport entrance, I think. No, that's, that's literally the broken piece. What the fuck? So all the rooms are facing the same way, relatively speaking. What is this? It's a mailbox. Okay. Now. Now just don't fly too far away. It is completely trash, the third module, right? Completely gone. Yes. Is there anything in, in the pipe? Oh, okay, that just puts us back into... Yeah, 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 I know where that puts us. We got it. Don't you worry about it. It's fine. Actually, Queeb, is it fine? Um, because we didn't take that entrance in. I'm gonna die. Crap. One second. How do I go have energy to watch other people's streams after mine? I, I use other streams to unwind. That's that's my relaxation time right there. I usually, honestly, I don't stick around too long unless I'm going straight to sleep and I have them on as I fall asleep. Like, physically, I'm tired, and I'm hungry. Um... But no, I'll, I'll go get a snack, and then I'll hang out with whoever it is that I'm watching. Probably Hollow or, or, um, Laffy Taffy most nights. And then, uh... Wait, how the fuck do I get back out of here? Nope. It's the broken one. There we go. And then, um, then I'll go get ready for bed and I'll keep their channel running on my phone and I'll go to sleep. That's it. Fuel level critical says, says the game, whatever. 
Whatever. Where's your fuel level now? Love it you see pop in on dance streams. I love that dude. <laughs> He's so fucking weird. It's awesome. Alright, so this is the bramble thing. This is like a dead former planet or whatever. It's like an alien planet. Again, very spirits within if you've seen the Final Fantasy movie. I don't think anything is there. We can land on it, but there's nothing to do there. Like, it is literally dead. It's just chunks of ice and... Chunks of ice and root. I want to land on that, though. That... Now that, I have not been to, but that's going awfully quick. It's just like Armageddon. Just go in behind the comet, land two ships, and yeah, piece of cake. When do you feel like a boarding autopilot? Yeah, that's what I thought. Now let's have a quick look. Anything on here? Maybe that's like another piece of... Uh, we gotta land and take a look, yeah? Just easy. Pop it down, drop a nuke, lift off. Gotta be honest, I'm pretty proud of that. Now I wonder if there's something down that giant chasm. I might find out sooner rather than later. <laughs> Let's see what it's made of. Literal ice. Okay, we're... I believe I'm skating right now. Yeah, this is kind of fun. How's the sun looking? Ah, oh, you know. Dying. Alright, this is freaking cool. I love the sound it's making. Uh... Okay, that's on a collision course for the sun. I didn't realize that at the time. I was just having fun skating around. Okay, okay, that's fine. I guess we have to go back to the, the twin planets, huh? There's so much to do there. 
It's just a constant cycle of getting into a spaceship and taking off again. Give it another go. Uh, by the way, Alex, how uh, how close is Dan to getting getting his uh, hundred percent his completion? There is the platform around the sun too. Have we figured out how to get there? No, we haven't. Because the gravity of the sun just says yoink. 23 unlocks until the end of the year. What's what's some of the what's the highlights of some of the ones he's got left? I, I, you must be able to get on it, right? Like, sure, I'm sure the sun has, like, tons of gravity and stuff. T. Jacob, T. Lost. He's leaving T. Lost for last. Okay. I didn't hate T. Lost. Um, but fair. Like all of the all of the stuff. Okay, we gotta line up here. This is gonna be super tough. It's only like a billion degrees, no sweat. It's fine. Okay, looks like we're going around this way. Nope, 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 that's real bad. That's 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 bad. Thrust like you've never thrusted before. That's what she said. <sighs> There's no way. There's no way you can do that. But it's got... I've seen the platform. It's got a little... It's got a landing pad on it. Do I just have to crash into it? <laughs> Come on, we gotta be going faster than that. Nah, there's no way. I need a supercomputer to calculate this. We'll wait for another trip around. Hello, Kiat. Thank you so much for saying welcome to the stream. Good to have you here. Look at that. That's the thing. Not your first rodeo, huh? Okay. Oh, fuck. I want to match the velocity with the sun, if that's okay. Alex, dude, thank you. You definitely cannot land on the sun, no. No. I want to see if I can brute force the landing of this thing. I think you can teleport there. I don't know where from. But teleportation, there's a teleport platform, it's not a landing platform, so that's my bad. I had pretty good, pretty good match speed then before.
Nah, I just keep overshooting. Oh my god. Alright, I'll try again. If we could sort of counteract gravity, it would be fine, but you need to... You sort of have to thrust up and forward to, to get... To, to break free of the... Gra like you use the gravitational pull to build speed. is fine. Don't worry about it. This is fine. Uh, where are you, please? Nah. That, I don't believe, is something that you can... <gasps> come on now, come on now. Feather it, feather it. Touchdown, kind of. I'm not actually stuck here. I will immediately float away, which means I have to EVA. Which means, um, rip ship. Um, please let me out of my. I'm. This is very sad. God damn it. What the fuck is going on? The gravity of the sun is fucking up the game. <laughs> I'm stuck against the wall. How much do I know about space, physics, and astronomy compared to somebody who starts a beginner's course? Zero. Absolutely nothing. Could I land a, a, a passenger airliner if I had to? No. <laughs> no, I couldn't. Okay, so clearly we're not meant to land there. Have I gotten an interest in astronomy or physics? Uh, I've always liked science fiction. Um, and I love... I was talking about this earlier. I love movies that um, explore stuff like that. Like your interstellar and your moon and... Um, uh, gravity. You know, all that, all that sort of stuff. I, I love. I love Hollywood sci-fi. Um, but no, not a, not an, not an educational interest at the very least. There's a game called Kerbal Space Program. I don't know if you've heard of it. Um, on the surface, it looks like a fun little sim game, right? Like you build, you build something, you build a, a ship and you try to launch it and stuff. But underneath all that, it's actually quite complex. Um, what's this planet again? I cannot remember. That's one of the... 
That's one of the landing pods there. I'll, let's make sure I've got it. Oh, this is hard. Yep. I'm upside down. Nailed it. Exit ship to repair? What? That's a lie. Prove it. Uh, ship gets busted. There'll be stuff sparking. That's if it doesn't get hit by an asteroid first. Um, excuse me? My ship busted or not? I guess not. All right, what ifs? Unidentified signal, right, so I didn't... I didn't, uh... What do I need? Need my signal scope? Unknown. Escape pod one, distress beacon. Is anyone, everyone unharmed? No one was badly injured from the escape pod's impact. We're incredibly fortunate. This is good news at least. We have heard from escape pod two or escape pod three. Nope, I'm unable to make contact. My equipment can hear the other two escape pods distress signals. However, if any, if it's any comfort, both pods must be structurally intact. I'll continue calling for them. My gratitude. Thatch, the moon is approaching again. Everyone brace yourselves swiftly. The volcanic moon has returned. Be cautious of falling ash and debris. I believe the moon has passed. This planet doesn't appear eager, eager to have guests. We're certainly unwelcome on its surface. We need to find shelter and quickly. The volcanic moon won't be gone for long. I observed several promising sites below the surface, but we'll need to construct a way for everyone to climb safely down the cliff. Perhaps we can build platforms. Right. Oh, that's right. I fell down a wooden platform here somewhere. So this is the, the escape pod right here. Let's see if there's any data I need to collect here. Yes, there is, because I forgot that the first time we came. Vessel has been mortally injured. Emergency sequence activated, awaiting departure from vessel. Three, two, one. Collision imminent, preparing for impact. Scanning external environment. Hospitable. Okay. Pop the hatch. Ah, yes. Yeah, baby. Yeah, yeah. This is exactly... That's right. So I tried to come down here last time, and the freaking... Everything's just falling to pieces. It's not a very well-constructed bridge at all. I'm very disappointed. This is the bit I fell down last time. Use caution. A black hole sleeps below. You must not slip. You're not aware of the intricacies happening in the game physics-wise? Is it intuitively to progress? I've heard it's it's quite like the... I wouldn't say logic, but the... The mechanics of the game are, are quite grounded in reality. Oh shit. Yep. Get up there. Of note, be sure not to wander far from here, though this area is somewhat unstable. It's safer than any we've found so far. The temporary settlement is finished, but remember to use to be cautious of falling rocks and dust created by meteor impact. Is that the, the city? Is that where I need to go?
There's definitely something all the way down there, isn't there? Yep, and an elevator right down there too. Alright. We're not going to make it down there, unfortunately, because the black hole will eat us up. We could walk upside down. To... Yeah, okay. That's where I want to go. I'm stepping on any of these freaking... Surface integrity. This knowledge is too dear to lose. Here is everything we can recall about the signal we encountered while aboard the vessel. The signal looked like an eye, round with a circle at the center, much like a pupil. Suppose the signal was looking for something. The signal was older than the universe itself. This is the most significant detail. No Nomai clan has ever encountered anything like it. How can anything in this universe be older than the universe itself? Imagine what rare and profound knowledge it might offer. We must find this eye of the universe. Over there. That's where we want to get to. There's all these little, like, little huts and little homes and stuff down here. This is dope. Is the hardest part of this tragedy not knowing who we may have lost? Or will the hardest part come later when we learn? Be well, aren't Malore. Top three fave games of all time. I am enjoying it immensely. Given concerns about our settlement's stability, where should we construct a new, less temporary shelter? We may need to stay close to the escape pod so Felix can monitor incoming messages. We can't be rescued if we aren't present to respond. I don't believe anyone is coming to save us, Thatch. We must save ourselves. I agree, we're here because the eye's signal called to us and we followed. If we were to find it, we need to not merely survive but thrive. This is a wise point and eloquently made. If moving to the northern glacier will keep us safer, and that is what we should do. I believe we should migrate to the northern glacier. What if we use gravity crystals to craft, craft a stable path? Building beneath the crust again would shelter us from the volcanic moon's eruptions. Alright. Gravity crystals engaged. Um, hmm. I don't like the distance between some of these. Three minutes, oh two remaining. That's some BS. Well, gotta hustle then. Yes, I will be playing the DLC as well. OK. 
Okay, we're good. Please give me O2. So for the month of December, or at least from now until Christmas, we're playing a different game every day. As well as The Binding of Isaac, just because it's The Binding of Isaac. And, uh... Shiplog updated. And this one is, is getting revisited 100%. As soon as that event is done, we'll probably pop straight back into this. It is so good. This shit. Yep, I I'm about to die, I know that much. Nobody had a tree down here? Nobody had the foresight to bring a tree. Would you look at that? It's a tree. Shit, we got ghosts, yeah. Damn it. What was the first planet I landed on? Um, the moon. Uh, uh, the, the main, the, the moon of the main planet. Pocket tree, of course. Well, I can't go past it, so I've got to go... Um, hmm. There we go. That worked. School district. Melt Water District, Ice Shrine District, District, Black Hole Forge District. That's the school district. This place is freaking massive. Are you kidding me right now? That's just a mini elevator. That's all. Oh. No, sir. Nope. Mm-mm. Don't like that. That ain't good. I'm gonna need a refill soon, too. Maybe I should stop jumping. Is that the banjo music again? Now, just you wait. Directly beneath us. Um. Wait a minute. Have I been here? You know what? I have. Oh my god. I think I know what happened. All of this shit collapsed. Okay, that means I do have to hurry. Yeah, 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 okay. Well.
there's the forge. Let's go straight to the forge. Don't you don't you block my path? How how dare you, sir? I'm wedged in something now. Not good. Not good. Oh shit. It's gonna hurt. Yeah. Maybe we can't make it to the forge now. I'll try the other elevator. Same deal. Same deal. Uh, how do I make it down there? Fly? No, that ain't good. Yep, this is real bad. Okay. Shit, fuel level critical too. Um, what is that? Is that the bit of broken... Hold up. I think it is. Okay, let's go there. If I can make it there. Come on. I think that's the bit that broke off, yeah? No, maybe? Mm, yeah, maybe? Oh god, don't, don't jump. Why am I having so much trouble here? So we've been taken elsewhere. We're in a black hole right now, I think. Um, not exactly sure. Is this the thing? Uh, it's a something. It's a tele this is just a regular old teleporter. Boring old teleporter. Whitehall Station. If you fell through the black hole by accident, don't worry, you aren't the first. Warp Tower can return you to Brittle Hollow. Um, I just have to... I have to activate it, don't I? Nope, that is correct. Boom, that was quick. However... So we're on the same... Uh, shit, are we? I always get this confused. Yes. Yes, we are. We're in the same one as before. Now I need to find my way down. Surface integrity is declining, however. Right. There's my... There's my... What are you doing down there? Euronimo? Oh! Yeah, I'm almost dead. Just a scratch. Don't worry about it. So how are we gonna get up there? That's some kind of lift there? What is that? That's the forge, huh? Maybe? I think I need to come back here sooner. Possibly. Like, we head straight here on next cycle. What time is it? 6.30 in the morning. I don't want 
gonna stop playing. Well, now you've done it. How far did I get? I can't answer that question. I don't know. I wonder if this collapses at, at a specific time or if it's already collapsed. Unless there's another way. No, no, no. This is where I got jammed up before. Yeah, it won't let you go that way. Hold up. N nope. That's, that's real bad. Okay, we're fine. We're fine. Maybe. Ugh. Some, some kind of time loop aspect. Oh, you haven't even seen the best part yet. <laughs> Stop it. Um, okay, well, in that case, let me see if I can... Let me see if I can get you a better view. Didn't I show you this before? Oh, that thing just looks cool as shit. How do we get there? Oh, that's an entire chunk of the... Yep, bye. Never mind. There is no getting there now. Can I... Okay, we're going up. Here we go. Yes. Uh, wait, is this where I've been before? Maybe. Be welcomed in this place. This shrine is a space to reflect on what brought us to the star system, the signal from the eye. We observed the eye's signal in our travels and followed it here to find its source. What we know is this. The source of the signal, which we have chosen to call the eye of the universe, is older than the universe itself. The rest we have yet to learn. Enter and open your mind to its possibilities. The music is significant. It means there's an event coming. What is the eye of the universe? More advanced being. Perhaps it is a cosmic library. A relic from a previous universe. Unimagined unimaginably hot and dense if anything existed before it would have been destroyed older than previously assumed that um kind of explosion noise you just heard We're going to head straight back there. I need to go back down, follow the path. So I really want to get to that, um, the forge.
I see you're finally awake. That's my current quest map. Done a lot. Certainly don't fuck around here. Get shit done. Now I can find that planet real easy. It's the rest I need help finding. There we go. What's the best place to land here, I wonder? Have I autopilot piloted into the sun? Not autopilot, I've driven there. <laughs> yes, I have insta killed myself. Um let's look for that same structure, I guess. Wait, what is that then? Hold up a second, what is that? Oh, oh oh, oh that's the stone. Which I'm pretty sure I've already been on top of. Yes. Um. Yeah, 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 we did that. We did that. Didn't identify it though. Now I did. Ow! It's alright, we got a med kit right here. Like that. Piece of cake. I just want a more comprehensive landing zone wait can I just fly straight in it come on no way uh gravity's messing with me a bit here we go here we go this is it be quick be quick be quick okay get out here we go. Oops, let's be a little bit careful. Which way did I go? That... that way. Look at that. Straight there. Speedrunner tactics. Yeah, I did... I did kind of land on the sun station only to realize that it has no gravity or a landing platform. And then the gravity of the sun threw me to the back of my ship and then we got ejected and the starting area does a really good job as well at not holding your hand too much like it's it's decent storytelling it i wouldn't say it's totally organic like there's a little bit of tutorialization done but it's still really well done Uh, wait. Is this like a... Wait. No, that's right. Let's keep going, I think. 
Um, nope, that is not good. What the hell? Okay. Yeah, no, don't worry about it. It's totally fine. There you go. See? Like it never happened. Then we have the ghosty bits, which we have to bypass. That's there. We just bypass them. Dope. There's the two elevators. And this is where we find out if the planet has fallen to pieces already. That was pretty fast. I'm sure it could be done quicker, but... I think it's already collapsed. I think it's already collapsed. Yep, that's the same. Other side. Same. Okay, so that's that's by design. Uh, this bit we went up. Tell you what though, you get a little bit more confident once you've sort of been there, you know what I mean? Are they beds? Oh my god, I want a bed like that. That was the thing we found just before. Read all that. Definitely beds. I don't know, man. Like, not obviously not the same design exactly. It would have to be tweaks a little. I no longer believe, as I did as a child on Ember Twin, that the eye of the universe, the source of the signal, wishes to harm us, but it may not want to be found either. The terrible circumstances of our arrival here were almost certainly exactly that circumstance. I suspect imagining we are special to the eye in some way is wishful thinking. The eye might have called out to any sentient species, or it may not have been calling out at all, and that my ancestors heard the eye signal holds no great deep meaning. This wouldn't be so bad, I think. In fact, the eye may not have wishes at all. We have no evidence supporting this. I'm kind of disappointed. I really want to figure out how to get to... But it's on the ceiling, dude. How do you how do you get to the ceiling? Hold up a sec. Can we wait? This tower crosses over to the other tower, but it's wedged. I need to fly up above it, possibly. You'd think that'd make it a little more obvious if that was the case. Yeah, I've had a, hu a, a few holy shit moments um, already in this game. It's pretty dope. It really hates you doing that, huh? Really hates you doing that. I reckon I can. I reckon I could 
Mm, cheese it, maybe. I don't think this is how it's supposed to be done. Well. That didn't work. has to be a way. I think that's a teleport pad right there. Maybe. Alright, well, we'll keep searching, I guess. Let's go and talk to the dude, because we haven't spoken to him in a while. And hold up, what is this? It's a m massive place. Place is a maze. Black hole forge controls. Aha! Okay. Yes. This is what I'm talking about. Okay. I don't know what that did. Okay, it retracted that. That still doesn't give us a way up there, I don't think. Unless we just turned off the black hole, which would be funny. We did not. No, that had nothing to do with the other. Damn. The Ash Twin project requires a powerful, highly advanced warp core. How should we obtain it? could craft a new advanced warp core inspired by the vessel's warp core. Oh nice Terra Kitten. Well, you have a you have a good night. And I will see you again very soon. The greatest challenge here I think is we don't have the design for such a powerful core or any of the original crafters of the vessel's core. Safest path. Is the safest path the best one? Craft such a powerful more core more relevantly, I believe the Black Hole Forge crew and I could recreate the basic design. Losing valuable knowledge. Little hope of recovering that knowledge. I believe I can be of use here. The vessel's warp core was created before my time, but Anona's explained many of its designs to me. <sighs> Reckon look at the look at the roof. Nothing has changed except the the forge has moved. Oh, there's there's not much steam left uh, left in me. I'm afraid I'm I'm almost done here. Plus, we're approaching twelve hours, and I gotta restart my my recording anyway. Once we hit that, any rules against backseating? Yes, please don't. I do look like the roof looks important. See stuff like that? Yeah, like. 
please don't. <laughs> Like I do ask a lot of rhetorical questions, but that's me that's me vocalizing. That gives you a little bit of insight into how my brain is either working or not. Um but I often talk to myself to, to think out problems as well. Oh, it's all good. No not not always tags are visible, it's fine. They did ask. I'll give them that. They did ask. I was actually warned early on. Somebody said, this is the kind of game you want to be prepared for that kind of stuff to happen. And uh, look, after Final Fantasy VII Remake, <laughs> my life can't get any worse. This is just one of those regular teleport pads, which is connected to an anti-grab pad, which is connected to that. I can't fly over there yet. The music is astoundingly good. There's a little, like, ship's log type thing there. There's a... A lore or a writing thing there. That over there looks like one of those um, vision pools. I think the soundtrack um, is included in the bundle that I got. I think. I don't normally like the soundtracks you get on Steam because you have to play them through Steam. It's really weird. I tried to I tried to force my way up there. I got wedged in I guess this section, maybe. Probably right there actually. Yeah. That didn't work. Is that connected to something else, maybe? Like, obviously, there's a teleport pad. We just don't know where the hell it is. We tried level two. That's the controls. That's the little bit of lore there. the third one. Solution one, we could retrieve the warp core from the vessel. The vessel's warp core is broken at best. Recall those present when the vessel crashed that it sustained lethal injuries. There is no guaranteed reward for this risk. Perhaps we could still repair it. My grandmother told me there was little time to assess the nature or extent of the damage. 
This would require a return to Dark Bramble. Boom. My father said many good Namai perished there. Dark Bramble is fucking empty. My mentor, Calais, and his old mentor once discovered and studied an anglerfish fossil. So that's something we still need to look at. On Ember Twin. Using that knowledge. Ember Twin, I, I, I've got so much to do there. Both sides. What Mallory and I had learned from that fossil would theoretically help us evade the anglerfish. But our hypothesis was never tested on a live specimen. I remember the anglerfish fossil used to play foss fossil fish cave when we were children. Even if it no longer functions, the old core could be valuable blueprint, provided we're able to transport it back here. Alright, let's deactivate this again, see if anything changes. What if I just fucking jump on that thing? How quick would I have to be? They put stairs there for a reason, Queep. Yeah. You know what? That's worth a shot, though. Yeah. We'll wait for it to stop. have we not been to here? What is that? That is a nothing. Oh. That's my ship? Oh, interesting. Black holes are weird. Just, whoa, 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 hang on. What is this thing? What the fuck is this thing? <gasps> oh, Jesus. Fuck. Didn't hurt. Totally fine. Perfect landing. Okay, that's our regular symbols. Oh no! I, I boned it. It's okay. I am not meant to be here, apparently. Welcome, Salanum. Your arrival here means you've completed your preparations of Giant's Deep and are ready to depart for Quantum Moon. On your pilgrimage, the quantum moon will carry you, just as it carried me and many in our clan before me, to the moon's sixth and most secret location. Aha! You'll be aided in your pilgrimage by the shrine our clan built. But remember this final rule, to explore the sixth location, the shrine must be on the moon's north pole. 
be curious on your journey. That was really freaking important. Yeah, that was, um, it said you needed that piece of knowledge. Now it kind of makes sense. Uh, and that concludes day one of the Queeb Vent calendar. We're going to have a lot more set up tomorrow. There's going to be giveaways, um sub incentives etc etc it's gonna be I mean, tons of stuff um yeah we we may you know depending on how i feel about some of the games we visit during the coming weeks uh we may revisit this earlier than post christmas i think i just i just i don't know something tells me Ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much. I've had a lovely evening. My daughter Ripley is asleep. She thanks you very much. Ms. Queeb thanks you very much. Ms. Queeb will be here uh, pre-stream tomorrow. Join us for a couple of rounds of Isaac and then we'll open tomorrow's um, advent calendar door number two. Thanks very much, folks. Take it easy. I'll see you then.